Good evening, America, and all the other lesser nations. It's Eboy Dhani, former president of the United States, and really the best president, quite frankly. I'm here tonight to tell you not to be like China and instead donate to the OCA podcast. But don't just take it from me, the greatest and most loved president of all time. Listen to these other satisfied customers. I think of the host of the OCA podcast as my five and a half additional children. And like a good American father, I support them by donating to their only fans. If only I had started donating earlier, Uncle Ben might still be alive. I've never met my real dad, but that's okay. Because after donating all my savings, the host agreed to be my new dads. I punched the change out of his coin purse to donate to the podcast. No, not my coins! Yes, your coins. It's time to do, 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 do. Donate to the Patreon! Alright! The OCA Podcast needs my money more than my sister Serenity! Donate today! Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're prepared to lose No Nut November. Welcome back to the OCA Podcast. I am your host, the Anime Collector. Joining me tonight is Reese2753. Hello. And Random11. Ah, uh, after 10,000 years, I'm free. <laughs> Green line. <laughs> I, I never started No Nut November. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, other like guests, real man. <laughs> other hosts should appear uh, at some point. I don't know where they are. <laughs> They're, they are dead to us now. Anyway, so it's been uh, a good 25 days. So I'm going to say let's just go ahead and jump right in. Starting off, got some Vic Mignogna news. So let's start here. Great job. Already failed. How did that open on the left of the stupid thing? So... Um, Vic has petitioned the Supreme Court of Texas. Whether or not they will take a look, who knows? Um, in that effort, uh, Ron Toye, Monica Rial, Jamie Markey, and Funimation have waived their response. Uh, it says here, respectfully submits this waiver of response to the petition for review. Respondent does not intend to file a response to the petition for review unless this court requests one. So basically, they're just saying like, yeah, we know, but uh, I'm not going to fall. You just let us know if you're even going to take a look at it before we decide to lift the finger. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, that's where that is. Exciting stuff. Random 11, did you, um, you had been talking about, uh, historically, Ty had mentioned that you might as well petition the Supreme Court because the cost, like the, the upside is so high and the cost is so low. Uh, well, I don't know if the cost is so low, but it definitely the cost. The, the risk to the reward cost is ratio. More minimal. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, I forget what stream it was. It was on one of uh, Nick Ricada's streams uh, where he, he, yeah, he basically said um, because the TCPA is like, a win all like it, it squashes everything and it's such a minimal bar for people um that either side is basically incentivized to appeal it all the way to the top because if you win it or you lose it you win all or you or you lose all basically right yeah. so um right Wait, yeah. I, look i'm thrilled that vic is actually pursuing it because like i said before it's like at this point, other than financially, what do you have to lose? You know, like like I was saying, you know, the risks to reward is like, you know, you might as well take the shot. So that's great to see. Now, I noticed something interesting I would like to share with you. Of course, I middle mouse clicked it open and it went into a weird spot. So I'm going to just do that again. Do you guys remember humonals.x? Uh, yeah, briefly. Isn't it that project that Vic was supposed to be a part of? Yes, he, the, the NFT of... system. Uh, yeah. And then the the guy who was running it, along with the Red Power Ranger, uh, was getting pinched for um, uh, misappropriating the uh, COVID relief funds. So 
as you can see, the Twitter is up. The last tweet was June 23rd, June, no, August 1st, wait, no, no, August 2nd, right? However, <laughs> the website is now forbidden. <laughs> so, uh, I'm shocked. Right. This is the most shocking thing I've ever seen. That NFTs are just a pump and dump. <laughs> Swish. Humonals.com. Anyway, yeah. Is that the. That is the one that links from their Twitter. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I know they changed their their website. Humanimals.sx right? or whatever it was. Humanimals.x yeah. uh, would forward to that. So. Anyway, um, I've got the uh, here. I got it right here. So yeah, you can see the line through. That means that the website is not accessible. Yeah. Yeah. So this is redirected from human humanimalsx.com. Is what oh, it used rip, to be. Rip rip humanimals. Yeah. Oh, uh, now I'll never may, get to may your <laughs> may your tax uh, fraud <laughs> live in infamy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So uh, at least Vic got out in time. Now, um, we were supposed to have a guest tonight. Uh, I do not think he is going to make it, but that's all right. Who needs it? <laughs> um, so let's start here. So D Purcell, our guest, uh, tweeted this on September 29th, 2022. I want to welcome Vic to Omaha, Nebraska at Krypton Comics Nebraska on November 5th, 2022. Hashtag I stand with it, right? So Krypton, uh, Krypton Comics had posted in their like their site's main feed, the big Vic Mignogna news. Krypton is happy to welcome noted voice artist Vic Mignogna. <laughs> like it could, Mignogna wouldn't <laughs> to go all the way underneath you. <laughs> to the store for a signing. Vic has extensive credits that include Full Metal Alchemist, Naruto, Jodo's Bizarre Adventure, and so much more. Uh, anyway, so yeah, they, they were like, Vic will be at the store on Saturday, November 5th, and we're so excited to have him. More details in the coming weeks. Uh, then all of a sudden, they weren't so excited <laughs> to have him. It's a good thing we just doxed the stream link. That was great of us. Uh, the Vic Mignogna appearance slash signing for November 5th has been canceled. So uh, D. Purcell had looked into it and they said, hey, Dirk. so he said, this is the reasoning he was given when he asked about it. I posted the event on Facebook. We have received a bunch of negative comments. I know Vic's past and I know how social justice warriors work, but it's really sounding like I could lose customers over this. I absolutely hate to cancel, but I'm going to. So he replied, please don't. It's simply just people who hate. He will bring in tons of business. Don't let the keyboard warriors win. He has done so many events and never had issues. There is no claim to the accusations. He's a good man and doesn't deserve this treatment. It's mainly anime Nebraska con people who don't like him. I have talked to plenty of people who are very excited that you're bringing him and many that have never been to your shop but are going for the first time. So, yeah, they uh, they canceled him because a couple of Facebook uh, users – um, real or not, uh, decided to uh, bombard them with, no, uh, I'll never come to your shop now, even though I live in Zimbabwe, uh, and all that stuff. So anyway, so they canceled. Then Vic put out this message, which I should have loaded into the stream. Wait, maybe I did already. Yes, go to the Vic now. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the message from here. Well, hey there, everybody. I hope you're all having a great week. First week in November. And I wanted to talk to you about something. This weekend, I was supposed to be in Omaha, Nebraska at Krypton Comics. Uh, I talked about it and uh, I was very excited about it. Um, Dean there, uh, we talked in advance uh, and he was very enthusiastic about bringing me in. And I did tell him in, in advance uh, that he would probably get some negative feedback when he announced it. And he said, didn't care about that, but he announced it. And as you would expect, the same five or 10 people, um, posted negative, 
uh, comments on his Facebook page, and so he canceled, uh, got scared and canceled. And I, I deliberated whether or not I should even go. I thought, well, if we find another venue, it's going to be last minute. And, uh, you know, what if we, we can't really get a decent turnout because it's last minute? And then I decided that the people that were planning to come, and there were people that were already excited about me being there, I didn't want to disappoint them. It doesn't matter whether there are 10 of them or 500 of them. Um, they were planning to see me. I announced I was going to be there, and I wanted to honor that. So, we have a new venue. The venue is... November, this this coming Saturday, November 5th, 7200 North 84th Street in La Vista, Nebraska. From 12 to 6, I'm going to be there signing. And I would love to see as many of you as possible. I've met a lot of you uh, at the anime events out there over the years. And I know there are a lot of you that I have never gotten the chance to meet. So I hope you'll come out and say hello. I decided that I was not going to be dissuaded by... Uh, by the cancel culture people. Um, they can do what they do and, and kind of spread the hatred and, and, uh, and, and that kind of garbage. But in as much as it's within my power, I want to connect with you guys directly. And I'm going to be at the places I say I'm going to be as much as it is within my power to do so. So this Saturday, November 5th, at 7200 North 84th Street in La Vista, Nebraska. I'll be there in the after all afternoon, and I hope you will be too. Thanks so much. Have a great week, and I hope to see you there. Okay. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Right. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, so not to be dissuaded by the cancellation. He said, well, screw you guys. I'll go to another location 14 minutes away by car. And so the Risenbull Rangers started to promote it. Live signing and photos. This is the location, Saturday, November 5th, blah, blah, blah. And then upon arriving... There will be no Vic Mignogna signing at this location. Roethlisberger Suites Management was not consulted and has not granted permission for a public event at this location. Bum, bum, bum. So what exactly happened here? Well, Jasmine King has an answer for us. So, all right. So the Facebook event from Krypton Comics came out on the 26th of October, the event was officially posted to the Krypton Comics Facebook page. Yet again, the community did not take kindly to this. This is the community of Kickbit. Uh, many people saying that they would no longer frequent the store or recommend it to others. After a bit, the event was locked, then deleted. Some community members said that they had been blocked from, from the uh, Krypton Comics Facebook page. One day later, the shop posted that the signing had been canceled. The community rejoiced, but not for long. So I don't know what VS is supposed to stand for. I'm guessing Vic signing I, or Vic. I, I have no idea. Uh, they, they never clarified it here, but VS will not be deterred. This is November 1st. Now without a venue, he's still determined to have his meet and greet. New location, new, very not official ad art. I digress. See, there was something kind of peculiar about the location he gave. Thanks to some absolute sleuths, we find out that there was a toy show a few blocks away. Was this all a cover and he'd really be there? Again, thanks to friends of friends, the event was messaged and confirmed that he was not a guest. So they messaged, right, Midwest Collectible Toy Show. As a heads up, Vic Mignogna will be having an event around the same location and time. 
it's my suggestion that you do not let him have any presence at your event, considering Krypton Comics canceled the event they were also going to have on the 5th for that day. I do hope your event goes smoothly and would be happy to clear up any questions you may have. You may have. have a great day. They say, we don't host celebrities, so no worries at my event. Cool. Thank you. But it was then that we made our accidental breakthrough. VS mistakenly thought that someone in the comments was also a fan. Uh, maybe VS is the name of the place at the venue they were supposed to sign at. And sent them a bit more info on the location. Lucky for us, they're not a Vic fan. So the screenshot was widely passed around. That, Oi, I'm glad to find a fan. My friend's security company is letting me use his conference room. I'll be there so you can keep updated through me if you'd like. I am not a fan of Vic. Ah, well, sorry I misread. <laughs> a conference room, the use of which VS had gotten from a friend. It was at this point that the community could really, really see how sad and desperate this was getting. I almost went to lunch at the IHOP across the street to watch this unfold, but curse you, unforeseen stuff. We waited with bated breath, and then it was November 5th. So then it's, uh, that's, somebody took a photo of the thing I just showed you, the sign in the door. Someone has contacted the building management. I don't know who, but they were doing God's work, which meant that yet again, Vic and VS were without a venue. Right. Imagine spending, you know, your uh, free time. Unbelievable, yeah. right? Not not playing video games, <laughs> not doing sports, not doing school. Just hey, I'm just gonna stock out online, you know. In yeah, pretty soon we're gonna get to see the absolute legends who saved every woman in a hundred mile radius from Vic Mignana. Some additional context from someone who was at the venue today. Interesting. So I'll, I'll read these in a second. So the real kicker here, apparently the location was chosen because a Vic fan knew someone else who, quote, supported the cause and volunteered this location because said person worked in one of the offices. But someone else who rents an office in that building ironically works in the anime con industry and has even dealt with Vic in the past. But person working in this building who was a Vic fan never actually rented the boardroom for a meeting. So they never, in any official capacity, had permission to use the space. So Guy on the inside booked the boardroom for a meeting and contacted property management and got full permission to bar Vic from the premises. So in short, Vic fan didn't get permission for venue and my man on the inside cucked them on the venue. <laughs> LMFAO, I love this so much. Literally furiously masturbating. Vic must have been told via Twitter doors were barred because he and the organizers didn't even come to the door when he arrived. Literally just started doing signatures in the parking lot. And where does that leave us? Well, we've got a video here titled... Vic Mignogna's unauthorized Nebraska parking lot autograph session, but the uploader, for some reason, decided to private that video. Fortunately for you, I archive everything. So we've got it. I'm going to play it. Is that extre is that extremely stuttery for you guys as well? Yeah, it kind of is. Ooh. So for the for the people watching, StreamYard has just enabled us the ability to also record our um, to record our um, local video recording and audio recording, so that when it comes to like post uh, editing for like clips and stuff. We can actually, you know, single out whoever was talking and remove background noise and stuff. But it, it is apparently causing some issues as well. Uh, hold on one second. Lance messaged me. 
Okay. No, God damn it. <laughs> okay. So anyway, back to this. Let's try. Wow. It froze so hard. Can you guys hear me? Uh-oh. Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. I, yeah. Okay. Hold on. It froze so hard I couldn't get back to the tab. Just give me a second. I got a spinning wheel of death over here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do instead. I think uh, I think I'm about to. Oh, oh, well, that was weird. Okay, yeah. So that was taking up too much uh, bandwidth. Let me uh, let, me let me remove that from the studio real quick, and let me instead just screen share the archive. That way we can still scrub through it, but hopefully. Uh, hello, unverified random eleven. <laughs> the joke is so old by now. Hello, hello, Fudnum. Would you like to? Uh... <laughs> that was the default setting, okay? So unprofessional. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's see if we can get this with audio. Much better. You guys can hear, yeah? Yeah. If this happened to me, the first thing I would do is be like, who the fuck are you? And and how do I know you work for this building? Right. Oh, he's so cringe. Yeah, hey, you're uh, trespassing. <laughs> I asked you a question. Yeah. Ask you a question? Yeah. Here within, this is the office here, and uh, oh, and you're not allowed to be here. Okay. I, I would just like to point out how uh, how much the guy behind the camera seems to like actually be cowering the second Vic actually notices him and challenges him. Right? Like, it's very pathetic. Like I bet, I bet they came out here just like, oh, let's go! I'm so pumped! And then as soon wow. as he's, as soon as they actually engage, and look, look at, look at all the good you've done for the world. That's all right. Community made it clear you're not. Excuse me. Community made it clear you're not. No. The community made it clear you're not wanted here. Really? <laughs> Maybe check permission before using a venue. Excuse me? Check. I really wish that was the end of the video. <laughs> right? That's a good the, ending. The real ending is even funnier, though. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. When the, when he leaves and the cops show up the second he drives out of the parking lot. <laughs> We've got Vic's angle. I'll show it in a second. Do you think those two guys filming him are like, "Oh my God, we're gonna, we're gonna be, everybody's gonna see us. We're gonna be on Twitter, all of oh, Vic's dude. followers." First of all, I'm not gonna dox him, but we know who this guy is here with the beard. Oh, it's not the cops. You literally 
just missed him pulling out of the line. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say I I didn't think I, I don't know why I thought I, that I didn't was think I saw yeah. any video with cops. Bye, Manamana. Bye, bye. I like how he's like all brave now that he's gone. Right. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, let's take a look at. Okay. <laughs> let's take a look at um, let's take a look at Vic's uh, perspective. Here, let me get you guys. This is these are the people that think they're so important. Dude, what the fuck? Here they are, guys. Wave. Yep, these are the quality human beings here who think that what they want is more important than anyone it's, else. It's playing. Can you can one of you guys that guy? add to stream on that? Yeah, I that mean, guy? it's playing for me. That is guy. Oh, and don't forget that guy. <laughs> yeah, You're, that's a guy. For me, um, it's playing in the little screen at the bottom. Here, I'll take a screenshot. It's, it's do it's doing both. It's full me. screen here for us. That's weird. Okay, what I can't see it, but I just want to. It's wanna, it's, it's on the actual. You. It's on the actual stream. I'm watching the the YouTube stream. So, um, did it finish? Because it's pretty short. Uh, yeah, we're looking at the orange shirt guy. Okay, let me remove this from the studio real quick, and then. I like right, how they're behaving as if he's this. like peddling meth in the parking lot or something. Right. Let's let's just do this. Um, since I'm still screen sharing the, uh, oh god, am I? No. What the fuck? <laughs> Let me leave the call. I'll be right back. <laughs> also, do you think the people? Uh, that you know make fun of the pronunciation of his name are the same people who who talk about like oh my gosh you mispronounced this really uh um was it uh exotic uh name that isn't typically in your country how dare you let's try that again <laughs> gotta get the pecking order correct excuse <laughs> me so I wonder if it was full screen as well when I was doing the other one. I can't make this full screen. Is it full screen for you guys? Uh, it's as full screen. Uh, like we can do that. That's, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. So I just, I just, here, I, let me get you guys. Hilarious. These are the people that think they're so important. So Vic is showing you. These are the the white knights who have saved all the women from the unwanted attention that they asked they for. Are. I mean... Oh, yeah. That guy especially. Like, Ron Weasley over there is really good at... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, wave. Yep. I love, how, I love how he's already waving. And then Vic tells him to wave after he stopped. And he actually obeys the command and starts again. They're quality human beings here. That guy too. That guy, I'm almost certain. That guy looks just like Ron Toye's son. Who think that what they want is more important than anyone. Isn't that Uwu Chunky Milk or whatever his name was? <laughs> oh, no. Also, is it me or are all of these guys purport? Is it is it a Nebraska thing that your legs are the same height as your torso? <laughs> That seems a little weird, right? All of them guy? have this proportion. That guy. That guy. Oh, and don't forget that guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, there you go. Um, so that's what happened at the at the uh, parking lot. And uh, what happened after that? Let's see. Where was I? All right. I've got share screen. <laughs> Are you all right, Reese? <laughs> so, uh, if you're interested in boycotting, because I'm sure that all of my viewers live in Nebraska, uh, apparently um, the ringleader don't engage. He needs to leave. <laughs> the ringleader uh, apparently runs the Owl Tavern during the Renaissance and Pirate Fest at the Bell Bellevue Berry Pumpkin Patch. So uh, that's information you can do with what you want. Uh, 
I'm going to do what I think everybody else should do and uh, promptly forget it and never go there because I don't live in Nebraska and probably will never go. <laughs> also, so Vic uh, shared this, where they went after they were so rudely kicked out of the, uh, that's interesting. On StreamYard, my mouse is a little finger pointer. And on my actual screen, it's a mouse. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, huh. okay. Uh, anyway, so he said, sincere thanks. Despite a last minute change in venue and locations, it was a great meetup with great people. So yeah, uh, people got to uh, grab a bite with him and probably got to spend even more time than they otherwise would have. So I think it was a pretty successful uh, meetup for him at, when all was said and done. And uh, I, I think I, I just want to echo this sentiment from Anime, apparently, who said, Vic is a man who signed humbly in a parking lot where others would require a convention center, who focused on the fan in front of him, despite knowing he was being filmed and shamed, who ate shoulder to shoulder with his supporters where others would require a fancy green room. Vic Mignogna should be proud of what happened today. He showed his character more clearly than ever and proved once again that we are his priority, even in the face of adversity. Vic flew across the country knowing he might only meet a few fans, and to him, we were worth it. So I thought that was a, I thought that was a really nice uh, perspective on the situation. And uh, again, I think it's really funny that these guys not only thought it was a good idea to record the exchange, but that they thought it went so well that they uploaded it to YouTube only to private the video later where they got called out in the comments. It also um, shows that, what is it? Uh, Vic is just really good at uh, like the classic YouTuber thing where it's like, oh, the hate comments. The, I know there it's only like the minority of uh, comments uh, that you shouldn't let them get to you type deal. Like he's really good at knowing that oh, it's only the positive vibes like, you know, from the fans that I care about. Type yeah. deal. Well, it's not, I think what he's saying that four or five of you thing, he is convinced, and I think he's right, that the kick Vic movement, the people who are, as we looked at, the people who actually went to the trouble of, you know, zeroing in, the absolute sleuths who zeroed in on, on where he was going to be and everything, um, that those individuals are the four or five, right? That there are a couple people who hate him and who make their entire life about ending his career. Right. And I think it's funny because um, JT unlimited had uh, uh, wait, JT loves code Lyoko. That's the YouTube name. Oh, actually, I guess it's uh, <laughs> I guess it's Joseph Tafur now. Hence the JT, I guess. JT, there you are. Um, had pointed out, I think uh, in our discord, a screenshot of messages from um was it um emmett plant i, think, I don't i never cared about this guy we, we barely talked to him on uh, talked about him on the show but um about his discord where he made the argument welcome lance he made the argument that if vic got a job at applebee's they would leave him alone because vic doesn't have a history of harassing people at applebee's and it's like clearly wow not. clearly not because you can't let him be left alone do in anything yeah. Lot. yeah like yeah. literally you will never stop until he's dead like that is how pathetic the attempt at his life is right like to to just seriously the, with the messages of them furiously masturbating over the fact that they found uh the, the salutes uh, uncovered where he was going to be. And we, we reserved the boardroom so they couldn't even use it. And then we got them to bar them from the premises, right? So anyway, uh, let's address some chats because I have uh, not looked at any of them. So um, Luigi the Metal 64 says, Vic Mignano was at a public parking lot. People are allowed to park their cars there when going to a store. Nobody needs a permit to park in front of a store like Best Buy. Yeah, honestly, like... Uh, that, that was the thing about the video that amazed me the most is that they like of all things, it's like one, it's one thing to, to, to bar him from entering the building, but to then be like, yeah, you're, 
building manager says you he should have just go. gone across you're, he should have just gone across passing he should have yeah. just gone across the street to a walmart <laughs> like seriously it, it is so pathetic um and it like the male karen energy coming out of, of all those guys uh it says what are people going to have to buy a ticket to go to subway or something i have no idea what that's a reference to uh, if he, if he caves to literally any of these needs there's going to be a shifting goal post every time so it's right. pointless he, he's making the comment that like if 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 they bought subway or whatever then they'd be allowed in the parking lot but it's um oh i think no, I or maybe he's saying like have the signing in, in no the to get it i'm thinking but, he's saying to get it he'd have to get a ticket to go inside of subway act like it's a convention to get vic to sign something when he's just walking yeah, up to maybe. someone asking for an autograph and, anyway the main the main thing that i, I just want to say quickly Finally. is that Parking lots are private property for the most part, unless it's government building. To, to be and clear, they have while they do have the right to throw you off, right? To throw yes. you out of, out of place. While you may have that right, it is a beta male look to exercise that right. When you look out your window and there are two, maybe three cars in a mostly empty parking lot and nothing untoward is going on. There's not yeah, a million I've... people swarming the place. You know, it's nothing yeah. crazy. And for you to say, oh, I own this place. I can, I can kick him out. Yes. I, did, like, I pointed this your out. Birthday. I pointed this out. What the fuck? How did they get all those people's attention? Just getting a single, like, a, you know, maybe two, maybe three autographs. There had to be someone no, no, no. keeping you tabs. You, you, you missed it. You missed yeah. the whole the whole story okay. up, right, cool. up until this. Um, they absolute sleuths found out that Vic was going to be there, <laughs> and uh, and and they coordinated the Dockers? effort of, of canceling it. Yeah. So uh, Luigi Mouse sixty four says there are people warning Holiday Matsuri about Jamie Markey, who commented about her supporting school shootings. The con people said there is sincerity. Even fans who are not going are worried. Okay. Oh, there is security. Well, I don't know how I fucked that up. Um, yeah, I don't. She was clearly. No, I don't think joking. security was the issue. I think she was saying, like, the idea that she approves deaths okay. of children. The idea that she approves school shootings is because she said um, re regarding getting kids back in school during covid she said quote they need kids back in school so there will be mass shootings again or something like that i have it on the vic Mignano archives if you go to um but still i like the, the con goers are the con owners are ignoring uh, of the, course she's not going to shoot up the place that's absurd well i don't i mean yeah still saying I, oh vic's a, a rapist but he never did anything oh we yeah. better ban him but she's like it's, she's okay with kills dying, but oh, we can't. This bet. might be, this might be slightly dark, but I did think it was one of the most funny TikToks I've ever seen, and the the TikTok starts with two or three girls in a car saying like, oh, uh, <laughs> like uh, during COVID the um, school shootings have gone down or whatever, and then it stitches to the to another guy. And he's like, uh, oh, damn, there's there's a school shooting or something. And then he closes his laptop and he says something along the lines of like, oh, I'm not going to have anything to do with that. <laughs> because it's all online <laughs> now <laughs> explaining, <laughs> explaining why there is no more school shootings. Or there, it's there all, it's a, all a residential. <laughs> yeah, it's all online school. So Luigi the Mouse 64 went on to say, one bully said... There are literally mountains of evidence against Vic. We know the bully is lying. The evidence that the evidence that big, somebody, I think if the evidence were that big, somebody would have seen it by now. Nobody said, Joey, look at the evidence. Okay. Um, support the fans who make up millions over the hundred crazies. Never please the people groups who are not interested. Yeah. So that is, of course, the problem with a lot of these things is that Twitter People just, you just assume, like, have you ever noticed, like, you know how they say, like, if you're a guy, you automatically assume, unless the profile picture and, like, you know, it, it's overtly, obviously, like an Instagram model or something, you assume the person you're talking to in a post 
is mail no. when you're online? I, 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 I think, I think, I don't, I, obviously I don't have the perspective of a female being a female, but as no, but a I mean, male, uh, I mean, generally it is speaking, generally, when you have an argument or a conversation with somebody in a forum on a website and their username is something like three letters and a couple numbers or something like that. Right. Yeah. You I don't know. Assume... I, I said this exact thing in, the in our server. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you assume <laughs> generally you... that they're male if you're male. Right. So I think a lot of people have but this. this is, thing... But this is what I'm saying. I don't know if girls have that same assumption. Okay. You're missing the point. Okay. <laughs> generally speaking, you Very talk typically. to people and you assume they are from the same place that you are. Right. Like you could be talking to somebody online. You see it all the time where people like uh, make sure you get out and vote. It's like, oh, actually, I'm in Qatar. Like, you know, I'm not even in the U.S. Why are you assuming that? Right. So you see this kind of stuff all the time. People, generally speaking, especially Americans, especially uh, males, have this tendency to assume the person that they are talking to might as well be in the same city as them. OK, I think that companies have this same mentality they see all these people saying they hate vic and all that stuff and they assume oh no our customers are mad and it's like no 99 percent of these people if not a hundred percent of these people do not even live in your state aren't going to your business have never set foot in the state and and wouldn't even if wouldn't go to your your store even if they were in the state right so Anyway, I cannot believe how, how hard it was to explain that concept because, because you were like missing the point, jerk. <laughs> I'm, so, right, so, I'm sorry. I was just that. trying to get. <laughs> sure, sure, that's real. Add that word, story. <laughs> story. So, Effing Animax says, AC, I was just curious if you saw and watched the video sent in many years. So, um, Ping me about it tomorrow. I do want to watch the new one you sent um, about the where the Rust uh, film with um, what's his name um, Baldwin uh, has gone. Um, I'm interested in seeing that. But today, I was oh, I thought you to... wanted to cover his sex tape. No, I was too busy preparing for the show today. Uh, Luigi Mel64 says I am scared of being raped by Monica Brial, Jane Markey, and Amanda Wing Lee. Well, my friend, um, I'm pretty sure you can outrun all of them. So. I don't think you need to be so <laughs> there are, Wow. They are just lucky. No anime fan, not even rock music fans, came to see them. I am fine with some jelly bellies. Okay. Uh, rock musicians do signings at parking lots, too. That's pretty common. If you say so. I don't go to signings. So. You can ask, do you own this parking lot? Stores do allow actor signings. Okay. He should have just said, yeah. <laughs> Great to humiliate the bullies in some form. Bullies are supposed to be shamed at. Yes, I'll agree with that. Yeah, now Vic's... Yeah. Vic Vice? <laughs> Typos. They're hilarious. Okay, Barbara Streisand is not important. Yeah, this is Streisand fact. <laughs> Mars Girl is never going to help those legal fees get paid. They want him to work out... At all. Where it was Olive Garden. It wasn't Applebee's. You're right. It was Olive Garden, I think he said. Uh, anyway. Who the fuck is that fat orange shirt sh shaggy? <laughs> okay. Ron Weasley. No, no I, I, I think it is infinitely more insulting to refer to a man as a male Karen versus coming up with the male name for it. That's Karen? like you misgendered yeah. my my outrage name. I think Karen fits all. Uh, Karen is unisex. I agree no, with Reese. Not. I like calling I people disagree. Because... No, as an insult it is, is what he's saying. As an insult. Deflexo wants to know what's the word on the USA Macross releases. Um, Funimation's working on them. Well, no, I, it's Funimation, no. Nozomi, and I think all the anime got like one yeah. that's even... Yeah, I think anime had that one. Anyway, Mars Girl and the Bullies would eventually be caught for cyberbullying if they were to go for that. Uh, you know what the uh, you know the punishment for cyberbullying is? Uh, I don't think it's they might it. give you a call and say, "Hey, stop that!" <laughs> right? <Not pretty> <laughs> unless, unless you cause the victim to suicide themselves, <laughs> and and the message is shown, don't you will say, again. "Do it, F slur!" Right? <laughs> <laughs> so just do your call. Right. Say, so do that. Don't do that again. Okay, I just want to jump in and say, male Karens are Kevin's. That is the name. 
No. Uh, okay, on, Kevin. <laughs> we're all on that page. <laughs> yeah. Kevin is is what the male Karen. I've never are. heard this. I'm sticking with Karen. The, yeah. the whole idea of the word, like how Karen became an insult, is because Karen's like one of the most popular names for like late boomers, uh, early Gen Xers. And I've never like even that, met a Karen. You're probably too young. Uh, the Have thing is, the, the, thing, the thing about the whole Karen <laughs> thing that always made that makes me laugh was the outrage of people actually named Karen getting upset oh, because they were like, okay, Karen. Thing. I'm like, Karen, okay, okay wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, what? Anyway, Kevin is the same for men. There are tons Never of heard that before. But that is your here. wrong opinion, just like how you pronounce Jif. <laughs> The peanut butter? Okay. Yeah, if he pronounced it Jif, it would exactly. be wrong. Exactly. Right. Exactly. The peanut butter. Yes, Lance. The peanut butter. Because no one fucking calls them Jifs. <laughs> Except, you know, the person who invented them. Uh, Mirage Leonardo 84 says, welcome back. Unfortunately, the Green Ranger death was true. Yes. Uh, we'll, call, we'll talk about that in a moment. I'll be honest. I honestly thought the character Tommy was extremely overrated in Power Rangers. Wow! <laughs> That's Sticking with thing. the theme of the OCA podcast being absolute legends at not being able to talk about people when they've died in a respectful way. <laughs> Cosmic Don says, "Hey, by the way, I want to I want to shout out your uh, your project next stream. Uh, I wanted to give you a heads up on that. Um, so I, I when I when I open up the article submissions, I opened up the one that you submitted, and when I looked at it again, I didn't know where it came from. I thought I had found it." And uh, then I noticed, oh, this is from like July. <laughs> I'm like, oh, embarrassed. I don't need to show this now. Uh, but now, now that I know what it's from, uh, I've been I'm planning to get into uh, next week's show. Anyway, oh, see, you uh, don't tell him to get out and vote. <laughs> he lives. <laughs> he lives under a dictatorship. <laughs> they vote. They vote with axes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, it was like Call of Duty Warzone in Discord over the Vic thing these last two weeks. I was just grabbing popcorn the whole. Yeah, it was a fun. Uh, it was a fun thing. Mind the new rules. <laughs> <laughs> Off topic, but if you want to beat the Black Friday crowd at Walmart slash Target in terms of gaming, Amazon has Nintendo Switch Lite's new inbox for two hundred dollars, and I believe Dragon Quest Eleven is ten dollars on GameStop site. Well. Whoa. Uh, allow me to go to Amazon.com and post our affiliate link. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Nintendo Switch Lite. <laughs> Ow. Fuck. They're, why are all the colors separate links? <laughs> all right, you guys want the... Uh, oh, my God. They don't, okay, you're getting the turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. You can't click on the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> all right have at it folks oh shit apparently the stream was open good thing it didn't start until i actually clicked on it all right here you go there's our affiliate code if you if you were planning to get a turquoise or any other color they'll let you get uh <laughs> nintendo switch light there it is oh that's actually kind of a good one i thought male karens were darren's <laughs> or, <laughs> or steven <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> male Karens are just Seth Rogans. No, they're uh, Ethan Klein's. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. Uh, skipping over Ozzy Osbourne talks. <laughs> all right, here we go. So, uh, I would like to uh, I would like to move on from here. Let us talk about the new dub cast for Bleach: Thousand Year Blood War. People of note are. Oh, Vic <laughs> has been replaced as Ikaku by Todd Haberkorn. That's so, kind of like the Broly thing where it's like yeah. they probably uh, mutually like Look, respected. Whoever the casting choice went to for putting Johnny Young Bosch as Broly and Todd Haberkorn as Ikaku, you're a fucking genius. Okay? Because... They're the Seriously? two people. Maybe, maybe Chuck Huber might be a close third person. <laughs> that you literally, 
You'd be like, you'd have your, you know, the the Vic fans would have like their pitchforks and and torches and stuff. They'd be ready to burn down the whole world. And then, oh, oh, it's Johnny Young Bush. Oh, I guess I'll just go home. <laughs> you know. Anyway. Yeah. No, but, Anybody got any marshmallows? Yeah. So it's it's cool. Uh, it's cool to see that. Um, uh, you know, at least Todd Habercorn uh, has uh, taken over the role uh, instead of Monica Rial. <laughs> Monica <laughs> Rial as Ikaku. Yep. Now, Ron also... Toy's first role as a voice actor. Oh, no. Ikaku. <laughs> Ikaku is canonically gay now. Watch out now. He, <laughs> might, he might mispronounce his name and be Bukaku. But, okay. Oh, now um, Chad okay. has also been replaced. Mm -hmm. Jameson Price is no longer. Who is a very Chad. shitty Chad? First Elena Chad for Mesa the win. He was the least Chadly Chad. Chad. Now, what? Did, what was the reason for Jameson Price to step down? To all the many fans of Bleach, I have loved being a part of Bleach Universe and voicing Chad. It was a difficult decision to say no to coming back for Thousand Year Blood War. But I no longer audition for roles of people or color of color. Damn it! I no longer audition for roles of people of color. Representation matters. Access matters. So it's I'm ashamed uh, and sad to tell you wow. that Jameson Price is no longer going to voice anime since 99% of the characters are Asian or Japanese. R.I.P. Yeah. Jameson Price's anime voice acting career. I, I you should, made the you should totally reply. You should totally reply to that. So you're not gonna voice Japanese characters anymore. He goes on. To you say, know what's oh. interesting is that uh, other people on the cast uh, have not been making the same move as him. You see, uh, Stephanie Shea, she's not a real redhead. So that's <gasps> representation matters, Dude, guys. Ginger genocide continues. <laughs> 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 These characters are being wiped off the face of the earth for every breath you take behind the mic. <laughs> so he went on to say, I have had access to a very wide variety of roles in my career. And because I was cast as the one single Mexican. No, <laughs> no. He says actors use their imaginations and their experience to breathe life into the characters we portray. We get to walk in someone else's skin for a time. We practice blackface. I mean, empathy. We feel <laughs> and we learn. <laughs> oh, shit. Access to opportunity in anime has not been equal. But that has just... changed. By stepping down, I... <laughs> By stepping aside, now I open the door of access and give opportunity to an actor who can represent... Yasutora Sato with Wait, the when you're same done with all this, and I have... pride and imagination, <laughs> but with more life experience than I have. So, um, stunning and I, brave. I titled this uh, Jameson Price White Saviors Hispanic Voice Actors. Yeah, <laughs> but let's bear in mind that like... this is possibly the laziest way he could have gone about it, too. Like, uh, well, I mean, Chad's supposed to be half Hispanic, so. I guess we'll give you the role. Well, he had to he had to make sure that he overtly oh. said all of this because otherwise it won't be worth making the move, Dude, right? Oh my god. You won't get okay. the publicity. Let if me know when you're any, done. Hold on. If there are any non-woke anime voice actors listening to this stream, I have your Kobayashi Maru on the woke crowd. All you have to do when you get to reprise your role is say Actually, I identify as Mexican. You they can't deny you. They will throw the roles at you for being transracial, right? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, uh, thank you for all the love and support Holy you have shit. shown me over the years. Please welcome Elaine Mesa. Is that how you? Is that how his name is spelled? Okay, right. that would have been hilarious if he spelled it wrong. Uh, to the role of Chad. He's got some big shoes to fill. Mine. <laughs> is, he, yeah, he really is this does. Guy, is this guy half that. Mexican, half Japanese? Because if not, then he doesn't we even have look Mexican. Hypocrite. He looks like it, if you took um, the Ken doll 
and crossed him with the G.I. Joe. <laughs> so my joke American was that German? they were just going to replace him with another white dude. And then <laughs> all of his, you know, uh, his actions were in vain. All right. Just to but be now clear, I'm, uh, I'm just to be abundantly yeah. clear. This guy might be a great voice actor. I don't want to take away from his role as Chad, who, if I remember correctly, has almost no lines because he's a strong, silent type, if I remember yeah. correctly. The but most part. the point of this is not to say, well, a Mexican guy shouldn't get to voice this character. It's to say, Jameson Price, you're an insufferable cunt for the way that you pass the torch, okay? He also, was also a very shitty Chad. His yeah. his whole, in the uh, Fulbring arc, his whole, like, he could not fucking act and do the voice uh, at the same time. There was, he, he was just yelling and not doing the voice. It was very terrible. Anyway. Wow. Continue. Hashtag shame him. <laughs> and my, yeah. my next thing I was going to say is that the guy they replaced him with just watched, like, because they just looked for the guy to match, check the boxes, and except for the, like, matching the voice. So he's, like, five octaves higher. Ichigo! <laughs> where's our, uh, where's our clip of you voicing, Chad? <laughs> Ichigo. <laughs> See, I, I'm trying out, guys. I could be Hispanic. I don't know. I haven't right. gotten tested. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> you haven't gotten tested. I so, haven't. So JT is right. He would block me if I said, uh, "Sorry to see you no longer voicing the 99.999 percent of Japanese characters in anime." Um, yes. Luigi the Mouse Six Four says, "Brown skin people are happy to know that beige skin people are voicing as brown skin characters, even the other way around." Okay. Well, that's Japanese outrageous. anime are made for Japan. <laughs> People outside of Japan are never in charge of the anime studio's rights. People can watch something else if the anime are not for them. Yeah, I mean, look, guys, do you think it's kind of weird that for the Spanish dubs, they use like almost 100% Mexican cast? Right? Who's going to voice they, Ichigo they, they and everybody so else in the Spanish dub? Yes. Representation matters. Access hey. matters. <laughs> Hey, see private chat real quick. Isn't okay. I also want to point something out that that always hits me with this. Also, Green Line does have something he wants to say. Uh, the thing that kills me is that isn't it kind of disrespectful as well to say, "Hey, you're not good enough to get this role without me batoning your sorry ass." Uh, basically, so I'm just like, I'm just like that. That to me would hit my pride. Yeah, that's what like, that's what he meant by the white savior. Uh, yeah, like yeah fair, he... but it's like I, I, I'm putting it in my own words. This it's it's a matter of I just I've done I I have the talent to do this, or I'm just handed it because you know hey let me make you feel sorry for me. Well, yeah, now know. there's imposter syndrome as like a breakout uh, in the past few years. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Entertainment matters. Representation never matters. <laughs> People can what? love characters and stories that are different from themselves and their lives. Also, Mirage Leonardo it says... Uh, Does the voice also, of Rangiku have like H-cup breasts? I mean, are we going to have to go there now? Uh, so I that would be you, sexist. I, I thought you mispronounced Rengoku until you continued that sentence. <laughs> um <laughs> Also, I hope you enjoyed my Seth Rogen as Michelangelo impression meme. I did. I very much. That's an early Christmas present for me. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Where are you going to find a Pikachu to voice his Pikachu? Uh well, Damn. they literally just used the Japanese voice actor until he spoke English in that one movie. So <laughs> Oh, that's true. Right. All right. So um finishing this Green off, line. he says What? Well, no, let no. him finish it off and then I'll add my thing. Okay, okay, my bad. I thought. Okay. Yeah, uh, do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. Quote, Maya Angelou. Maybe this entire soliloquy about giving it to the undeserving Mexican voice actor was all a quote from Maya Angelou. Because <laughs> <laughs> he didn't put any quotation marks around just that part. I, I just can't wait till black voice actors stop voicing white characters. 
<laughs> well, that's a bad <laughs> clip to take out. God, God, God damn it. It's Phil the Lamar. exact same thing. God Don't it, tell Phil me Lamar. it's not. Representation matters. No, no, it is, but it, people won't hear it that way. They'll be like, oh, it only goes that's one way. That's their double standard speaking. <laughs> See, they were really it, ahead it, of the it, curve. It, 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 is, it is a double. It, the reason is right. It's a double standard because remember the whole Little Mermaid thing? Little Mermaid wasn't originally black, but then they were like, hey, we're going to change this. Because they just wanted to. But if wow. you took Black Panther and made him white, uh, <laughs> wow, then that there would be aren't a, a million examples before that one. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm, I'm trying to be relevant. <laughs> so, uh, Reese, you had me share this or something again? Honor to voice Chad on Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. Friday's well, the only reason I shared this was the picture because he looks more Hispanic in this picture. Oh, yeah, we leaked the picture. cast for the live action Bleach. The previous actor was a rock star and brought so much life to this role with the literal seven lines. <laughs> I can only hope that by also I haven't gotten out of the Soul Society arc, so maybe he voices a couple more lines later. But that's all I've seen. Hardly. I can all. I can only hope that by doing my best, I can breathe some life into him as well. You'll be fine, dude. He's barely he's spoken barely spoken like a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> anyway. all so right I had one more right. thing to add before yeah, go ahead. we move go on. For it. Um, can you do me a favor and and go to a new tab? Uh, say Bleach Sternritter. Type that in. How do I spell that? I'll be back. Well, uh, or go Quincy's. It, it won't matter. Oh, Just God, you'll you'll find the the list what? of. Because okay. I find it very disingenuous of Jonathan Price to give this guy like Jameson. five lines in one but show. Yes. Um, Stern Ritter? Yeah, Stern Ritter. Yeah, I'm here. Can you see it? Okay, so I cannot. I don't know if anybody else can, but the point is... Wait, that... can you guys not see it? No. Yes, I, see the, I can. We can see it. Or we can... oh. oh, they can? I. Oh, okay, well, something must be wrong on my end then. Um. Uh, my this point recording is, thing sure is great. <laughs> yeah. So for the Sterner, how many, how many, can you see how many there are? Uh, like, is there a list? There's probably a list. Yeah. It goes all the way to Z. Yeah. Like Imagine, 27, 28. Oh, man, they gave this poor dude like five lines with Chad. It'd, it'd be a real shame if there wasn't like 27 new characters that he could have voiced instead. Yeah. Real shame there. Oh, oh I see what you're Jonathan saying. You're saying Price. you're saying that there's that there's 27 new characters who probably talk way more than yes. Chad. Yeah. But yet he gets to voice the seven lines Chad's gonna have in Thousand yep. Blood War because he's a strong <laughs> silent type. Gotcha. That's funny. Yeah. So it's like way to <sighs> go. <sighs> Imagine he's one of the voices of the other Stern Rider thing. Could be. Imagine like, but imagine, Chad imagine he's like <laughs> that's that's what i'm saying like he's like oh well i don't want to do chad anymore because he's mexican oh Have you mean jameson price mexican... is gonna voice one of these guys yeah oh my god. <laughs> yeah oh my it's god. like oh yeah. I, i'm gonna give up being chad i'll do another voice that has better lines more pay oh dude oh wow off. doesn't look we're like putting he's money on, on that we're on putting money on it doesn't look like he's on the list yet damn jameson i'll price wait list. for it all right anyway uh i'll pop this over here all right you guys um so next up i saw this and i i couldn't help but feel sad so mobile suit gundam the witch for mercury producer says teenagers are feeling alienated by the franchise's themes quote they think it wasn't made for them. So uh, younger audiences are apparently feeling alienated by the franchise's anti-war themes. Well, you know, it's one of the most popular franchises in Japan. So the Japanese government couldn't let that happen. So they started buying U.S. Tomahawk missiles <laughs> to beef up their defense capabilities. Uh, they've also, apparently I fucking can't open these in the right order uh it, they're extending their high-speed missile range to defend the senkakus a russian ambassador blames japan for strained relations between other countries germany's quietly growing relations with japan 
fucking hell. Kill me on this. Uh, Japan to sign military pact with UK as allies eye China threat. Amid tense ties, China says it won't take part in Japan's naval fleet review. So, yeah, I guess J Japan is just committed to going to war <laughs> to uh, to make sure that their, uh, uh, their teenagers will appreciate Gundam properly. <laughs> uh, I think my neck is hurting a little bit. Uh, seems like that segue gave me a massive amount of whiplash. Jesus oh, Christ. Damn. You're not going to like this one. Uh, in uh, in America, I just thought this was something I had to share. Uh, because you can only be woke until reality hits. Uh, and then you have to be like, all right, let's pump the brakes on this wokeness. The Biden administration requires trans women to register for the draft if they were born male. So, uh, Man, that's it, old news. Stunning and brave on the battle. When do women? <laughs> when do women get to be uh, signed up for the draft? Like, I demand equal every... rights. Representation matters. Access Everyone. matters. <laughs> anyway, and then uh, yeah, so like it looks like you know America is clearly ge uh, gearing up for war, and oh, no. the civil war is well on its way too, as we had the New York Post published an article titled we must assassinate aoc for america what the absolute fuck <laughs> we're not advocating for that we are commenting <laughs> on a new york post article youtube thank you we are no wise responsible Reese. for what is you on have the totally missed your cue <laughs> i think Reese's they were hacked said out of the reese <laughs> Some of you may have seen the New York Post recently published an article I wrote calling for the death of AOC. And I'm sure many of you assumed that they had just been hacked. No dummies, the New York Post wasn't hacked. I was just misquoted. I never even mentioned AOC. What I said was, OCA must be assassinated for America because after their unprecedented endorsement from former President Trump, I've had the gross misfortune of listening to the OCA podcast. And let me tell you folks, the hosts are literally Hitler. If you were instead reincarnated as a group of mentally challenged we have a virgins whose only interaction with women are the porn bots spamming their chat. Oh yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Sex chat 69 is here. Woo! <laughs> Definitely oh, click on yeah. that link. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh yeah. Seriously, all of them are terrible. One of them has an internet connection so painfully slow that it's as if the bandwidth itself is struggling to carry the immense weight of his unnervingly long neck. Another one is a sentient eyeball who talks with the maturity level of your nephew that discovered masturbation before getting the sex talk from his parents. The main host is a sweaty, balding autist who will do anything for super chats, except maintain a consistent streaming schedule. He's also a merciless grammar Nazi who will toss you in the gas chambers for the smallest of errors. That is unless you're a black suit Spider-Man with a foot fetish and misuse the word scene. Instead he will give you a much more severe punishment by making you a host. That way you can never escape the never-ending hell of his podcast. One member claims to be going blind, but once you hear him speak you will quickly deduce that his brain simply does not have enough juice to power his eyes. He also interrupts everyone with a frequency that rivals a compulsion normally only seen in vegans. I'm not sure exactly how right, we're going to cut you off. I have an idea. You can't can start a conversation when you keep talking. That's the other Look, thing. Here's the thing. But you, uh, you guys interrupt me, not... so I'm blind. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Jesus. But the worst one of all is named Greenline. He willingly spends all of his shekels supporting these losers. The only silver lining of my experience watching the OCA podcast was that I sustained an erection so massive that it split the skin all along my penis. After this unexpected second circumcision, I ascended further beyond the next level of Jew. I now have the ability to turn things to gold by merely ejaculating onto them. And although this has always been my greatest desire, I am afraid there can be only one supreme legendary super Jew. So the OCA podcast must be stopped. Please help me find their location so that I may come all over them. It is the only way. So, uh, yeah. I do not condone. Holy fuck. <laughs> I do Has, not uh, condone. A matter of life and death. So, so hold on. So, so was the New York Times thing just completely fake then? Yes. Br Brad, I think you screwed it up by not saying written by Ben Shapiro because that's when you knew that Random Eleven was going to correct you and say it wasn't no, actually. No, because Ben Shapiro is a contributor. To the New York Post. 
Yeah, but I could have sworn you had a way more like uh, e- easy oh. transition there. <laughs> he was still recovering from the whiplash. <laughs> Well, well, no, if you said written by Ben Shapiro, then Random Eleven would have said, well, no, he didn't actually write it or whatever. He was hacked or whatever. And then you'd do the, the cue. That's well, why. No, see, the thing is, I didn't, Random Eleven had absolutely no idea any of this was going to happen. I just trusted that he would know this. <laughs> that was the story. And Reese, who is still muted, <laughs> was my backup. <laughs> well. I failed. <laughs> it has been so long since we've done a <laughs> podcast that I actually forgot that New York Post was hacked. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have I might have so, said it. So, <laughs> did that video kill Greenline? Yeah, I guess so. Is he not in the? He's not here anymore. He's not here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... come back. <laughs> ben Shapiro got him. <laughs> so. I, the, when we first started using the thing that we use to generate the AI voices, one of the first things I did was I started to make a roast by with Ben Shapiro voices. <laughs> and then when that article came out and it says we must assassinate AOC, and I was like, that's the same initials as OCA. <laughs> I was like, I have to work on this. Everything else needs to go to the wayside. <laughs> I, dude, do you have dyslexia? <laughs> oh, yay. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed those roughly two and a half minutes as much as my wife pretends to. <laughs> Damn, all right. All right. Anyway, um, if you would like to support the OCA podcast to prevent me from becoming Ben Shapiro's golden comrade, uh, there's the OCA podcast Patreon. <laughs> Uh, there's also the Anime Collector Patreon, and uh, you can support the OCA podcast in various ways by going to ocapodcast.com slash support. Now, if that roast wasn't enough, I would like to share something else with you. Do you guys remember why we have this say, rape us monthly or rape us month, uh, once? Of course. It was because of this article. Singapore retailer, a contender for worst ad campaign ever title after Black Friday rape gaff, where they okayed what the web developer sent. That instead of saying shop now, it says rape us now, right? So I got an email. I'm going to read it to you. OCA podcast online sales from Paul Nolan. Hi. I was looking at your website and the way you displayed your rape coverages is quite appealing. My name is Paul and I work for Wishpond. We work with podcasts to increase their customers through lead generation and online campaigns. Would you be open to a quick call to learn more? So naturally I had to reply. Thank you for your inquiry, Paul. I'm excited to hear more (laughs) about what you find so appealing about rape. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, this is the face of a rapist. (laughs) That's probably not a real, like, that's probably a stolen photo. Dude, it looks like an AI generated it. He looks like he belongs in the first Max Payne game. His head, it doesn't look centered to his face. Not only that, his ears appear to be Oh my god, Reese, you motherfucker. Did you have unmuted yourself two seconds later? Like once you settled in, what are you doing? <laughs> the masturbation star. Uh, uh, I'm glad to hear you narrowly escaped Ben Shapiro. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> wow. Okay. Can't wait till you watch the playback. <laughs> All right, He's not anyway. going to watch shit. What are you talking about? So, yeah, it looks like his ears are from a completely different image. And the face, I'm dead serious. It's fucking, it's Max Payne. Tell me. And what happened is, next? Tell me this is not what he looks like. He belongs in. He looks like a texture map for Max Payne 1. Anyway, except Max Payne has no ears confirmed. (laughs) Anyway, 
Whew. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, indulging me in that amazing thing. Uh, so what I did, of course, is I had I had to find him on Instagram because I needed a high resolution of his f image of his face. So I stalked his Facebook. I'm gonna add him. He's not gonna what? <laughs> Literally, his. I don't think he's a real person. His literal only post is from the. Uh, from August of 2021, and it's just him updating his profile picture. Why does he even have a Facebook? Well, who's this Paul Nolan person? I'll later look him up on Facebook to see if he's a real person. Oh, oh he's yeah. got a Facebook. He's a real person. I didn't even bother to post fake images of him with Dolly. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so definitely support us because, uh, you know, this could be the last show, <laughs> the way things have gone. Like, no joke, a lot behind the scenes has occurred that has made it very difficult to do this, not just the roast, okay? It's been a lot going on. So uh, make sure that you uh, make sure you support us. Why is this link dead? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Kill me. Everybody, I'd like to die. <laughs> All right, so anyway... <laughs> I wanted to point out that the ad for the OCA podcast is now a standalone video. So if you would like to support us, God damn it, shut up, Donald. <laughs> Donnie. Donnie, please. I know you I know you got back on Twitter, but turn it down a little bit. Also, how great is Donald's my out? father. Were you hearing that? I was. It, you guys weren't. It wasn't it's not not streaming anyway so if you guys know somebody who would enjoy our humor like a lapel mic being raped would, by a caller you would for fuck's sake shut up <laughs> and you would like to <laughs> if you would like to share the podcast with them but you're like mm, a seven hour podcast might not get I, I, actually I think he just let's send him an ad go there it is you can i posted it you guys could just send him that thank you jeez <laughs> Well, well, he came. He came back. I thought you left because AC told you to shut up. <laughs> anyway. Also, also AC, I literally during your thing, I could barely hear what you were saying, which is what <laughs> I was trying to point out, because it literally sounded like someone had a lapel mic being hit with the collar of a shirt. It was easier to hear with you, uh, uh, just so you know. <laughs> I heard the rustling, Lance and AC going. Yeah. Also, Greenline has put out his first uh, short. Short. And uh, it's, I mean, it only got thousands of views within a couple hours. So uh, it's kind of late here, but you guys can, uh, you guys can. You guys can blow it up. Share yeah, that shit. Got, yeah. You guys can add a, a, a cool 10 extra views for him. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Much appreciated. <laughs> what but, did they do? I want to know. Oh, they. Uh, the, Don't ruin they, it. Wow. <laughs> what? I want to know, but don't spoil it. Was, it was a tease. Do you understand how teases work? No, apparently I don't. <laughs> Come on. <Okay. laughs> he knows nothing about teasing. It's not since his it has been a million years since the last OCA podcast, Kevin Conroy decided to die. Uh, so, beloved voice of Batman Which is gone. That, that's all I got to say. The animated series. Yeah, well, he also did other stuff. And he's probably been other characters, but oh, nobody cared about those ones. He can also, play Batman when he dies now. Also, literally, to, yeah, representation matters. <laughs> <laughs> he's zombie Batman. Also, literally today, Jason David well, Technically Frank, last night. Literally today, this article came out about Jason David Frank's suicide. He didn't want to get to 50, apparently, because TMZ made it important that he was 49. So, yeah. uh, I mean, it sucks. He didn't want for... to leave the Forever 40 Club. Right. <laughs> right. Apparently, uh, he got divorced, or well, his wife filed for divorce in August. Mm -hmm. So, he he probably, probably well, that's happy one way with... to split. She probably took half of his legacy with her. So much of the power, how, the original Power Rangers, the 
the blue ranger commit suicide the green no, no, slash no, no. white ranger no, commit no. suicide what what no 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 what happened to the blue of ranger? the original Is power rangers only the what no he's still alive what are you talking about blue the ranger blue is still ranger? there david yost he's he's still alive and kicking um are you thinking the of only the, one, the only other getting arrested or yeah the, the only one that got uh the only one that was uh didn't he die from being gay no billy crane no i don't know who that is, is that how the do you die name? from gayness that's the character's name is that the character's that name? That was what Very I was about good. to ask. Who's the actor? Uh, I don't. I don't think the character died. The um, and the actor definitely did not die. The the actor's name is David Yost. Yeah. They're all alive except the original Yellow Ranger who died in a car accident. Right. And now, damn, uh, Jason. What the Jason fuck? David I Frank. I just crossed over to a new universe. <laughs> this guy yep. died of age in the universe I'm from. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus, he is gay. Uh, he was bullied for being gay. He did not die because he's gay. Uh, he's, he's still alive. He's staying alive it, just as a fuck you to the bully. <laughs> so he didn't get then, monkey pops. That's good. The only other thing I can think of that's like big beyond Austin St. John getting arrested was the Wild Force Red Ranger got arrested for killing his roommate. What the fuck? Yeah, he, he stabbed him with a... <laughs> Don't do this he's... at home, kids. No shit. He's... <laughs> He stabbed him with a, a katana, I believe. Oh. Lance, I don't think they do this at their home, so I think they're That's fine. That's the way to do it. <laughs> he he claims it was in self defense. I don't. I I think he went to jail though for it. I don't think he got out of that one. All right. <sighs> Whew. Okay. So, uh, th would anybody like to say? <laughs> some... What? <laughs> Would anybody like to say uh, any any words more about uh, Jason David Frank? Uh, uh, no, other than Rip. <laughs> yeah, he was. Do you he, think they're just was... going to put his first name on on the tombstone, or all three of his first names? Well, his, his actual name wasn't Jason David Frank. He, he had a different name, so I don't. I'd assume they put that name on the tombstone. I mean, it's like Austin St. John. That's not his actual name. His name was something else. Um, I think his name was Jason originally, is which is joke. ironic. He looks like um, he looks like if you crossed Ron DeSantis with Steve Carell. Well, I do have something I, to say, actually. I grew up, like, this is the Power Rangers that I grew up and loved with and loved as a kid. I'm sure you're blind, so you can't see that the one that I'm currently showing is actually not that one. But I'll scroll up to the one you're talking about. Okay, thanks. That's, it's the same. What are you talking about? That's the same actor. The Green Ranger. It's the same actor, but this isn't the Power Rangers he grew up with. Yes, it like, is. Well, this is like so, the sad version of Power Rangers, where where that was that was a reunion episode where look, Tommy came back as the Green Ranger and as other, Steve along Carell. with other with along with other Rangers. He's old now, man. Green Ranger was the best Ranger ever. They've never topped it. White Ranger was cool too, but Green like Green Ranger is by far the Ranger. top Ranger. Uh, My favorite Jason part David about Frank, the lore is how, as we've talked about before, um, he took over as the leader, and the Red Ranger just said, "No, fuck you, I'm leaving." <laughs> yeah, uh, Jason Jason David Frank has has made sure to always uh, uh, like do do what he can for fans and and like show up for fans. Um, and he's tried to keep the the Power Ranger fandom alive, which is great. Um, I he was I think also it an might MMA have fighter, right? For like a few he years. he did try and go into MMA a little bit. Um, I mean, unfortunately, he he didn't really have much else going on with his career. I don't. I think some of it might have been. So as 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 big of a fan as I am of him, and and how. I can say, well, yes, he he was able to keep the Power Ranger fan in me alive, but like he he kind of focused on it a little bit too much, and maybe. But um, I still appreciate what he did. So you said that this was Sad a reunion he... episode. Uh, it looks like it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because if you told me that this was an ad for CVS Pharmacy, where they were saying that the people who work at CVS Pharmacy are are heroes. I would believe you because each one of these individuals works at my local CVS. 
What well, they're all the Power Rangers. What kind of stereotype are you brewing? Go to your CVS right now and tell them Zordon call is calling you. <laughs> Alpha, quick. Call the Power Rangers. <laughs> I need to say that next time I go to the cashier to uh, CVS. Good luck with that. <laughs> it gave me the thumbnail to Green Lines video. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let me open up. Oh, come on. The image is even smaller. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Tell me these people don't work at your local CVS. <laughs> uh, is that a thing that they have uh, outside the States? Uh, what A pharmacy? Anyway. <laughs> what, what does CVS mean? <laughs> Well, it's the name it's, of it's the a, pharma it's a it's brand the of, pharmacy. of pharmacy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't have that here, bitch. So right. no, they don't look like that. We have <laughs> shoppers your drug CVS. Mart. I, I read this as is, I read this as is is your CVS the the Halloween CVS? <laughs> because Dyslexia strikes again. Well, I read it that way because I was thinking about how the CVS that closed down where I used to live is now a Halloween store. <laughs> As is the fate of all once opened buildings. <laughs> okay. Um, Mirage Leonardo says Austin St. John mostly left because of low pay at the time. Hmm. Originally, Billy, the Blue Ranger, was supposed to be the White Ranger. Oh. I don't know. Like, I've never heard that. I mean, it might be true. I, guess, I don't think but... he had the chops to be the leader, but just be honest. Yeah. my, my and, and he was being discriminated against because he was gay, so I don't know. That seems weird if they would how have say, well, now you're... how have none of the people who discriminated against him been canceled yet? I don't know, show was it just people. was it just like the camera guy? <laughs> my my understanding for the White Ranger was that the Green Ranger in the original Sentai footage dies. Um, he's only in the series for for a little bit of time um, because it, there was like a candle, and like he can only go outside of his like special cave for like so many hours. And then every hour he's outside the cave, the candle depletes. And then once the candle is out, he dies because he was like cursed or something. And so he dies and then he's not in the show anymore. So they didn't have any more footage of the Green Ranger. So then they were like, okay, well, we'll, we'll bring in the White Ranger from the next Sentai team, uh, which they didn't use ever in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Like that, that suit team never existed except the White Ranger. And then, so they brought in the White Ranger, and they gave it to Tommy. And I mean, I could be wrong, but my understanding was Tommy was always the the role for that. And the reason they brought him over the White Ranger over was because they wanted to keep Tommy as an actor on the show because he had high ratings. So they're like, we need to give him a new suit. So they brought well, in a, a White Ranger. Now that that's sufficiently been fact checked, can we uh, go to the next? Thing? I don't know. That's that's my understanding of it. Oh, sorry, I was boring you, FGM. Anyway, I, so no, much... I, I just think we should. I, I'm just saying that we like to linger on things that are some intended to be quick, especially oh. things that are sad, and we make them apparently not sad on the front. <laughs> Ronan Jaw wants us to say it's morphin time. Oh no, hold on. He said, "We are right. vengeance. We are the night. We are Batman." But for the girl is okay. Batwoman to pay tribute to. Okay. How many girls here? <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I Green know Line? Like... Where's Green Line? He's uh, the only girl. He, he, he hasn't was, said a he word since we uh, kicked here. him. Uh, and by kick, I mean Don't worry about him. since he got booted after the, uh, the promo. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I saw so, it. So Were you traumatized, I... though? Like, is that why? <laughs> I, I guess I don't know. <laughs> you've it's already garbage. forgotten. You've already suppressed it. That hard. yeah. I see. He had to. He had to make sure his windows were locked. <laughs> yes. Mom, don't come in. Do see a podcast? Uh, I, I do have to say, <laughs> while we have this, I I am sorry for being away. I didn't think you would get to that clip. You motherfucker. Faster than it would take for me to make a sandwich. I'm sorry. <laughs> you make sandwiches. Oh, I gave I you them. one job tonight. And it was to be the backup just in case Random Eleven didn't take the bait and you weren't here. 
He was the father. But thank you for being I, I, on the I Lupin. believed in Random Eleven. And now I, I forgot. I forgot they got hacked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, so I want to address because I, I I I had to scroll up way faster because they came in so fast. Um, We're about, trying to get more uh, viewers by keeping the girl on the screen. I need to <laughs> I need to get I need to read some of the responses to, <laughs> to the to the roast. I think this came in during the roast. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, have you... If this is the show, bitch. <laughs> like, oh, one Welcome. complaint: you did not do it in the 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 uh, presentation, so we didn't hear anybody's reactions. I know <laughs> that Why was intentional. That? Wow, well, I thought you were going to do that. <laughs> no, hopefully, hopefully though, the recording that records everybody, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too bad you were gone <laughs> making a fucking sandwich. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is a trip. Oh, I've only spent an entire literal month working on this. <laughs> uh, skipping over this just because there's so much going on. <laughs> oh no, I forgot that there was a stream. I think this happened while that was going. <laughs> Oh, uh, hell yeah. The lawyer is from Full Metal Alchemist. He can turn shit into gold. Rock on. Uh, uh, excuse me. Gross. Huh? Oh, the. Talk the about Ben Shapiro. I guess. Oh. Is he the lawyer from Full Metal Alchemist? <laughs> no, he talked about. I think about, he's saying he's Full Metal Alchemist. He, he's, he's mistaking Ben Shapiro for being a lawyer because he's trying oh, in front of a book. Because he's in front of all the book. That, that, as you can see, was actually a facade, hence the reason all of it turned gold. <laughs> Which was not me being lazy at all. <laughs> the cool 2T says, was AI a mistake? Yes. No. <laughs> I can say with full certainty, yes. Neckerwold <laughs> said, oh my fuck, that was beautiful and painful. I have work ahead. I have work. Satan speed. <laughs> Satan speed. <laughs> That's for you, Fugnam. <laughs> Good God, all you guys sound very naughty right before Thanksgiving. What the hell? Uh, excuse me. I'm uh, for Christmas. Ours already happened, so me and Randall <laughs> yes. don't care. We we are post-Thanksgiving right now. I don't have any idea. <laughs> you guys are so stuck in the past. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. His, I saw his comment. where what, That was his comment that was, or her, whoever the fuck that is, that was uh, <laughs> like, uh, he could rot in hell or whatever they said. Yeah, I saw that. that was also, just random story here from Random Eleven. The other day I was driving down the street and I saw three turkeys just randomly <laughs> sitting in front of someone's house Congrats. in the middle of the city. And I was like, oh, that's weird. So I took a picture of them. decoys and the Thanksgiving decorations. I, I took some pictures. Were they an undercover them. sect preparing to free their brethren? I, I believe they were uh, American Turkey refugees escaping the horror of Thanksgiving. So, but were, they the ones, were they the ones that the White House is supposed to like? Uh, the pardon? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I think, well, I think that's pardon. a different one. Why would, why would you flee if you were going to get pardoned? <laughs> Um, <laughs> so just know Canada houses your uh, your turkeys that uh, don't want to die. Yep. Well, thank you. So I, will, I will use the information you provided. <laughs> so what does Canada eat for Thanksgiving? Turkeys, uh, maple syrup, of course. <laughs> they don't know that though. Okay. It was, ham. was it Beyond Turkey or something? <laughs> no, it's turkey, but it's bef it's before it's in whoa, October. Whoa, whoa, so wait a minute now, Canadian they come, bacon. They, by the time they get up here, they've got a whole so, year to live. <laughs> so those aren't American <laughs> refugees; those are survivors of Canada Thanksgiving. Holy shit! There are so many comments about gender. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I saw your thing. I guess I'll bring it up. Hold on. Yes, I got it. New voice channel. Great. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that was in... I will pull it up. I promise. Here it is. Uh, yes, pull up your pants, please. No one wants to see that. This is the No Pants Podcast. That ain't happening. He's not pulling <laughs> up his pants. Am I blocked? I am blocked. Wouldn't you know it? 
Wouldn't you know it? All right, give me a second. Switching. <laughs> the Elon's tweet about Trump and Twitter kids <laughs> popped up. <laughs> All right. From LJ Montello, you know, that person who made out with that underage girl on the stage at that one mm. convention and then decided it was time to end Vic's whole career. Uh, <laughs> this person said that's actually not true. Quite a few known guests are doing meet and greets at comic shop. Jason David Frank being one of the bigger ones have been doing those meet and greets for a number of months now. Jason David Frank can go away too and shame on him for carrying on in a pandemic. But he's another washed up has been whose relevance ended in the 90s. Not sure why people think I have a different opinion of narcissistic divas because I don't have time for them all. Wow, you kind of sound like one of those. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. All right, so now uh, we covered it. There hello, Paul. My name is Kettle. How are you doing? Right. Like, let's. Uh, just oh i'm sorry this is from uh september 2nd 2020. you can't present this like they said oh, it wow. because he died so who read you're applying to a comment from over two years ago <laughs> did your opinion of him change once he died i'm just curious <laughs> you know no. he's carrying on during a pandemic Fuck him ah! Oh, there. That's that that's a perfect impression. Right? Impression there. Oh, beautiful spot on. We caught something time. from that. Wow, this page was archived two years ago. That's nice. I'm blocked from this person. Yeah, because you've never the even. Beta. Stupid block list, man. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Katokawa. Dude, why is this opening in the wrong order? <laughs> the middle mouse thing is opening them backwards. God, that's me. Katokawa announces acquisition of Anime News Network's media business. Any thoughts? Shall I read? Celebrate good time. No, I'm just kidding. No. Um, no. I this saw is, this. This is not a celebration. <laughs> I saw this. Rip group.katokawa.co.jp diversity and inclusion I'm like right that's what's going to ruin anime news network. yeah i mean anime right. news network has already like been like bad are you sure so it's not it's a like, typo where it was uh anime news network bought kotokawa are we are we really like i mean, I mean this may as well be like okay they went bankrupt like <laughs> this is this yeah. is a manga this is a manga publisher buying an anime news network like what in another so, country the self-proclaimed most trusted anime news source yeah the only thing i see from this is that they're gonna start making propaganda for their own stuff be mm -hmm. like oh Viz and this all is... those other companies suck kodokawa though they've been making top level releases this whole this time would be like this would be like if trump bought cnn it was like, oh, we be own the, awesome. I own the most. <laughs> that would be beautiful. Please, in the planet. Trump, I don't. Please. I don't think that. I believe in you. To the same thing. It that is. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Why is Trump Christmas? with Trump in this scenario? Insert <laughs> politician. Who gives a shit? That's not the point. Um, <laughs> I can't even come up with anything. That would be like if I can't follow that. Legendary Pictures bought CNN or something. Anyway, no, the, is my, this going my to point do is that now? my point is that it's a it's a company that's buying a news network that's specifically niche to cover yeah. said company. So now we're gonna have super biased coverage, or and if not, if we don't have super biased coverage there will be this umbrella of like that you, they can never get out of underneath that appears to be, or will have this air of uh bias coverage from the, from the uh, news network um, in quotes. I mean, as if there wasn't already bias though. I, I yeah, think it's sure. It's not like, 
were we tr- i mean i wasn't very trusting anime news at work to begin with like to up to this point so it's like what's gonna change like you're gonna get more paid news articles like yeah <laughs> here's a here's a commercial sc- disguised as a news article yeah literally uh nothing is going to change if anything some of the people will probably lose their jobs and get paid less <laughs> right like yeah. oh i think i think like i would i would be surprised if more than like you know a couple people got got um uh, left on and most mm. of them get fired and so the real and question is do you think people. they're gonna sorry do you think they're gonna bother to keep up to date with the encyclopedia that would be hilarious if they updated only kodakawa products <laughs> oh wow kodakawa katakawa katakawa <laughs> I swear after you said it's written in out. all caps. You could give them the respect they're demanding. I'm not even looking <laughs> at it. Okay. You gotta you gotta scream it because it's all caps. All right. So real quick, um uh I I apparently opened the wrong one first. This is the one from today from El Montello. Dear Americans, please care at least as much about a mass shooting hate crime directed at the LGBTQ community than an actor you have fond childhood memories of passing. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. Was there a mass shooting hate crime directed at the LGBTQ community? No. Did that even happen? Because, oof, 17 likes. That's 17 more than I average. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, oh, sure. I, should probably, I should probably have kept that open, actually, because i got to add it to the doc later. All right. So, uh, uh, do we have anything else? Basically, Katokawa says nothing. They, they, they both jointly say nothing will change. As, as every acquisition says. Right. Remember when nothing will change and then Crunch Funimation roll. stopped existing? <laughs> I love how there are still yeah. people in denial about that. You know who you are. <laughs> all right, so I'll, let's let's just move off this. I don't even care about Animal News Network and all that. Uh, you guys want to do some pickups? Sure. Pick yeah. up. I've pick got ups. a pickup here uh, that I forgot I purchased. Those are always Those the fun ones, ones, right? I would like to show it to you. Dun, 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 ah. dun. Oh, I sure you've showed this already. I no, it just, it just mag. came out. Remember remember when I saved the whole franchise by pointing <laughs> yeah. out the wrong gun? Yeah. yeah. Well, they oh, yeah, it. I remember that. They printed it with the correct gun. <laughs> uh, and then apparently this was just going to go on the back. I honestly think, I honestly think that they had planned to do a whole series of these and then it tanked so hard that they just took the artwork they commissioned for a different issue and stuck it on the back. Like, yeah. Do you think they had to redraw the entire series after they realized, Oh, this so, is the does it have, so it all wraps up in like the last four pages or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I bet that turns out better than the movie. The movie. The, I know, I know, I know. Yes, yes. I've, I'm committed to now officially naming it a movie. Why? Wow. Uh, well, I'm it did have a real movie. I've gotten it wrong and, uh, so long, I've just decided to accept that I'm an idiot. We've all accepted that. I'm glad you've joined the club. <laughs> <laughs> Acceptance is the first step. <laughs> this, this is true. Oh, fucked it up. <laughs> That's not a Jericho. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said. I, I said, do you think they redrew the whole thing after they realized, oh, no, it's the wrong one. Anyway, uh, well, if they had wanted it to be a success, they would have. Anyway, who wants to go next? You don't have anything else? I thought you had some more stuff. Mine are in the channel. It's been so, so long. <laughs> I moved everything into this box here. Did I have more stuff? I thought I heard you. I thought you said you had a bunch of stuff that you're gonna play up, play, uh, show over the next couple of weeks, so you have pickups. Or something. I don't remember. <laughs> what I, I don't remember what I uh, achieved. Uh, well, while you're trying to reassort your life, anybody I else? I found. 
I found this Pokemon card on the ground outside of 7 <laughs> Eleven. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Who is it of? I don't even know. Basculin. <laughs> you're, a, you're a millionaire now. His sweet and basculin. Only PSA, a couple tire marks on it. <laughs> dude, PSA 4, that's going to go for a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Holy shit. We're going to have to private awesome. chat me the stuff that I was supposed to show because I don't remember. I don't what know what you had. Like you, I then we're going to act like there aren't any okay. <laughs> until, I wa- until I watch the old podcast back. Okay. All right. Just, do you have anything? Uh, or, or, or Reese? Uh, my stuff's in the Discord. My stuff's in the Discord. All right. Discord. Well, I, so, I, have, I have stuff, though. Um, do you, you want me to go first? You've got video for Discord to go for Go for it. Oh, okay. Um, How dare yeah. you kick <laughs> It should have got her. You done did the same thing at the same time. What's up? <laughs> so I picked up, um, and can you read that, Brad? Uh, is that you in the hot springs? Yeah. You know the hot springs? That does not look like a nah. I just looked at the hot spring shaped thing on the right. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's you know the hot springs. So you know the hot springs for for that show. Oh, because it's Haragon and nah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so I picked up that. I also picked up. Hopefully, Brad can read this one. I don't have it open oh, yet. I'm, so I'm not. Hold on. That's not here again. I'm not. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm not on the same tab. Show me. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> show, you, show you again? The one, yeah, you said hopefully I can read this one. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think you're still looking for it. Okay. I, I wasn't on the same tab. That says can BSK. Read? I can read <laughs> <laughs> Even Lance can read that. Can you read the bottom of it? Oh, no. We've reached uh, the bottom says, of the barrel. It says character... And then I don't know most of the kanjis. Uh, okay, can anyone make everything? out the symbol after the K? Uh, the black space. <laughs> it's it's the Brandon Mark. It's the Berserk movie trilogy production sheets. <gasps> Holy shit! Berserk. So, oh, it, it does not. Berserk. Oh, okay. It doesn't say Berserk. Oh, oh, no, I see, oh it, fucking. There's hell. a brand of sacrifice. How did we not <laughs> see that? Yeah. You well, did. He did your have a camera. Cold... <laughs> your I'm camera sorry, okay? absolutely ruined. When you watch this back, you're gonna be like, "Oh, there's no way they could have seen it," because it it literally like the eclipse happened while you were asking us about it, and it got marked after we couldn't see it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. I, I, I'll get a, I'll get a new camera. It'll be better. No. I'm sorry. I'm the worst. Camera. You should be sorry. Go to the corner and think about what you can't done. even can't even make a joke. And then finally, it. my <laughs> final code geos bunny. I picked up Shirley. I like where your thumbs Your final. <laughs> the final code geos bunny. There there aren't any more after after her. There's only oh, that's three. what you think. So <laughs> that's what I think. What you're gonna convince me to get the bare legs? Please don't. I'm I'm, I'm broke as is, man. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Shirley. I, th- she got the I think. Tail. I right on. I think what so, you mean. I, know I think what he means is all. not the final one to be made, but the final one. Like he's got all of them, all of the characters. He's got all the ones he wanted to acquire. Oh yeah. Um, do you have? Do you yeah. have generic uh, character B in uh, that shot from episode two? Yeah, I don't think they, so. You'll have to wait for that bunny make character. A bunny of 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 that character. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't make. Yeah, a, exactly. A bunny your your, your collection is complete. You gotta wait. <laughs> you gotta wait till they get put all, out all of them for real this all time. All right, I'll wait. 30 years. I, I want the figure of that one girl humping the desk. Oh my god. Do you have her and Bunny? <laughs> Which, what? <laughs> Which one humping the desk? Are you talking desk? about ah, Bunny? The, green, the green-haired one that has like the... It, uh, it, it's the braids C2? or something, right? What the no. We've already seen C2. Yeah, no, not, no. not C2. It's the, the glasses girl. The nerd. Okay. <laughs> oh, Nina. They're never going to make a... Oh, fuck Nina. So, Nina's a so terrible Green line, I know you no, said they, they should just like, money. They should just, like, for the walls, make a figure yeah. for when she's on that desk. No, make a bunny girl uh, <laughs> desk. When when <laughs> she's going, like, psycho. When she's going psycho, like, have that face as a bunny girl. You guys are ruining Code Geass for me. <laughs> I haven't even gotten You'll never watch it anyway, Dude, so you've totally seen it. that gif before. I, I guarantee you. I probably but... didn't know it was from <laughs> from Code Geass. Whatever. Let's just move past this yes. so you forget. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Greenline, I know yeah. you said that you are out of money, but I promise you, you will find more as I show you the random merch news tonight. 
I'm what? no, I'm sure. Yeah, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Be, you will, I'm, you will oh, suck please. some dick in the alleyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really broke, but I'm just like broke as far as like getting more figures and stuff. I've got another one on the way. You're gonna so. play a dangerous game with Ben Shapiro. <laughs> For sure. Not to mention look, that. Look, AC, that that, that game of Russian always... roulette never ends the <laughs> same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways, I also have a pickup in Discord, but uh, that's okay. going to be if. <laughs> Here's the Discord. Putnam doesn't need your money. <laughs> so Danny picked up Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko, which is that one that uh, for the longest time never got a physical release um, in the Western Hemisphere. And uh, everybody was like, oh, I, I'm so excited. And everybody else is like, I've never heard of this before. <laughs> and then also, oh, I cockfighter. I mean, yeah. rooster fighter. Good, oh, uh, yeah. exquisite taste, exquisite even though I've never taste. heard of it. Completely on brand for the podcast. <laughs> uh, I love how he says, as usual, I get some pickups after the podcast, to which he's like, wait a minute, <laughs> more, <laughs> more because the podcast hasn't been for weeks. Uh, so, Love Live. Uh, anime magazine that that's i don't even know i think he's put me like some magazine congrats and uh green line picked up the lucy body pillow and neko volt says she is definitely pulling those pants back up ouch ouch <laughs> yeah harsh yeah i i think you mean because of the face no i don't i don't know it's <laughs> It's snagged on her crack, man. I think she's pulling them down. That's friction holding them up. She likes it tighter up her crack. Oh, <laughs> and FD and M. My contraband. <laughs> so I sent the tablet to FDD and M finally, and he wanted my extra copy of Dear Brother. So <laughs> I took two sandwich bags, as you can see, <laughs> and I stuck it in one way and then the other way. And then I just taped it to the back of the tablet and didn't declare it on the customs form. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Danny's no, like, you've <laughs> committed a crime. Come get me, Canada Mountain. That was a mistake. <laughs> that'll, that'll be the diversion I need to escape Ben Shapiro. <laughs> All right. And then Danny also picked up Just Because and Soft Tenny. Soft Tenny Watch Club win. Um, like honestly at first glance this show looks yeah it's a wholesome show about tennis and then you notice all the other images <laughs> and the back of the box is so lewd <laughs> I was like maybe I won't watch this one with my kids <laughs> gross <laughs> we're belching live Uh, and then Mirage Leonardo with the rip, best pickups of the night. Rip <laughs> wow. Mirage Leonardo, he got the worst set for Loop on the You got the wrong one. set. Uh. He got the worst. He got the worst set for part one. Uh, he got, he got, he got the best the set for who, starting who his collection of all the sets. <laughs> who, 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 you sound like that uh, Jason guy from Twitter. Oh, what's his name? The discotheque guy. Jason uh, Justin, 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 Justin. yeah, there you go. That guy, he made the same tw the same comment about um, about um the he did he did Okajima buying Cyber City Oedo. Yeah, you got the wrong one. <sighs> For shame, Transformers season one. That does not look like. Oh, that's Transformers Prime. Prime. <laughs> it was an okay show. Slayers. The nice. Wolverine anime released by Sony, I believe. Mm -hmm. Cyborg 009. Fuck yeah. The Digimon. You got the wrong. You got Digimon. the wrong one. <laughs> you could have waited a year and gotten the good quality Blu ray when District Check inevitably releases it. Not even nice. though. Like the Tamers, though, he got a volume of the season. So nice. like, he might, he might got... be like me and just, just picking up anime. You got the old. You got Ultraman, the Ultraman, the complete series, and, and also then Ultraman, a bootleg the bootleg Ultraman. 
that's yeah, part that's one. Was for I think I paid bucks. thirty dollars for yeah. it. All right, and then here's uh, collection three and four. Good for you. Congratulations. Number four slipcover looked pretty rough. Uh, it's because it's the one that's opened. Well, it's well line. loved, Reese. <laughs> Street if Fighter it's well loved, it wouldn't be is this, worn is like this that. Street Fighter 2V? This is Street Fighter 2V. Yeah. Enjoy it. It's fucking awesome. I want a Blu-ray of it. <laughs> Astro Boy or Robotech. The Macross Saga. Oh, I feel like this box set is missing. Like You got the wrong kids. release again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is like five DV. Is this fucking... No, uh, no. The complete, the complete one has like 13. No, no. But isn't this the, the, the thing they do on Flatiron Filmworks releases? Yeah, that, that that was the previous holder of uh, oh, Robotech. And then Footnum picked up the Steelbook for a silent voice. Yeah. A silent I need voice. free shipping. <laughs> okay. Seb got the Blu-ray for the Irresponsible Captain Tyler. Uh, I think that's I a forgot. TV series. If only it was worth watching. Danny oh. picked up Record of Ragnarok Volume 3. Is it better than the Netflix series, which honestly is like insufferable, but you watch it anyway? Seriously, the first six episodes are the first fight, and then like every episode after that is another fight. Like they drag that shit on forever, and then they're just like, ah, these ones can go quick. Are these the, uh, these are not the, what do you call those, uh, director's cut? 95 cents. Yeah, for Fly Me to the Moon. You got the right one and the right <laughs> price. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the comment there. Green Line got an Anya statue. Yep. Anya. Anya. By the way, I watched Some all with a little of, gun. Like she's I watched always all of the first season so far. Nice. I haven't started the second part yet. My family, well, my son didn't care for it, but my, my wife and daughter loved it. And then Reese, here is your pickups. Uh, I got Bacano. I can't remember what volume this is. Bacano. 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 <laughs> and I got Bullet Train on Blu-ray and DVD. And Lord L. Malloy the Second's Case File, Real Zeppelin Grace Note Special. DVD sized. DVD sized Blu-ray. <laughs> Fucking that. Kill and then uh, the ones that are dead or alive, One Punch Man 24, and then uh, Spice, Spice and Wolf. I can't read which volume that is. 23? Uh, it says Spring six. Log 6. No, no, right volume above it. Right above it. Right uh, 23? Yeah, 23. It's almost caught up to One Punch Man. <laughs> Just burn it. And then, yeah, here's the, the special next to the Here's series, the rapage. Uh, at yep. least it's the same Paul height Nolan as the lull in the sea. This. That's all that matters. <laughs> it's a single, it's a single panel digi pack. It's thin was, and tall. I was joking about this earlier. Apparently, he actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! All right. Anyway, um. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. 15. Fifteen. That came in yesterday. And then. Yo, spoilers. And then here is your second full set because they delivered it to the hashtag wrong house. <laughs> no, this, this, this is the first one. It came to the post office this time. Just to make sure that they didn't. Play it up. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I got the the limited edition. I'm I, hold on, I, hold on, go back to that image. I keep doing the full go in the open original. Bottom left. <laughs> bottom exactly. left below. Ah! There, he clicked the that. No, he did not. Left. That one. If he opened it in a new tab. Okay. He's like right. it, this is the small. One. And this is this is the oh, like, enormous. Yeah. You can you can click on go now go down to the uh, um the certificate of authentic the yeah number one fifty five yeah. What was the previous one? I uh, like one sixty one. So they sent you another one, and it's a lower number. Yeah, and also that that coin up there with the monkey face on it in the bag. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the back side of it is the uh, Cagliostro dragon. 
It looks really oh, cool. Oh, nice. And, yeah. So what are you going to do with it? Uh, put it in a box. He's going to come on it. Just what are you going to do with the other one? <laughs> this is going to be his, his shield <laughs> against Venture. <laughs> I put I put all the stuff in a ba in a bag. I wasn't expecting that bonus artworks thing. It's like a magazine or like a you know the mm -hmm. one right one right next that one right there. I wasn't expecting that. And also, um, when they originally solicited it, they only mentioned it up to part five, but they actually include part six in this. Nice. Took them that long. So and the the box is really nice too. No, on, the, on the on the back of this, uh, go to the left. It, it's just that loop that monkey face with the text over it. That's on the other side of the box. Okay, I ha I hope I'm alive for the hundred years uh, animated loop on. <laughs> so I repeat, what are you going to do with the other one? Uh, he is going to return it like a good consumer who accidentally. Lied about. Yeah. I, I, I accidentally lied and sent it to California around Christmas time. Oh yeah, <laughs> he'd be big. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next he says hindsight. <laughs> hindsight being twenty twenty, I probably could have settled for the DVD version of writing being in a talking to video, given the price differences. But oh well. No, you should not have settled. You made the right choice. These are remastered on blue. They are gorgeous remasters. Oh, someone, uh, yeah, he uh, he basically bought the entire store. Jesus, nice. You, you fucked up. I'm surprised you <laughs> managed to find the Berserk movies. That's incredible. They're on Amazon, dude. Yeah, but they're all out of, like it's out of print. Which uh, which movie is this? The third one? Dildre. Dildre. Second, second one? Second. So only the second one has this Annecy Film Festival thing on it? Mm -hmm. uh, that could be. Oh, a no, 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 no. The third one as well. <laughs> they could all be imports. Uh, I don't see it on the first one. I, I recognize uh, the uh, middle picture there of all of the Animago uh, DVDs. The one, this one above that. Yeah, that one. Because I I did the exact same thing. I bought basically everything from their store. Huh. So there's a Vampire Princess Miu TV series and the OVA series, right? I this think is so. The OVAs. Uh, I believe so. I think it's like two or three per set. Mm -hmm. I think that the TV OVAs. series comes in a art box that has a slot for a CD, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, um, Lance picked up Freezing Vibration. I got deja vu when you said, like, uh, oh, the limited edition is on sale. Is that a good price? And I could have sworn you got it before. Do you have two copies now? <laughs> oh, fuck. I hope I don't. You never we'll find that out. Well, he's got the essentials. <laughs> well, this, yeah, is your, one? this is season one. Yeah, that's oh. season one. Oh, Vibration is the name of the second season? Yeah, yeah. It it's the expansion pack for the uh, for the butt plug. What I did, oh. what what I did was <laughs> I pulled a Fudnam or an inspired Fudnam, and I took the Blu-rays out of season one, the essentials. Put oh it in my the god! Two, no. And now I have a I have a you, single DVD no. which goes on the standard shelf. No, Lance, you have bastardized my my my. I have uh, done it the way I thought was like okay, this will no. work. You've done that with Freezing Season One's limited edition. Why didn't you that, just throw them in a fire? <laughs> no, 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 no. I do it with things that are multi-part lands. You have bastardized whatever the thing you just did. <laughs> I, I ain't worried about it. You mutilated that season too, so now there's a, a loose case sitting somewhere anyway, and it there, only represents not a season loose case two sitting anywhere. Because my what? limited have to go on a shelf. I'll have to go on a separate shelf than my standard. That's the point. You still have that case. That other the case, case. There's no empty case. How? There's two cases season in Vibration. One. No, whatever. There's two <laughs> cases in Season 1. Or, sorry, Season 2. Yeah. And then you have he that said third He said he took the DVDs out of Season 2 and put them in the Season 1 case. Yes. 
like an idiot. So? You did the inverse? What the <laughs> hell, man? That's, 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 not, that's, not a, that's not a terrible option if you're um, wanting to... You could just like put collection. both of them on your shelf and then just suffer. Yeah. My <laughs> limited editions... I've You've seen my shelves. My limited editions go on a very specific place. You have a stupid from, system. But my <laughs> standard editions go on the and shelf with not you know, to cut random stuff. 11 on his pickup and also <laughs> am i the only person who uses the amazon affiliate link i hope Your that contributions is is much appreciated mine is <laughs> uh, bookmarked my mine and i got my roommate to go and started. order his games that he got for christmas from there too so i was like hopefully it works yeah you just have to bookmark it not that so simple. uh Yes, I got Sega the Genesis Mini Sega 2. Genesis Mini 2. The uh, ESRB version, uh, notably. Okay. Uh, a lot easier to get in the United States because it's sold by fucking Amazon.com, but uh doesn't ship to Canada for whatever fucking reason. What games come with it? Teen Adolescence. Uh, Sonic, uh, and that's all that matters. <laughs> what games? Actually, uh, I think just Sonic CD. Like, maybe the only Sonic game. Oh, no. Uh, Wait a minute, Sonic... isn't this the one that released like nine years ago? I had this. No, this is no, the just new released. Two. This is the new one? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, one... so, so the original Sega Genesis Mini was re released a few years ago with the NES Mini, and it was mm -hmm. based off of the Model 1 Genesis. Mm -hmm. This is oh, okay. based off of the Model 2 Genesis. Okay, so there um, is a reason to classic. pick it up. Because I was going to say, why on earth... Did you not just hack the other one and put all the ROMs on it? Yeah, the, the I literally like Reese asked what games. I literally didn't care. It was because it was a different model. Yeah, uh, I don't I don't give a shit about the games. But if you're curious, the big ones are Sonic CD, um, I was Night really Trap. Curious, there's just like how many games are on it? Earthworm Jim. Oh. There's like 50, 60 games. Okay, 60-ish games. Um, Random Eleven. You, I <laughs> joined the you, club. Are, are, <laughs> well, well, hold on, well, I'm yeah, not for, done with. I'm not done okay, with Sega Genesis C Mini Two. Do your second. CDs. What What I was gonna say is, this is the ESRB uh, ESRB version. The only way to get this version was to import it from Amazon Japan through Amazon.com, but they didn't oh, ship wow. to Canada. So I had to go to Amazon uh, Japan specifically and import it there. It was weird. I don't know. Anyway, just make sure oh. that you know there is a difference. I bought the right version, okay? If you come at me with the fucking Zero version or the European it, version, uh, fuck you. You bought the wrong version. Does the AC adapter uh, explode your outlet when you try to plug it in? Ooh. Uh, there, I don't think there is an AC adapter. <laughs> uh, it's USB. Um, there, there might be a USB converter. I don't know. I didn't know. And I don't play anything. Oh. Anyway, that's it. Get that right. PSA graded. Uh, yeah. So I I joined the club. Uh, th there was now like we can have forget... drawing streams. <laughs> I, I forget what the day was, but Amazon had some like made up fucking sale day. Uh, it was like join the club sale. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly forget what it was called, but it was like, ah, we're having another Prime Day sale, basically. But it's not Prime Day. It's gonna be. It's it was called something else. Canadian Black so Friday. I, yeah. No, it was it was in it was in America Prime too. <laughs> it was. They did it in America too. But anyway. Anyway, so, so it was Pride this. Day. Uh, <laughs> Ac I think it was called Access Day or something. Uh, anyway, that detail so is completely it was, irrelevant. It was, <laughs> it was cheap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was like three hundred dollars. I want to say. That's like, literally the price I was going to sell you my old tablet for. <laughs> but now I got a new one and unused. Yeah, but mine used to be premium. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, is it a, notably is it there 1080p? There's, uh, is it a 1080p? I think it's higher than 1080p. No, no, it must be. Yeah, no, it's just 1080p. Isn't, next, no. isn't 1080p next level 4K? No. no continue. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's 1080p. The only thing is, um, it said it would work with one USB C cable, but um, it doesn't. So I have to use the fucking breakout. Wow, cable you got the it, but... the AC experience too. Because <laughs> that was what uh, Brad's uh, 
tablet was the same thing. He's like, I thought I could do it with just the USB C cable. It literally said it on the box, and then I tried it, and it, and I bought a specific cable, like because it was like, oh, the cable has to be like a high grade USB C cable. It's like, okay, still it doesn't, doesn't come work, with it. So. No. Well, that's what you get when you buy shit shit from China. God damn it. That's what you get when from you buy Hikuyan. shit from China on Pride Day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, to answer the question about the uh the gay the gay holocaust that occurred, uh this weekend in Colorado, a gay Why are we interrupting my pickups with this shit? Do it uh, after it was on theme. <laughs> How is it on theme? <laughs> you Pride got a gay day. deal. <laughs> it's oh, every God. time we so have a pickup, I, there must I be wanted, a retarded interruption. Continue, I wanted I to ask uh, if this um, individual ha happened to be at one of like Biden uh, or Fetterman's speeches. And nobody got the reference because Hillary Clinton had that one speech where the father of the Pulse nightclub shooting was behind her. Anyway. <laughs> That was All a right, joke great. that that went that was too high brow for everything. <laughs> great joke that had nothing oh, to do with I, I got what you were saying. I was just thinking if uh you know the two aforementioned quote unquote males, there was someone there they probably wouldn't have noticed, but hey, let's continue. All All right. Right. Oh hey. Uh I trust Stan missed the roast. <laughs> yeah. You missed it, dude. He raped us all. Me especially. Anyway, <laughs> my my PC is like, um, uh, like, oh, you I, I forget what the board is, but yeah, it's it's pretty top of the line. Uh, although the case, it, uh, to be fair, I did try only the case USB C, so possibly there was some issue with the cases USB C. It sounds to me like you might need a USB C port on your graphics card because I don't know how the hell that would work otherwise, unless it somehow does work on the motherboard USB C port. Uh, I mean, I would assume it should work through the motherboard. My my graphics card doesn't, that for sure. Um, it's the 3080 Ti. I I don't think it has a USB C. Maybe it. Yeah, does. I don't know. If the anyway, it doesn't matter. matter. It didn't. It didn't work. Um, so Luigi it, it doesn't really matter. Had pointed out that Soft Tenny has panties and breasts with nipples. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I guess we're watching. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next watch club is Berserk, by the way. Twenty six. Which so. also has breasts with nipples. Big three. Does it have panties though? With nipples. Does it have panties? Uh, I don't. Maybe uh, there there I might be there, one or two. I thought there were oh, real breast in that hit. Hmm. On topic for tonight. <laughs> there are oh, see that one X dot here. life. Ooh. Random, you that could one. be like drawing something on the tablet on screen for us, and you know, demonstrating this while we talk about breasts and nipple. <laughs> oh my god, we got more. <laughs> oh, I missed no, that one. No, random eleven wow. can't do his Microsoft Paint talks anymore. I'm gonna <laughs> miss that. I'll, so, I can do it with paint with the tablet. But it'll look half Paint's competent now. First, please. Stan says that Lupin set looks sweet, Reese. Do you want the second one, Stan? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, now that I've totally ruined the, the flow. Uh, the bunny desk thingy was disturbing. All right. Oh, the thing where you guys were talking about a bunny girl humping a desk. Yeah. She wasn't a bunny girl, but yes, uh, that we were suggesting make her the bunny girl. <laughs> we we're all yeah. pretending that a green line's finger was the desk, but never this mind. This human management class is going to give me carpal tunnel. How do you manage humans? That's a good question. Hope, yeah. Hope, hope you've been well too, Hunter. Yeah, man. Seriously. Oh, then the cool 2T says, that's your PC, not the tablet. Fuck your PC. <laughs> <laughs> For Game Pictures, I got the Witcher 3 Complete Edition. That's it. Nice. <laughs> Apparently, they're not even talking about the uh, LGBT uh, genocide in his home, the home state where it happened. 
<laughs> anyway, um, oh, and uh, you got the thing. S the Batman Vengeance Java says, "You lucky bastard! I want." It. Oh, that's probably for the for the um, Sega, because I don't think it's really impressive that you got a Huey on. <laughs> Uh, well, I I posted a picture of the analog pocket too, and then deleted it, and then reposted it. But anyway, wow. so maybe they were. I had to make sure this. we really all knew we saw it. Is um, Huey on? Huey on like the worst one, Brad? Because I had a Huey on at one point, and it crapped out no, on me. But it's my bro uh, my brother's pen didn't work out of the box. In yeah. fact, he got two pens with it, and both of them didn't work out of the box. So we had to go through customer support, and then we had to buy one that had a battery or something, so we could wow. manually shut it off so it wouldn't drain its battery. Anyway. That's Huey on my my rave review. So as far as the actual mine, mine works like, great. drawing, uh, they're not bad. But uh, as an Apple and Wacom uh, fanboy or whatever that you call people who spend too much money, uh, <laughs> they suck ass and they aren't worth the box they came in. <laughs> they're worth it if they come and they work. I'll I'll tell you that. <laughs> so what is so this? What is the is analog on? pocket. It's a FPGA. Uh, handheld console thing it's basically. really something to see super mario brothers 3 letterboxed or no, <laughs> mario brothers 3 right that's what it yeah. was so yeah. so that is actually not mario brothers 3 that is oh super mario uh, advance 4 uh, super mario <laughs> War, uh super mario 3 okay oh you just got owned bitch all right now my, i got yeah, my, my anus is ruptured from the fucking i just took <laughs> <laughs> basically it's it's it's, it's, the, uh, <laughs> it's it's the game boy advanced version of uh super mario 3 um, which is why it is letterboxed because the game boy advance had a, a narrower uh, aspect ratio hmm Yes. Uh, so I mean. basically, it can play Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, Game Boy Advance games. It's got a cartridge on the back. It's got a programmable uh, FPGA core that's specific for homebrew stuff. And a lot of people have released their own custom uh, cores that can play Sega Genesis, you know, Super, uh, yeah, Super Nintendo, the original Nintendo Game Gear. Um, that's awesome! Holy shit! It, it can. It's basically like the Mister. If you've ever heard of the Mister. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, FPGA console. I've heard of uh, it. But with this, with a screen, and I got the dock so I can plug it in my TV as well. Connect Bluetooth controllers to it. Uh, it's pretty good. Watch it, the bro. one. Well, that that's the, what's worth. Okay, okay. I have a question. Like... This new age cutting edge piece of tech. Does it help you with the fact that Game Boy batteries die? <laughs> well, it's got a rechargeable battery, so for the game. No, the Game Boy games. Did oh, they, the oh, game. The game. Bad bullshit. Uh, well, so if you if you want to use a cartridge, it does have save states, um, and so nice. in theory, you could just use the save states and Beautiful. ignore the the battery save. Beautiful cutting edge um, piece of tech. Yeah. All right. Do the buttons feel natural? Because they look cheap as fuck. Yeah. The and the so start that's what button is a circle. Come on. <laughs> the the one uh downside uh hmm. it's not pictured here but the back the l and r buttons are kind of like a little crampy um the way they modeled it like the case and um the d-pad is a little unpolished it uh when you hold left like a lot of d-pads do this if they're not like top of the grade or top of the line d-pads which is dumb because like it doesn't take much to make it a good d-pad it's just people don't know what makes a good d-pad i guess um so while you're holding left like thing. you'll accidentally you'll accidentally hit down so while you're yeah. running you'll accidentally crouch and like fail or you know while you're jumping you'll accidentally hit down and like fail the jump so that's annoying you gotta be like as long as you know it happens you can like adjust your you can kind of aim your thumb thing. to the top left of the left fucking arrow. Yeah, but I mean, on a like five hundred dollar console, you'd hope it wasn't an issue. But just, just don't get luckily on this. You'll be all uh, right. Luis the Metal Sixty Four says, "I heard that handheld video games are loved in Japan because people want to rest from work." I don't think that's why handheld games specifically are loved in Japan. I think that's because 
they got to sit on trains. <laughs> so they got they got to get something to do. Um, but uh, video games in general are are in fact a way to to uh, rest from work. Also, the cool two T says, "Is there D pad drift? Can you Tokyo drift with this D pad?" Drift? No, I don't know what you mean by drift. Okay, I'm guessing what he's saying is that is does it kind of like it? You know you, how there's if you're a, not touching it, does it, does it have a slight direction. like yeah. drift where you're walking to the left, but your your hands completely off the? So that so would, no, that would be game breaking. Uh, that or a D pad that doesn't happen. But like I said, while you're holding left, you do sometimes accidentally also hit down. The down. Be, so, it's because I mean, the button so it leans to the left and a little down. It's You've because it the folks. the button itself is one solid piece. Mm -hmm. So when you are pushing left and your thumb is naturally low because you're you're holding it in a way the contour of your thumb. Yeah, that it it can also be triggering here because of the shape of your thumb and the fact that you're holding it here. When you're holding left. You might be putting your pressure here versus specifically in the middle, right? Yeah. Which is what causes it to also trigger the button sensor underneath here, obviously. That's why I said top. So he, he mentioned $500. Can it play PS1 games? Um, uh, no, it can't. Not right now, anyway. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like, in theory, they could release a core that could play... Um, ps1 anything, games honestly. i would it's think um i don't know if there's an fpga core for playstation one yet uh but in theory it could um how's is the this, sound how, how i don't know if it would run going? very well though where are the, the sound the sound is okay the speakers where are the speakers because i i hmm. wonder if i was trying to play tony hawk's pro skater one if i could hear the music and have it not sound like chip tune <laughs> uh so this console Baker. Use headphones. This console was released with the um, uh, the purpose of like appealing to people that uh, use game uh, like old Game Boys as for chip tune music. So mm -hmm. like, oh, that's I see. one of its specific um, as uh, selling features is the the audio. But, it gives you that crisp um, eight bit sound. I don't know specific. Specifically, if it, if the speakers are it, or if it's just the um, the analog headphone jack. Dear like. Lord, this entire been on the, on the other microphone. Oh! <laughs> okay. Also, how's the screen? Is it bigger than a standard Game Boy screen? Is it clear? I honestly it's, can't it's tell. OLED or something, right? Um. Uh... I it don't looks know if way it's clearer than, than, a, than a default. Because um, in all Game Boy, it's hard screen. fuck to see. Well, it's anyone. definitely like if it's not OLED. I don't think it's OLED, but it's definitely uh, like a backlit LCD, which is great. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that, that's badass. That's like badass. I honestly don't see the speaker grills, so I guess. Oh, Do here you, they are. It, are the speakers the just in, okay? They're on the side. I was gonna say, are they just inside of the casing, and you know, it's just coming through the plastic? No, they're they're at the That'd top. That'd be of weird, the side. but it'd work. Top right. Nice. Yeah. So so the, besides the D pad, like while you're holding left or right and accidentally hitting down, um, that's that's my biggest gripe. Where with the this fuck thing. is Everything LNR? Is pretty good. On the back. On the back. Yeah, LNR. Here, I'll take a picture of the back. One sec. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, give me... I'm gonna just I'm just gonna open up the uh, the next couple articles here. All right. Twenty seconds. We're having a circle jerk all over this fucking Game Boy. <laughs> yep, that's what's happening. Dude, I am gonna kill myself at the way these <laughs> open. You start playing Minecraft. I tried to look for that one clip uh, that Gundam uses, and I typed in the phrase, and uh, it's it. YouTube gave a hotline number as the first result, and then <laughs> and I couldn't find the that help the clip. So what? Oh, sweet. you know the one the one where he's uh, like, uh, please, please kill me. You know, uh, I want to die. That one. Yeah. Which, by the way, I got him in my recommended like yesterday. So I finally what? found that bastard, and he's a glorious bastard at that. A glorious bastard. A glorious bastard hole. 
bastard hole. So here's the back. Yeah, so that's the back. So you can see that the L and R buttons are beside the. It's kind of like the slot. SP, right? Yeah. Kind yeah, of. They, they but, are pretty small. But the the thing with the SP They're at is, least not on the top of the damn thing. <laughs> this was the, my was, fear. <laughs> What? Yeah, they're not at the very top. Like, they're not at the top of the screen. Like AC, screen. you are not sharing. Um, yes, I am. Yeah, he is. Look at the screen. Oh, <laughs> uh, how about you look at the screen, boy? <laughs> you you <laughs> might need to refresh StreamYard. It's been acting up a little bit. Yeah, dude. He's definitely sharing. I'm gonna you. screenshot this. <laughs> okay. Just, here, just it's okay, Lance. Let me, that that's let me screenshot truth. it as well, even though you still won't see it when I post it on screen. <laughs> Love you too, bro. <laughs> Lance, you can share us your truth all you want, but the truth is he's screen sharing right now. Well, I mean, no, what I'm saying is it's not sharing the Discord. There's no image. It's still stuck on the browser. AC's oh, fucking yeah. browser search on Restart your browser. Streamer has been acting up. I'm going to yes, kick you. you out of this call. Okay. Ban from studio. Ah! Oh, kick from studio. Um, you come back I wish in? you'd have done this back when I would have made like money about this. <laughs> yeah, so the L and R buttons are a little cramped. The cartridge slot is also very like shallow, so the the cartridge isn't like really secure in there. But I mean, yeah. most of the time I'm most of the time I'm just gonna be playing it, uh, playing ROMs on it, not actual carts. It's nice to have the actual cart uh, option, oh, yeah. but. Uh, E but that's why you're playing with relics and artifacts. Like e you, you says, wanna. that's pretty unergonomic. The yeah. Game Boy the Advance other... was uh, like you know this wide old thing that gave you a lot more comfort, in my opinion. The Game yeah. Boy Advance was like the precursor to the Switch. No. <laughs> yeah, because of the <laughs> the, the layout. Yeah, the layout and everything is is basically that was when the game the Game Boy experience went from my hands are under the screen. To my hands are beside the screen, right? Isn't Believe it or not, the GameCube was a form of like the one of the first things that was like the precursor to the Switch, because that's oh what the God. handle is for and all that. But anyway, uh, not oh, because uh, the Game Boy know. has a the the uh, Nintendo the, Game the GameCube has a freaking handle in the back in order to carry it to the to your friend's house to play Smash Bros. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the the the. <laughs> The downside about the D-pad and the ergonomics is there. Yes, uh, it's not terrible. It's playable. Uh, but if you do have an issue with it, uh, you could always hook up a, um, a USB controller or a Bluetooth controller to it. Uh, Apeto makes great, uh, like, Super Nintendo clone uh, controllers. And you can do it undocked and just have it, like, sitting on your table or put it docked on the TV. Uh, the dock was an extra hundred dollars, which is great, but I mean, whatever at that point. Um, yeah, so to to be clear, it was two hundred and twenty dollars for the actual system itself, U.S., um, huh. and then a hundred dollars for the dock, and then uh, you know, screen protectors, and then Canadian, and then shipping. Yeah, it was expensive, but um, I'm just I think it's a pretty good product. That Ben Shapiro got to Lance because <laughs> he's not back. Well, uh, when you when you do, he's the, probably uh, trying time... to find the invite link. <laughs> Can't find it anymore. Which is also not on screen. <laughs> you just you just have to watch back in the stream to find it. When when you do the timestamps for this part, you need to call it Random Eleven's review of the whatever it's called. Okay, I will. Are we cool? Are Those we cool exact to move words. on? Uh, sure. Okay, so Henry Cavill is leaving The Witcher for season four. He's still going to be in season three, but he's leaving for season four. And previously, he was, quote, absolutely committed to The Witcher's seventh season plan on one condition that is impossible to read. Jesus. Which is, oh my God, <laughs> blue. Which is, his one and only condition was that they must continue to tell great stories while also honoring author Andrei Sapkowski's work. So, let's read this real quick. 
It's a somewhat heartbreaking decision given his affinity for the series itself, but ultimately one most fans will agree is for the best. After three seasons of watching Netflix slowly butcher the story of Andre Sapkowski's The Witcher, series star Henry Cavill has officially announced that he will not be returning for a fourth season. Cavill's retirement for the role of Geralt of Rivia was first announced on October 29th by the actor himself who took to his personal Instagram account to solemnly inform fans. There's Lance. Don't worry, I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, Jesus. I don't want to let him back in. <laughs> it took to his personal Instagram account to solemnly inform his fans that, quote, my journey as Geralt of Rivia has been filled with both monsters and adventures, and alas, I will be laying down my medallion and my swords for season four. Do you see the uh, screen share now? Okay. I'm at my phone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Later on. I was gonna say I I was gonna say, oh good, now 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 we can hear you. Wink wink (laughs) that rather than this being the end of Geralt's journey. Oh my god. The actor then revealed that in my stead, the fantastic Mr. Liam Hemsworth will be taking up the mantle of the white wolf. As with the greatest of literary characters, I pass the torch with reverence for the time spent embodying Geralt and enthusiasm to see Liam's take on this most fascinating and nuanced of men. Representation matters! Oh my god. (laughs) Said (laughs) Cavill. Isn't it weird how when when a white actor passes the torch to another white actor, it, it doesn't quite feel just as like entitled or like it doesn't feel like he's like he's making the ultimate sacrifice to let liam hemsworth take the role he, he he's not like jerking off all over everybody with his uh i'm so sorry i have to do this but uh i'm not gonna play Geralt. instead it's gonna be liam it's not like by the way i did this because Geralt is secretly mexican <laughs> Well, no, he could have said, I'm not actually Polish, so I'm going to get this <laughs> other guy who's potentially Polish to Turns play. out I'm actually yeah. not immortal. All right, anyway, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so basically, Liam Hemsworth says, oh, yeah, yeah, I get to be this guy. I'm the guy now. Um, What's his name? Geralt? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like, you're just a like, computer, like, I'm the guy now. What's his name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even know about it. So I'll just say once again, uh, I don't think that it'll be as good without Henry Cavill strictly because of the, um, the fact that Henry Cavill's sword play is, I think the best I've ever seen on TV. Not even that, but like, even just the way that he cares as much as he does about the, yeah, they referred to him. The other actors referred to him as the walking encyclopedia. Because he's such a big fan of the of the series. Now, I'd like to share with you guys why he's leaving. X Men ninety seven head writer Bo DeMaio recalls some writers on Netflix's The Witcher actively mocked the source materials. Says this mindset quote is a recipe for disaster and bad morale. So, uh, in like an AMA or something, he was asked about. Um, like why, like how he approached um, hiring writers for uh, the continuation of the 90s X-Men cartoon. And he mentioned, which I have here somewhere. Uh, so when when asked about how he, how he went about recruitment for who was going to join the team for X-Men, he said, quote, My general rule was you had to be a fan. No questions. He continued talking about The Witcher, where he said some of the writers were not or actively disliked the books and games, even actively mocking the source material. It is a recipe for disaster and bad morale, he adamantly declared. Fandom, as a litmus test, checks egos and makes all the long nights worth it. You have to respect the work before you're allowed to add to its legacy. So in response to this, 
they made a change.org petition. Netflix, you must keep Henry Cavill as the Witcher and replace the writers instead. <laughs> so they actually, in this petition, they call to they call on Netflix, which by the way, this is 239,000 signatures so far. They call on Netflix to not only get rid of the writers, but make Henry Cavill one of the writers. Like, get, basically give him creative control. I think it'll be very interesting to see where things go from here. How he could fix the train wreck that is already starting. Dude, season two sucked ass. I, I was like, season one was like enjoyable there were some bits in it that were like you know i look back on fondly like they did a they did a great job pulling it together uh season two i barely even remember because it was such trash i wouldn't even come back if i got that offer from them though because it's like you've already like put this series through the mud up to this point i would have okay you know you'd have to reboot it at the very least let me let me uh let me paint a picture for you here this is a series that, like, you grew up. This isn't Henry Cavill's story, but I'm just painting the scene here. This is a series that you grew up. These were your bedtime stories. Like, you grew up like you are a diehard fan, right? This is your chance to steer the ship about a series that you care so much about that just a moment ago, it was easier to leave then let somebody else steer the ship into the iceberg. They're giving you the opportunity to steer the ship and avert the iceberg. You'd absolutely take that. Absolutely. I, I'd argue you already hit the iceberg. I, you'd be using the wreckage at that point, because no matter, even if you make a God tier show after season like three or four, it's still marred by that you have horrible to get like through season those, two and three. Crap Dude, I don't, have stuff. you watched it? No. Okay, I don't think season two is unrecoverable. It just feels like nothing important happens and it's boring. You just they could you pick up where anything. they left off and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It's not like they, it's not like they a la carte at him. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think they could do it anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Apparently Bob Iger is back as CEO of Disney and Bob Chapik is gone. Okay. Well, that's interesting. We need the source. Good thing you posted that five times because I, I legitimately only saw the most recent one. <laughs> um, let's see. We don't care about Disney. E. Castro says, honestly, that's pretty based of Cavill. Don't see such commitment to quality so often. If the people making One Piece live action had that condition, they'd have quit on day one. Well, well it's funny you say that. I don't have it in the doc for this show, but I do have... Uh, I do have an apparent, uh, fuck, I could just bring it up. Fuck it. <laughs> I do have it off screen. <laughs> we could literally policy, cover it next. <laughs> in regards to that policy that the X-Men 97 guy was talking about, mm -hmm. uh, I only partially agree with that. It's like for the roles that matter, like maybe the writer or director, uh, by all means, be like, okay, be a fan. But if it's something like, oh, I just have to make sure that, uh, I don't know the no, continuity he's talking about, from this. He's shot. talking about for writers. Oh, just that, for writers? That was specifically for you cannot come on and write for the show if you're not a fan. How gotcha. do you prove that you're a fan is what I want to know. What um, certification or you know proof do you present? How many Obviously basic general knowledge of the story? Yeah, like just, like just sit down and ask let me, them let me, about let me, it. I can answer that question. I can answer that question. When the showrunners for Game of Thrones came to George R. R. Martin and asked him for his permission to um, to to make a, a series of it. Uh, he asked them one question. Who is Jon Snow's mother? And because they were able to answer it correctly, that told him that they had been paying attention when reading the books. Mm -hmm. Because it had not been revealed yet in the books Directly. But but yeah. if you had been paying attention up to that point, you would piece it together. So that is one way that you find out if somebody is a fan. That's pretty smart. And then season eight happened. Yes, and <laughs> then and then there were no more books with which to write to to adapt. <laughs> which All is right. why they should have stopped and waited. Oh, tumbling down. 
the Battle of the Bastards was good. Everything else was terrible. <laughs> the Clegane Bowl was fucking awful. <laughs> Hated every second of that episode. Um, all right. So moving on from here, since you brought it up, let's talk about the the gayest episode ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> I present to you uh, a one-piece Netflix original director talks about Oda's involvement in one-piece live-action film. Live-action series, rather. Here it comes. And we're working directly with how long is this? Oda, who's the creator. 28 and, seconds. You know, he's he's got a vision. He's also never worked in television. So it's a it's a give and take of sort of education of what, what works in live action, what doesn't work in live action. And then he tells us, you guys are missing the point. That's not what this scene is about. This is what the scene is about. And we all go, oh, okay. Yeah. So according to the gayest episode ever, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is a... <laughs> Which is a great look for for uh, One Piece live action, um, not having any weird agendas thrown in. Um, apparently, Oda is there to tell them how bad they fucked up on interpreting um, how much uh, Luffy wants to sleep or whatever it is. <laughs> What? How, how badly well, he wants no, to become... No, you idiots. When he said he wanted to become the Pirate King, it didn't mean he wanted to get Alucard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so there you go. That's the who who. So won? in the gayest episode ever of One Piece, would Zoro still use his three sword style? Uh, in his ass, <laughs> <laughs> four sword style. <laughs> All right, <laughs> moving on from here. <laughs> uh, Hollywood. I had live to bring it back to Earth, brother. <laughs> Hollywood live action adaptation of Your Name anime film landed a new director. So. Um, the director of the animated film Raya and the Last Dragon, Carlos Lopez Estrada, is now signed on to the Hollywood live action adaptation of the Japanese anime film Your Name. So, um, not going to lie, kind of feels like they've given up hope for this live action adaptation and are just throwing it at somebody. Mm -hmm. That's just uh, that's just the vibe I get. Um I wish you know, them the I, best. I, I, I say since they're changing it to be Native Americans, they have to have a Native American director. Um, you don't know, <laughs> Carlos? Oh, because his name isn't Silent Buffalo or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like representation matters. The story's about Native Americans. They need a Native American at the helm. Yeah, they also need a trans uh, person there to help them for the body switching. To no. know. <laughs> Wait. Representation. So get all trans people there with a <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, the adaptation is being jointly produced by Bad Japan's Toho and JJ Abrams' Bad Robot Production House with Paramount handling US and international distribution outside of Japan. Lopez Estrada has also been tasked with writing a brand new script alongside directing duties as the film continues active development, replacing the film's initial script. As I said, Seems like things just aren't going so well and they aren't translating well when you decided to make it Native American, right? Because you're like, well, we made it Native American, but the test audience thought it was extremely racist and and like the white man's interpretation of of uh Native American mysticism. Uh, yeah. Right? <laughs> that's how I I bet you a hundred bucks that's what happened behind the scenes. All right, anyway. Race Queen Miyabi Kondo says, quote, lose us, and it will be the end of Japanese motorsports. So the existence of race queens, the women who stand on the race circuit in gorgeous outfits, is in a state of going extinct worldwide. And Miyabi Kondo, the, quote, queen of Japanese race queens, I mean, they're all queens if they're race queens. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> had a few choice words about the notion that race queens are unnecessary. Okay. Let's Answer be fair. Me this. Would you even turn on the channel if they weren't there? <laughs> a good majority of people probably I would, not. I probably won't turn on even if they were there, to be honest. In a recent interview, the two-time race queen of the 
the I'm sorry, the two-time race queen of the year title holder was asked about her thoughts on the global trend of abolishing the work of a race queen. No, abolish. People, the patriarchy is just dead set on taking work away from women. What, what, are they going to have race kings now? <laughs> when asked if there's anyone other than race queens that can attract fans, Kona replied, quote, there are some domestic drivers who have the potential to attract fans. But when it comes to social media, I get the impression that they still have a long way to go compared to F1 drivers who have a lot of fans. With that being the case, nobody is going to the races because they want to see a particular driver or think they're cool and such. Given the current situation, I think that if race queens were to be eliminated from Japan, it will be over. I believe that race queens are indispensable when it comes to attracting new people to the circuits. Man, they have man. Why don't they just have a fucking bikini shoot? If that's Who the case, watches football for the cheerleaders. Who watches football for the football? <laughs> <laughs> Japan's it's... Formula One motor racing event got rid of grid girls back in 2018 because they were unsuitable for modern social norms. Three time Super GT winner Juichi Wakisaka stated that if race queens were to disappear, the entrance fees would also increase due to loss of income. <laughs> let's let's be let's be completely real here. The job itself probably has a low bar and considering they're like we're paying dark. them a high premium to walk around in a skimpy outfit, they're probably the 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 public whatever it would be, the producers are probably thinking, "Man, we could literally save Tens Look, of thousands of dollars by not once giving again, some bimbo. No, money, once but... again, I'm just saying if I'm flipping through channels and I get to a channel where there's a race happening, I have already moved past it. If this isn't on screen, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, if, I'm... if there's not a burning wreck on screen, I'm not interested. <laughs> 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 <Jesus Christ. laughs> Touche. What, what I'm trying to point, what I'm trying to point out is, it's like. This is a draw, but this just proves how low, how little people actually <laughs> care about racing. The, the cool 2 T says, she is the queeniest. <laughs> no race queen remain unseen. <laughs> also, E. Castro said, it is disappointing to hear that coming from the writing room. It's honestly a huge shame. I feel the way I feel the same way about the Wheel of Time TV series. It's one of my favorite books and they shit on it. And that Raya film sucked, so I have zero expectations for the live action Your Name. <laughs> All right. Oh, At least we're no, not doing okay. the Your Name Watch Club. We could. Since we would have to be forced to watch the live action as well. Oh. Would we? Yes. In other news, Netflix. If there's shit on my plate, I usually leave it there. In another way, <laughs> Netflix's Sonic Prime show censors some familiar characters. And by some, they mean literally Rouge. Rouge the Bat. <laughs> Rouge is no longer, and I'm saying this with air quotes, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> What'd they do? Cast her at her tits? They made her flat. So this is what she looked like before. And now she's Sonic. No, what the fuck? Now she looks like this, with like a full-on cover-up everything. No, no one can see the top She was way too sexy before. Man, look at people being offended by something, you know. Not offended by it. it. They just think it's inappropriate or something. Wow. <laughs> Sonic's Sonic's like eyebrow is so high up that his Yuna eye is extremely noticeable. <laughs> I just want to point out that Sonic's fully nude. Mm-hmm. I'd also so like point you, out that they didn't, have, they didn't have to. They didn't have to. They didn't have to. Is this that new show? Prime. Yeah, Sonic it's, Prime. It, 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 it's a crazy thing. That's like, yep, we're gonna send the Rouge the Bat, but now Sonic and <gasps> Knuckles can walk around naked. Oh. Censored again. I, did you she notice? She should just that... wear black bars as her outfit. <laughs> like, oh no! Is this Mecca Amy? What? The... <laughs> oh, she's so tall. <laughs> And what is that? Hood Are they knuckles? like freedom fighters in the future? Like, holy shit. 
Something like that. Oh I, I, from what I've heard, it's like a everything about feature. this is like I don't need to see anymore. <laughs> Cringe as fuck. Yeah, they the, the, could the, at the, least the. redesigned uh, Knuckles as Ugandan Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the FFF furry freedom fighters. <laughs> oh no! Also, The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror parodied the live. Uh, I almost said the live action <laughs> parody <laughs> Death Note. <laughs> And they got um, what was it? Studio, uh, fuck. What was the studio? Was... Fuck. Uh, not Disney. Madhouse. Disney copyright claimed it. Uh, so what? A Japanese uh, studio copyright claimed the YouTube video that used to be here. Oh. Um. Okay. Fuck, what was the name of the the studio? Amy got robotic. By is it uh, studio four degrees Celsius? No, it's not four chance? degrees Celsius. It was like Passione or something. I don't know. It wasn't uh, that. It was something it's, else. It's, no, I was just saying, anyway, the Pass point is Passione. No the the way. the point is that <laughs> it was. Uh, it's an actual. Um, it's an actual anime studio that did it. Why is the skin not yellow? Is it because that would be too uh, racially insensitive uh, being done in no, Japan? No, they just made her Asian. Her who? <laughs> Lisa. I couldn't tell because the skin's a different color. Oh my god. I don't understand. Nekovolt says, just saw the thumbnail. Quality as usual. <laughs> You're talking about the um, Pompo fondling the, the girl? <laughs> Any person whose name is written in this death death tome will meet their death and be dead. <laughs> oh, be DR dead. movie. D doc DR movie, yeah. Doctor movie, as I call it. <laughs> so, yeah, there's Marge. Actually looks like a mouse this time. <laughs> I mean, I've never been one for Simpsons porn, but <laughs> no, I'm still not. <laughs> <laughs> I've never liked The Simpsons to begin with, in Same. general. So she, so she made the deal and got the Shinigami eyes. Apparently, her eyes are red. Mm, is that is that what that means? I thought this was referencing um, the famous one of Light when he first gets the Death Note, yeah. and they show his eyes kind of like lit up like this. Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe. I like how they made Bart Ryuk. Is that oh Bart? My God. That's not Bart. Is it? How about we scroll and see? I'm pretty sure Bart is a completely different character. Oh, yeah? This. Find him for me. I could have sworn. Wow. It's actually, it's actually light. <laughs> it's a transgender Bart, not Lisa. That is definitely Bart. You sure? What are they... You sure what? about that? How what? long was the sequence? You sure Bart's not L? You sure? Well, who the fuck is Ryuk? <laughs> fuck you. He could just be <laughs> Ryuk. <laughs> fuck you, that too. It's uh, it's what's his name? Uh, um, Millhouse. Millhouse. Thank you. <laughs> it's clearly Millhouse. If they just go, if they put glasses on him, you'd recognize him. Uh, what the fuck? I could have sworn I've never she saw became Bart, a Shinigami. So. This seems That's... a bit long and drawn out to be just a reference, you know. <laughs> it's an entire episode. An entire yeah. episode. Yeah, it's an episode Jeez. of the Treehouse of Horror series. Have you never seen it? Uh, I mean, I probably did, but I didn't think it was. Oh, so, it's a series. So, um, no, they do parodies every Halloween. Yeah. Of different like movies and stuff, and they're they're. Like, if there's any Simpsons that's worth watching, it's the Treehouse of Horrors. Like, it's the only part that's good. Like, no, that's not, I shouldn't say that. It's the only part that, that some people will actually make it a point to watch every year. It's, because it's the they most are consistently good yeah. uh, episode that's, that's of the year that they release. So anyway, now you've seen it. Moving on. I've seen it. Oh, is it crusty? crusty the... <laughs> Maybe it is. No, it looks more like Millhouse. Anyway, somebody, somebody who actually watched it needs to tell us who voiced them. 
Uh, so a French streamer developed an augmented reality Yu-Gi-Oh playmat. Oh. That sounds neat. FPM's like pee pee hard. <laughs> He's like, it's time to so do I'm do just going to scroll down all the way to the to the Omakes. Oh, sir, I think you right. it in Unity or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is with Yu Gi Oh stuff. It just gets flagged so easily. It sure does. Uh, just Konami's a dick. Anyway, that's how it works. That would be pretty cool. So if you know the thing, I, the thing I find the funniest about this is that this guy has devoted at least a year of his life to making this, because all my life I wanted it to be real, just like the anime, so to speak, right? But then the actual thing is like the fucking chessboard in star Wars instead of like the epic battles where you're on the podium and the like bigger than life sized monsters are in the arena. <laughs> you know, actually, like, like, it's, you know, it's just so derpy. <laughs> derpy. This would be little. so easy to do with a green screen. <laughs> I'm sh what, you know, just virtual reality headset and a green screen. People but you, you get what I mean. Like it's, screen. It's just like, use the VR headset. Then it's like they the, already uh, made a VR game. Uh, yeah, like but you can you thing. can model where the cards and everything go. Oh, never. Just you don't need the green screen if you have the headset. You just see it all through the headset. You can tell he's the number one super fan because he actually bought the Yu-Gi-Oh themed gaming chair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good for you. It's super cool. I hope that in your head. It is just like in the anime. Because <laughs> from that angle, it's pretty cringe. <laughs> All right. So I read this article. I read the, the headline here. And uh, it says, Chainsaw Man creator Tatsuki Fujimoto officially joins Twitter after his little sister's account gets banned. And I thought, how, how rude, Elon. Why would you ban his little sister? No, that's not what happened. <laughs> It's been a week on Twitter, to say the least, and one unexpected person has been caught up in the giant mess of social media platform. Chainsaw Man manga creator Tatsuki Fujimoto, who had his, quote, third grade elementary school little sister role-playing account banned <laughs> because Twitter <laughs> thought the user was too young. So, yes, before he became a mangaka... <laughs> the creator of Chainsaw Man got his rocks off by pretending to be a third grader little sister on Twitter. <laughs> I have yet to watch Chainsaw Man. But I've... from what I have seen of it, this does not surprise me. <laughs> there aren't any lollies in it, though, from what I've seen of it. I've not seen yet. all like the first four episodes. Oh, Not yet in five and six. You have the main character being like a sex slave thing to the girl, Mafia? and she's like, "That's not how that's going." <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I like I said, I you you seen haven't seen just... episode five yet. Wait till I we get to the random merch news. <laughs> any episode? What is episode five? When it was all a dream. There was no, no, no sex. No. <laughs> episode <laughs> five. Episode five is when the fondling occurs. Uh, 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 yeah. That... Yeah. Not just power either. Her, her grabbing her own boob and having a guy on a leash, like the all right, can we not having... spoil everything? Uh, okay, no. <laughs> so, um, I, 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 like, I think it's interesting that you have equated having a third grade elementary school little sister role playing account to somehow being sexual in nature. <laughs> Uh, when, it, when a thirty-year-old guy <laughs> random eleven, when a, when a thirty-year-old guy or or however old I don't know how old he is, but however old guy <laughs> tries to pretend to be a fucking eight-year-old girl, I think it's because I, he said role playing. <laughs> like he wasn't thinking of D and D; he was probably thinking of a different role playing. Is is there anything else? Like there is D and D. Like, this what, is my third was he grader, doing it on uh, a dare? Uh, elf. Like I, I think he was trying also to play DNS as in don't save this. I think he was trying to play the entrapment game on Twitter. 
<laughs> I'm an FBI agent. So it tur- <laughs> it turns it out, turns out he's Chris Hansen in Japan. <laughs> have a Why seat. don't you have a seat over there? Nah, nah, dude. <laughs> no, God. All right. So, so Fujimoto opened up on an official account, stating, "Quote: I am really Tatsuki Fujimoto. Please believe it. <laughs> believe it. Believe Fucking it. hell. Why is believe this not?" It. Why are the tweets, the embedded tweets, I'm getting cucked so hard on this. Hold on. Social media trackers disable blocking for this category. Uh huh. <laughs> and then refresh. And then. And then. Oh, here. And did. Oh, is this one deleted? Is that why? <laughs> And then, no, that's it. I'm done. And then, this is tweet is from an account that no longer exists. That's why it wasn't loading in. All right, we got this other one though. Okay. Uh, For some backstory, Fujimoto had been posting on a Twitter account role playing as quote little sister character Koharu Nagayama, doing so before he'd even become a published manga creator. (laughs) Honestly, dude. Yeah, the fe- a healthy the male cool would. Dude. Here. Maybe he was just doing market research. Honestly, I- I'm telling you right now, Twitter just saved your career by yeeting an account that people would have used to cancel you. <laughs> <laughs> so while it has been well known for a while now that the account belonged to Fujimoto, he continued to play the part of the elementary st- of the elementary student who loved his work. Are you? Did he really pretend to be, was he sock puppeting a third grade girl account <laughs> that was like the biggest Chainsaw Man fan ever? <laughs> also, fucking Daryl Harding, nice job ending with a period and no capital letter for the next sentence. It wasn't until the Chainsaw Man anime that the manga creator would tweet in his own voice about behind the scenes information on the series. Though this seems to have caught the eye of someone who hasn't left or been forced out. Twitter, oh wait, who hasn't left Twitter, that's what it means, okay. Caught the eye of someone who hasn't left Twitter, who took the account at face value and banned it for being underage. Fujimoto's editor, Shihei Lin, confirmed that the account was taken down for being underage and revealed Fujimoto's new account. Lin said that both he and Fujimoto are currently trying to contact Twitter support to restore Nagayama's account with her older brother, but are not having very much luck at the moment. So all of the, ha- all of the, uh, at Elon Musk, restore project Veritas, resp- restore Jordan Peterson, restore Babylon B, restore Alex Jones. Also Elon, please little sister Chan. <laughs> <laughs> Let her back on the platform. And he's just like, no, 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 no. I can't no, wait. No, no, no. Oh, I want next podcast for there to be a Twitter poll. Elon Musk, should I let little sister back on the platform? <laughs> Do you think it would get more or less votes than Trump? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, did you see the comments in that one? The Elon's Trump one? <laughs> no, did you see the one I posted in the mod channel on the Discord? <laughs> <laughs> I must have, I'll look at it. The one was literally the, 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 the graph. The graph. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I still have that graph in here somewhere. Hold on. <laughs> the, <laughs> I don't think we have it here anymore. No, who deleted it? Yeah, here it is. <laughs> the graph. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, so Tatsuki Fujimoto's live tweets alongside the Chainsaw Man TV anime will temporarily continue on his on his new account, Ashitaka Eva. Though that temporarily depends on if he gets access to the, to the account back or if Twitter will be even be around in a week's time. Daryl's not not. Um... Are you talking about at least not into temptation? Yeah, yes, I am talking about that. One. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. 
So I think I, I think Elon single handedly won shit poster of the year with that post. <laughs> I just want to say, even if none of that was sexual, it's still <laughs> weird. All right. I, I like how you need to defend yourself. <laughs> Are you having any guilty thoughts for what, so Well, theory, first of all, I never I never said it was sexual from the start. That was all on uh AC there. Play back I just the said, tape. <laughs> play back. All I said was, do you think it's not weird uh, or, or coming from a guy who, who has done weird stuff? Like, No, you said, Jenny? you said, and I quote, I haven't watched Chainsaw Man. Yes. But from what I have seen of it, I'm not surprised. Exactly. He's like on a leash and groping tits. <laughs> like, yeah. He just. He's because, just living his gross life, bro. Well, one, What's he's not that? groping. No, no, hold on, hold on. He's not groping the tits, the main character. She's groping her own tit. The, the, just from the that one figure? Scene. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, anyway. no, no. Didn't you also go into something about, like, sex slavery? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I might have brought that up. <laughs> you know, I, I might have brought I that gonna, up. I was going <laughs> to say something here, but this is fine without me. <laughs> But my point of bringing it up was that he he's he's uh, out there, all right. Not that, not that he's uh, trying to do this on on Twitter with like being a considering sexual he's the okay. one who's underage. I don't hey, think it really um, matters. I can't click on any of the comments anymore. Are they going on screen? Yeah. Yes. Oh fuck. Okay, I'm gonna Did, leave the call. I'll be right back. Yeah, streamer gets fucked. Uh, it might be because it's trying doing all this recording crap. Uh, no, more likely, it's just that because it's a new feature, they updated the website and they fuck stuff up while they updated the website. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So also, just quickly, oh! they did bring. I lost all of the Mirage Leonardo Twitch. Uh, I got. Um, what do you want? I, I wanted to see if they were showing up on stream. What? <laughs> With the emojis and shit in them. Yeah, they are. Nice. You see them? I see them. Um, uh, they did bring back uh, Project Veritas. Yes, they did. Wow. Hip, hip, hooray. All right. So, in theater release news, Crunchyroll... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! No! Where'd he go? Stop. Uh, Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was In dumb. theater release news, <laughs> Crunchyroll to release the quintessential quintuplets movie in theaters. So it's gonna it's gonna be in theaters globally, excluding Asia and the Middle East, starting Halloween, which believe it or not, was after last podcast. <laughs> In the United States and Canada, however, <laughs> December second. Okay, there you go. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. Still, still relevant. <laughs> Sorry, Italian delay. viewers <laughs> and French viewers. <laughs> we, we and Spanish you. viewers. <laughs> For a second there, I started sweating bullets. <laughs> I was like, "Oh fuck no!" <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I Basically, that Godzilla article for most the same of reason. Europe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I'm, uh, yes. No, I, I, Sorry, I believe I'm the one who, I'm one of the ones who shared this. I don't know how many people actually put. Uh, this I found it me. on my own. Thank you very much. Hey, for oh, well, I'm, I'm going to go you. take a leak. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm here, with that. Like half a minute, and I was confused. Yeah, put, was just suddenly go, coming in and out of talking. I'm like, what? What are you guys talking about? I mean, that, that 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 can happen when your mouth is full and you start to say something. Uh, no, stream Streamyard. It was doing it to me too, uh, which is why I left a, a few minutes. Bef uh, AC was playing a clip of something and it wasn't playing, and I'm like, uh, "Is it playing?" And Reese sure enough, on the YouTube channel, the, it was in the order in which we go into the gas chamber. Apparently, there's That's a pecking order. I don't know. Yes, yeah. and I. I I get. I I sadly have to go watch you all go, one by one. Yeah. No wrong order. <laughs> what is happening? 
I love how Green Line's the only one who doesn't get touched. He, he's still in the right spot. He's innocent. He was in the right spot. That's why. Purity's remains. <laughs> he's number four. He's number five. Oh, <laughs> Fundam goes into the gas chamber first. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Right, right after AC. <laughs> yep. By the way, you guys need uh, Santa hats. All right. We like, do. Green Line got one. Look. Oh, Join the club. I, I haven't had the time to put a Satan hat on. Gooble me, okay? gobble, gooble gobble. One of us. One. <laughs> I made. I made this fucking. One duck. of us. One of us. I, I made this fucking duck out of uh, and fucking pixel art. Well, I do have one. Cool. Yes. I don't. I don't. I don't think I have a Christmas duck. All right. Oh my fucking spine! Oh, uh, we we've determined that the order from left to right in reading order is for which the is the order in which we are going into the gas chamber. So AC, uh, nice knowing you. Okay. <laughs> wow, did we just Ethan Klein this? Uh, I thing? would much rather get gassed than the Ben Shapiro <laughs> option. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chad, and everyone. I disavow. I disavow. I don't know disavow. what I walked into. As far as I'm concerned, I, I guess we're all trying to decide a... what kind of Santa hat me and Fudlum should get. Wow, I, I'm just gonna go back to articles. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> back to the quintessential quintuplets. Right. No, I've moved on from that. You have. Oh, okay, the... he went in there and waxed off to it, and now we're moving on. Gotcha. That was fast. <laughs> that was that was blisteringly speed. <laughs> All right. All right. Anyway. I hope you didn't rub it right off. All right, <laughs> it's 1230. Let's go. All right, random Let's 11. Uh, Timestamp. <laughs> and Rita no Kyoen anime film hits Japanese theaters in May of 2023. This is The Feast of Amarita. An upcoming theatrical film that serves as the prequel to the 2018 movie Arang, Sign of Vermilion, or however that's supposed to be pronounced, about strange and sinister events taking place in an apartment building. You guys remember this? Nope. Oh. Well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Sentai Filmworks distribute <laughs> the Sign of Vermilion film. Uh, this is the one that uh, the Kickstarter was about. It was soloing oh, yeah. the guy, the guy who was a uh, um, uh, an effects artist, I think, on Ghost in the Shell two, soloed the entire movie by himself. Huh. Oh, Danny says, "Hey there!" If not covered yet, Kodansha is releasing Vinland Saga three in one deluxe edition, fall twenty twenty three. No, three in one deluxe edition. Three in one. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I thought they already were like two. That and one. makes way more sense than just releasing volume three in a deluxe edition. <laughs> in one deluxe edition, Hyph hyphens are very important. Yeah, anime titles then Mobile Suit Gundam, anime titles now. That time my stepsister got stuck in a dryer as a jellyfish girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, I, honestly, hold on. I we, this doesn't make any sense to me. They're already in two in one hardcover. That's what I was gonna say. And it's still ongoing. So this doesn't make sense to me. All right. Remember what we said, guys, about the Discord rules and sourcing your claims, okay? <laughs> also make sure that your claims make sense. All right. All right, moving on to anime news. So Cartoon Network Japan has debuted a cute new Tom and Jerry anime. Oh my god. Is this weird to anybody else? Yes. Kawaii weird. Tom and yeah. Jerry. So <laughs> we're not gonna be funny. We're not gonna see any anvils yeah. stalking anybody. No dynamite. Like what is even the point? This is like if you were to take real Tom and Jerry and you made it like Muppet Babies. <laughs> I don't understand. And we all know how Muppet Babies turned out. Yeah. Maybe this is just the cover and they're actually going to make it slapstick and have no, Tom I, mutilated. According, like... according, to, uh, according to the Sore News 24 article on it, 
It is not going to be uh, violent. Like characters aren't going to get frying panned in the face. They're just gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna update it for modern audiences. What's what's like the modern equivalent? Uh, uh, school shootings. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> imagine, imagine that art style. <laughs> <laughs> just blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't come up with anything else. I'm like iPhone to the face. That's not even. That's not an equivalent to a front. They, they already got the Swiss cheese like aesthetic or aesthetic with the you know Jerry. Hey Danny, Tom, can you uh, give us a link to that Vinland Saga news? <laughs> I'm not seeing it on the Twitter. Yeah, that show is funny because of the violence, not because it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. updated for modern sensibilities now they're friends and they tackle social issues <laughs> okay. Kizuna I TV anime project reveals title and release date so now it's going to be titled Kizuna no Alele <laughs> I, I, <laughs> that's it okay Arerure <laughs> Anyway, moving on. All right. The Weakest Tamer began a journey to pick up trash. TV anime announced. Finally, literal trash is a guy. <laughs> literal trash is best. Girl. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't that your job? Didn't... Right. That's why I'm sharing it. No, I don't pick up trash. Oh, wait. I got to change it. Take it best girl. <laughs> In Ivy's world, stars are everything. She's a tamer, born to subdue monsters and animals. But she was also born starless! With her life in danger, <laughs> Ivy flees into the forest where she befriends a weak little slime named Sora, the one creature she can tame. Together, the unlikely pair set off on a journey, salvaging rubbish to survive. Along the way, they'll win hearts, evade danger, and discover there's more to Starless Ivy than meets the eye. So it sounds like they basically um, Minecraft, you know, their way to uh, to taking junk and turning it into useful items. It's great anyway. that they have a slime to cash in on the slime yeah. trend. Good for them. That time <laughs> I had sex with the slime. Also, <laughs> my daughter left the nest. My daughter left the nest and returned an S rank adventurer is also getting an anime. What overpowered is the mechanic? The life in a, of an adventurer isn't always a glamorous one. Bell Grieve finds this out the hard way when a deadly encounter robs him of his leg and the ability to pursue his dream not long after Why setting are we reading off the for fame and fortune. But fate synopsis? isn't finished. With his retired, with this retired adventurer, while gathering herbs in the wilderness, he discovers an abandoned baby girl and names her Angeline. After deciding to raise her as his own, Angeline grows up to become a top tier adventurer in her own right. Yet, after venturing out into the world and making a name for herself, fame, fortune, and power hold no allure for the accomplished asteroid adventurer. Her heartfelt wish is for nothing more than to see her father again. It's not even a real father. Jeez. Do we have to read this? No, we things? don't. So Isekai <laughs> fantasy novel Campfire Cooking in Another World with My Absurd Skill gets TV anime. Well, that's a wolf. That's a that is a title. <laughs> oh good. The wolf is being voiced by a man. <laughs> the, oh, uh, let me rephrase that. Oh good. The wolf talks. <laughs> Look, another slime. This one is sneezing or something. <laughs> uh, no, it's got an erection. <laughs> <laughs> that time I had sex with the slime. Here it uh, is. <laughs> uh, I like that little hook at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's a barb. Yeah, they get a bit barbed. <laughs> yeah. I, the I, most... I mean, they always say you're supposed to dig when you're doing it. <laughs> the most heretical last boss queen from Villainous to Savior TV anime has been announced. Is I this just, the I anime just like where to, they do? I would just like to point out how there is nothing but isekais coming next season. Apparently, that's been the last like five years. In yeah, case but I'm saying there's been. literally nothing else. Every new anime that I found uh, for for the last like three weeks 
has been like these. Oh, hold, hold on. Maybe this one. Giant Beast of Arse TV anime will be High Dive's first co-production. Yeah, and it it's also going to cash in on uh, Beast Stars because Giant Beast, Beast Ars. of Arse. Ass is what I think it should be called. Beast of oh, Arse. Apparently these are existing too. Uh, okay. Yeah, but everyone's going to mix it up with <laughs> Beast Stars because, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I like Giant Breasts of Ours. There you go. <laughs> Oh, you know the saving grace is there's one woman in that that rape train. You see yeah, there. that's fun. Original TV anime, The Marginal Service, muscles its way into 2023. I don't know. Should we read the synopsis? <laughs> yeah, I say yes for this one at least, just so we can know what the fuck we're looking at. What the fuck is going on with just his middle ab catching the light? <laughs> There's no synopsis. What? Oh, that's ass. Exact story details for the marginal service are yet to be revealed. So keep your eyes peeled for more info. Okay. So instead, when you look at this, what is the most ideal scenario for this to be a watchable anime? It's an anime about porn stars, right? <laughs> <laughs> and also there's a tanuki. <laughs> what, what? Is this a gangbang anime? Like, is that... Black to the anime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're drawing straws. Whoever gets the shortest gets to fuck the dog. Is this an old man? Oh no. I can't tell. The fact is that most of them are looking at this guy for some reason. <laughs> anyway. All right, it's kind of weird. <clears throat> Locker room, don't drop the soap. A boondocks clip, please. <laughs> I don't. I'm afraid I don't have that clip. <laughs> All right. Dragon Ball's official timeline. This is not the right. God damn, these things coming up in the wrong order. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Okay. Fuck it. Give me a second while I while I reclose everything. <laughs> to open it again because the wrong order again. Hmm. I like how Pompo's face is just like right in the middle when yeah. he wants us in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we didn't cover that yet. Or that. Or that. Why are these coming in in such a weird order? Okay, so let's start with these, just to get these out of the way. All right, so Araki Joe and Kenji Nagatomo's bartender manga serves up a brand new anime project. It's called Hitomi's Million Dollar Cocktail, probably. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's a, the Bar Katsu Project. Was also revealed. To... Isn't there already an anime called Bartender? Yeah. Yeah. This is like a continuation or something. Are you sure? Because the art style looks. Uh, yeah, art, more. art. So yeah, art. Like I don't know what it's supposed. Like maybe it's a Brotherhood version or something. <laughs> this looks like they took an Ace Attorney approach. The Asshood version. Jeez, it looks terrible. Anyway, skipping over all this topic. Hokkaido gals are super adorable. Romantic comedy manga gets 2023 anime adaptation. High school boy Tsubasa moves to Kitami City up in Hokkaido, where he meets a gal at a bus stop. The sight of her standing alone against the white so snowscape, bare-legged despite the freezing cold, captures she's his heart. a thought. Yeah. <laughs> An arc demon, an arc demon's dilemma: How to love your elf bride. Light novel gets an anime adaptation. Oh, boy. Anyway, also Hiromi Arakawa has a comedy autobiographical manga called Hyakusho Kizoku, and it's getting an anime. I'm curious who's going to voice her. Is she going to? Yeah. Voice so her? for anybody who's not following. This is the author of Full Metal Alchemist, who grew up on a farm, 
and did an autobiographical manga where she is a cow. And that's what she. And that's like. her general, like author's author's portrait in all the manga. Yeah. Is that anyway. how she sees herself? Yeah, as an <laughs> as an aristocrat. <laughs> an aristocrat. <laughs> like, no, no, I mean, like you mean she sees aristoc- herself as a cow. <laughs> She's an aristocrat. <cow. laughs> yeah. Sorry, I had a stroke while delivering that joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Crunchyroll error occurred. What do you know? Oh, no. Motherfucker. Did Crunchyroll just go down? Uh, there we go. Okay. Pokemon reveals if Ash Ketchum becomes the world champion after 25 years. Oh, that's how they titled it. Because spoilers ahead. Oh. So, uh, yeah. Ash became a world champion. It is amazing uh, what a boy can achieve when he gets six new fathers. <laughs> I mean, this is what employers are looking for. A 25-year-old professional Pokemon trainer world champion <laughs> a, that's 10 years old. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, a 25-year-old, 10-year-old. <laughs> 11. That's what employers are looking for. So you're saying that the Pokemon anime is done? He completed it, his goal? He's so. got to become a Pokemon master now. Yeah, he's on uh, the master. What else do you got to do to become a master? You have to catch every <laughs> single Pokemon out there. All right. Anyway, so sadly, he was promptly revoked of his title ship due to blackface. <laughs> 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 and I also saw this one. I thought, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I like the, boy that. Goes into coma. <laughs> boy goes into coma after a flock of spar- <laughs> spiros attack. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that it looks, makes it look like he's aged up. He looks like Spike now a little bit. He's what? Oh, he, he does looks- look like Spike. Spike with the Yanni the Yanitor mustache. <laughs> All right. So that was good. Now, um, I got... Oh, no, wait. No! Wrong order here. All right. So, Dragon Ball reveals its first female Super Saiyan 4. Remember when you shared sense. this, Mirage <laughs> or whoever it was? <laughs> Fuck, it's been a long time. How old were we then? <laughs> So uh, my one question remains, why ain't the titties out? Because <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, when you go Super Saiyan 4, doesn't matter what clothes you're wearing, the outfit is predetermined <laughs> and the chest is bare. <laughs> <laughs> now, I couldn't, I couldn't help but notice as I was reading this article, which I'm not going to read for you, uh, Dragon Ball GT is actually considered canon. I saw this other article here. Dragon Ball's official timeline teases the GT is actually canon. Boy, it sure is great when my highlights are made when I'm not in night mode. A timeline for the entire franchise's story provided by Shueisha itself and shown at a 2017 event recently resurfaced online, causing a commotion among fans because it also includes the events in Dragon Ball GT. <coughs> Oh, fuck. I clicked on the actual stupid profile. God damn it! <laughs> Why do you have to go way over there? So here's the uh, here's the timeline. And as you can see, it has the events of Dragon Ball in blue, and then Dragon Ball Z, right? And remember that at the end of Dragon Ball Z, um, there's, a, there's a gap where Pan is born and becomes like five years old or whatever. Right, right at the end. And then this green line in the middle is the Dragon Ball Super timeline. Everything that happens during Dragon Ball Super. And then, of course, GT. Not to be here. confused with me. It has nothing right. to do with me. <laughs> so here's the Dragon Ball timeline, right? The different ages and whatnot. So Super Saiyan 4 is more powerful than Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan? Of course. <laughs> it looks fucking cool compared to fucking Dra- Dragon Ball Super uh, ones. Look like shit. Anyway, so here you can see the 
<laughs> super tiny Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. That is a thing. I hope you enjoy. Uh, actually, I'm going to open this and put it off screen here. Great. Now, we don't need to give Lance validation. We'll never hear the end of it. Where did Lance go? <laughs> he fucked off to nowhere. I think that uh, slime erection got him going a bit oh, too much. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Furano City refuses to hand over funds due to the inappropriate drop kick on my devil. So do you guys remember the hometown tax? No. So Japan has something called Furusate Noze, where you can, instead of paying taxes, you basically give a donation to a nonprofit to help fund something in your hometown. And you get to write off that amount on your taxes. Hmm. And the Furusato Noze um, program gets you like an item. Like you, it's kind of like, imagine if you could write off backing something on Kickstarter. Hmm. That's basically what it is. That'd so, be super um, nice. so Dropkick on My Devil is a show that has had like three or four seasons that were generated exclusively because of the hometown tax. Basically, um, they do episodes or seasons, or I forget. I think it's, maybe it's just episodes um, that are that take place in a specific town in Japan, and like sort of like are about the local area. And by doing that, they qualify for the ability for these places to give them this money in order to fund the series. Now, it was recently disclosed that the Furano City Council Special Committee for the Examination of Settlement of Accounts has not approved the general account settlement for the Furusato Noze system for the first time ever, causing them to refuse to hand over production money generated for the third season of Dropkick on My Devil, as the committee labeled the show's special Furano-focused episode as inappropriate. For those not familiar, in the past, fans could donate money to fund a season of Dropkick on My Devil via the Furusato Noze system, which also resulted in the creation of a bonus episode that essentially served as an advertisement for the city of Chitose. The Furusato Noze system, or hometown tax, allows those in urban areas to donate some of their money towards an endeavor in rural areas to be exempt from some of their income and resident taxes, and as a reward of sorts, local products are sent back to the donors. The system was used yet again to create a third season of Dropkick on My Devil, this time with the Furano, with Furano City and raising 38 million yen or 332,767 US dollars. <coughs> the fuck? Why are they showing this? This time raising 38 million and 23 million was raised via crowdfunding in 2020. Okay. And guaranteeing a special bonus episode focused on the city. But it seems those in charge of the Ferrano city council special committee were, uh, were offended to the point of refusing to hand over the production money. Well, I don't did understand. You just... Did you animate it without the production money? <laughs> like, I just don't get it. Right. <laughs> e Castro regarding the, the Pokemon thing says Ash did it in England though, so it's not really valid. Are you referring to the uh to the blackface or winning the <laughs> winning the tournament in the Alolan region or whatever? Talos. Unkono says, yo, how's it going? So also, are are you think since they're not gonna give the cut the studio the money, are they gonna give the money back to the donators? God knows. It says here the Ferrano City bonus episode served as the ninth episode of John, of Dropkick on My Devil's third season, and it aired August thirtieth. With Ferrano's special committee allegedly being split over the episode's socially unacceptable content, as one of the characters wanted to sell organs to pay off debt, and it was suggested <laughs> the harmless joke could harm Ferrano's image. Jesus, you know what's going to harm your image? The fact not, that you're refusing to hand over the production money for an episode that already aired, you assholes. <laughs> what are I the mean, what are the animators gonna do? Eat rocks? Like fucking hell. <laughs> Another <laughs> member of the committee defended the episode, saying it was only a story in the anime and that it's not great to single out just one part. 
Voting seven to seven on whether or not to hand over the funds, the committee chairman was handed the deciding vote and it ultimately decided they would not give the production team the 236000 What? The money keeps changing. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> where, where are we at $33 million? First we were at thirty eight, and then there was also a $23 million, and now we're at thirty three. Ferrano Mayor Takatoshi Kita was dismayed by the turn of events and was quoted as saying, quote, the decision not to approve is a very unfortunate outcome. To intervene and criticize freedom of expression is a regrettable thing to do. Fuck this town. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> In Minecraft, of course. <laughs> Get you on it on this. <laughs> oh, hey. It's, uh, it's Rekka. Anime back when. Nice. So let's see. Um, Did he change his name or something? I guess so. I thought maybe anime back when talked about us being on the show. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, gotcha. Came ah. from when when I was on uh, Record oh, yeah. Channel, probably. All right. So an American commentator has denounced anime as satanic. <laughs> Allow me to present a video to you. Fine gents. Um, is this? Oh, I shouldn't fucking. This one is thirty-one seconds. Let's just fucking play it. Because <laughs> I totally put that in the brand, right? No, of course not. Only a prepared idiot would do that. That's uh, definitely not you. Not me. <laughs> the <laughs> once proud nation of America has. Con I just love the fact that. Every single person took this literally and not as a joke. The once proud nation of America has continued to decline as both sides of the political spectrum continue to humiliate themselves by sharing absurd views on harmless subjects with one well-known American commentator describing anime as satanic. I've and never sure, even heard of this guy. You've never heard of Matt Walsh? No. He made the documentary. What is a woman? Oh, okay. Yeah. His claim to fame. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, describing anime as satanic and sure to have some remembering moments in the past when deranged pastors shared the same perspective about Pokemon. American commentator Matt Walsh sharing his opinions on anime, which he describes as satanic. Um, what's your opinion on anime? It's really popular amongst teens and young adults. I think it's all satanic. I have no argument for it. I have no argument for why it's satanic. It just seems that way to me. All anime to me seems weird, just like bizarre, creepy. Um, and in general, I don't think that adults should be, whether it's anime or any other kind of cartoon, uh, with, with, with rare exception, adults really should be watching cartoons in general, I would say. There you go. How He's dare so he? Delivery. I feel attacked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to come back to that. <laughs> Can we sauce now the obvious hentai? Yes, you got that from. <laughs> Think that's from 10 bucks says it's a hentai it has it looks the, uh, like a blue haired dn angel it has that air of uh <laughs> it has that air of um of low budgetness to it <laughs> i say ju it's just a low budget anime i don't think it's hentai but it could be but i don't i don't think it I, is either that's hentai or that's how to draw anime volumes 14. <laughs> like, <laughs> Have you tried sauce now yet? I'm trying it as we speak. I had to take a screenshot first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something tells me that the, the people's heads in front of it are going to not get us the actual results, but we'll try it. Yes. Upload anime is satanic search. <laughs> No. What the fuck? That isn't even close. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, the pose is kind of the same. Wow. 
<laughs> that's something right, okay. else. It could be fan art. The capo, that's a that's a hentai, right? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was a kid that um well uh 13-ish. Um <laughs> hold on, I clicked uh, on low go on. I clicked on low um similarity results are hidden to see what they are, and n- like half of them are porn because <laughs> they're <laughs> anyway, That's go ahead. Good to know. Um, uh, I was downloading stuff with LimeWire. Are oh, you gonna tell my story to... about Naruto episode seventeen? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I was trying to download like a Mario game or something, mm-hmm. and um, come across like Mario dot AVI. Um, tell me, tell me more about how you come across it. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> And it was so hard to change the definition all over. It was a clip of a particular girl uh, that um, I believe she was. You're not doing a very good thing about art and changing our minds on this. Um, it It was like a cat girl or something. And I have never found that ever again i have no clue what it was i would like to know what that particular <laughs> clip was. i need this nostalgic nut please <laughs> <laughs> so to clarify I, I remember it very vividly but i i wouldn't be able to find it it's again. haunted you it's it's given you so many wet <laughs> dreams that it's just a part of your soul now but you can never find it again describe it to no. me <laughs> We'll dolly that for you, man. It was, it was like a blue-haired cat girl, uh, and yeah, that's basically it. We'll, we'll you that, yeah, no, you're gonna need to give that. me details on what the blue-haired cat girl was doing and wearing. Um, and what hole? That is harder to remember. Okay, I have I have an answer for what this is from. It's Kamikaze Kaito Jean. It is not a hentai. <laughs> Okay. No, it was it was one hundred percent. No, 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 no. The, I'm talking about the Matt Walsh image. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that. Okay. Yeah, it was Kamikaze Ka- Kaito Jean. Uh, Never heard of it. It is an Arena Tanamura series from the creator of Full Moon Osagajite. Anyway, uh, you can tell me more about your blue-haired cat girl, and I will. I will almost certainly be able to find you what your long-lost nostalgic nutting material. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it had to have been a feed shot. It had to have been like the first flag you ever saw. Dude, was, was this Are... cat girl acting too much like a cat because she was licking her asshole or something? Um, oh dear lord. I I prefer not to explain it on YouTube, but. <laughs> Oh, Un Kono says, sounds like Australian legislators. Yes, Sterling Griff, our favorite politician, who just des- who described the rape in uh, Goblin Slayer that showed children enjoying the rape. That exact words, watch Podcast 94, which you can't watch because it's, it's blocked. <laughs> watch, watch this podcast, which you can't actually watch. Yeah. <laughs> you will, we will prove you wrong. <laughs> oh. All right, so he says, it says here, Matt Walsh, like various political figures, has called out the censorship of certain political views that is prevalent in the West, as well as the gender propaganda that is being pushed on not only adults, but children. Though the individual has also shared less than savory opinions that even those who follow him have questioned. Okay. Excuse me while I find out what they are. <laughs> <laughs> what is his less than savory opinion? Debunking gay marriage. It can't exist. Okay. Okay. All right. That's his unsavory opinion. (laughs) Anyway. uh, This ludicrous opinion might also be deemed hypocritical, as Matt Walsh has previously expressed interest in fiction. How dare he like fiction? (laughs) Some might describe this as the purest representation of why many despise one certain side of the political spectrum, though. Well, but 
sorry, one side of the political spectrum, though both political sides have grown to detest fiction, such as games and anime in recent years, considering the vast amount of censorship in the entertainment industry and the disrespect shown to fans. So literally every single comment is, I can't believe it. Uh, so now let me play his, uh, let me play, <laughs> let me play his response. Today on the show, I briefly mentioned a controversy that had at the time only recently started simmering. It was a controversy surrounding comments made by the humble host of this very podcast. And if you've been paying attention at all, you know that when my comments spark controversy, it's always because I have broached a very important subject and raised an issue of urgent national importance, such as, of course, the backlash over my advocacy for the rights of translucent mermaids. The topic this time around isn't quite that serious, but, but almost. So, as I detailed yesterday, during an all-access live chat this past Friday, I was asked to give my opinion on the subject of anime. And I spent about 35 seconds on the subject in which I stated that, from my vantage point, anime is satanic. Now, I acknowledge that I have no argument to support that view. I have no, perhaps, reason or justification for it. It is rather, as the kids say, a vibe. Anime has a satanic vibe. That's all. Have I ever seen anime? Do I even know exactly what anime is? These questions aren't relevant. All that matters is that, as I said in response to a live question someone asked, anime is the work of the devil. That's, that's my <laughs> truth that, that I live in every day. Now, there are, those, there, there are some who might assume that this comment was simply a half-assed, off-the-cuff joke about cartoons, and that's all. Now, there are some who might observe that I've also argued for cyclists to be imprisoned. I've said that people who leave their shopping carts in the parking lot are morally equivalent to serial killers and should be executed on the spot. I I've called for that. legislation outlawing <laughs> small talk in elevators and the use of emojis by males over the age of 18. I even spent three months on this show attacking my own employer over his refusal to give me a giant stuffed walrus. So you might assume that my theories about anime's satanic origins should be taken in the same spirit as all those other sorts of comments. And you're right, because I'm totally serious about all of it. It's good then that social media took it with the seriousness that it was intended. I was one of the top trending subjects on Twitter nationwide yesterday, again, uh, this time due to my controversial stance on anime. A great many accounts with anime avatars expressed their hurt and anger over my opinion, leading me to believe that maybe I was wrong about anime causing demonic possession. Maybe it actually just causes you to become an extremely whiny dork. That's another thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, the news media jumped into action. My randomly muttered hot take about anime made it into the headlines of several major news outlets. Yahoo News reports, Daily Wire troll Matt Walsh denounces anime as satanic Though he doesn't know why. <laughs> Denounces. I denounced it. Mediaite says, Matt Walsh declares anime satanic, but admits he's not sure why. <laughs> the Independent says, Matt Walsh says he thinks all anime is satanic and adults shouldn't be watching cartoons. Newsweek takes a slightly different angle. They say, Daily Wire host who called anime satanic, blasted by real Satanists. <laughs> Oh, well, if real Satanists are angry about it, then I guess I'm more right than I ever realized. So I can now, with more confidence than ever, say that, that I stand by my comments, obviously. Well, if you feel like you need more respect in your life than established titles is your... Oh, my God. I don't want his ad read on my show. <laughs> hey, I can't wait for him to uh, get, uh, what is it, a copyright notice uh, that we're using his footage and then stumble upon us. <laughs> I hope he shows us the Ben Shapiro at the Daily Wire with him. <laughs> the fact that he says all of that with a straight face. Oh my god, it was the, that was some of the best delivery. <laughs> I enjoyed every second of that. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah. Subscribe to the Daily Wire. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so, in manga news, in Almost three weeks. Hold on, hold on. More than oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Why are there three ducks? She had two boobs in a center. I had to censor it. <laughs> there should have only been two ducks. That was no no no. You don't understand. 
this underneath this image, she was titty fucking one of those uh, <laughs> those games where like all you see is like the dick end, and like the the player character it like cuts off at the root, right? <laughs> that's that's what the tree is. This is from anyway. the OV. This is from the OVA when she when they do the the strip contest, but. I was like, you guys wanted me to do a Christmas one. And when I searched Urza Christmas, this was literally the first oh. thing that came up. I was like, bingo. Okay. <laughs> so right. um, in in the numerous days since last podcast, I have but one manga news. Blood Blockade Battlefront manga continues with third part in Jump SQ Rye. I don't know how that's supposed to be pronounced. This one. So, uh, Reese. Yes. Um, Come on, I... Dark Horse, give us part two already. <laughs> right, I know. <laughs> For those of you who don't follow Reese on Twitter, there have been no less than a dozen attempts <laughs> to get Dark Horse's <laughs> ear <laughs> as he has begged them and, and offered numerous sexual favors <laughs> in exchange for part two. But <laughs> Blood Black King <laughs> Battlefront back to back <laughs> to get uh, a physical release in the west. What was uh, so, what was part 3 called? I know it was in the article. SQ Rise. No, no, no. Jump. No, what? What is this? Part 3 is Beat 3 Pete. Gross. There you go. I would just stop reading. I would throw all my previous <laughs> renditions away. What a terrible title. Are you going to beat your Pete? It should be called Beat 3 Meat. <laughs> Three Pete is like three cool, three Pete, three Pete. No, I, I but it's understand. not even one word. Denied. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So uh in game news, Sonic creator Yuji Naka has been arrested for insider trading. That guy right mm -hmm. there, that monopoly man looking motherfucker. <laughs> He's ripping you off. <laughs> Disgraced video game developer Yuji Naka, best known as one of the creators of Sonic the Hedgehog, was reportedly arrested by the Tokyo District Public Prosecutor's Office for insider trading during his brief tenure at Square Enix in an incident involving a new entry from the Dragon Quest series. Fuck, man. Like, he was at Square Enix for such a short amount of time, and he's like, man, I'm never going to do anything of note ever again. I better take advantage of my short time here to find out what they're working on so that I can boost my stock portfolio. <laughs> According to the report, 57-year-old Yuji Naka was arrested along with former Square Enix employees Taisuke Sasaki and Fumiaki Suzuki, who allegedly bought shares of a studio called Aiming prior to the announcement of the company's joint development of a new Dragon Quest game, Dragon Quest Tact for smartphones. Fuck. I bet he didn't even make any money. <laughs> the three were arrested for insider trading under the Financial Instruments and Exchange Act. Yuji Naka allegedly, allegedly bought about 10,000 shares of the company, aiming for about... Uh, pardon, of the company Aiming, that's the name of the company, for about 2.8 million yen, while Sasaki and Suzuki allegedly purchased approximately 162,000 shares. Holy shit! 47.2 million yen. How much is that in dollars? Is that like four dollars, probably? <laughs> four thousand, maybe. Four hundred thousand. Yeah, I think it, I think it's four hundred thousand. Where do roughly. these Where do these game developers have so much fucking money? Because they're you making know, fucking hand over fist. Yuji Naka teamed up with Square Enix to work on the bombed 3D platformer Balan Wonderland before being removed as its director about six months before its release, which led him to file a lawsuit against the company. Much like the Blue Hedgehog, Naka is known for his need for speed as a car enthusiast, having mentioned owning a Ferrari 360 Spider on many occasions. This is the same as, uh, yeah, I have sex, right? But his lack of success in recent years likely led to the greedy decision that eventually got him arrested. Mm. Well, there you go. Money leads also, to problems. Rent-a-girlfriend heroines, a mobile game shut down in January of... Two shut down in January of 2023. Good riddance. So, 
cucking you <laughs> once again, rent a girlfriend, which I don't know why, but apparently Negima characters and Fire Force characters and fairy tale fairy, fairy, tale. fairy tale characters can all be rented. I had I never know. heard of this. Yeah, you'd be all over that Urza one. I kind of feel like Urza would rent you. Probably. For, for abuse. <laughs> all right. So let me open up several more articles. How many more? Several. 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 At least three. Okay. A minimum of four, because three would be so. Cool. This news is over a month old. I am so sorry. <laughs> Overwatch 2 launches to disaster as players are Ooh. outraged over Orwellian sign-up requirements and the shutting down of the original title. So here's, here's what happened. Overwatch, that game that was popular, doesn't exist anymore. It was replaced with Overwatch 2, a game where decidedly diva's ass is less curvaceous. <laughs> so uh, I'm not even going to read this to you because who gives a shit anymore? But um, I will read to you some other articles. I, uh, I, I want to make a comment on this because uh, a friend of mine is a big Overwatch player. Uh, thank you for texting me. Uh, what is past tense? Okay. And he messaged uh, my roommate because like they used to play and stuff and he was like bro you gotta look check out overwatch the sign up requirements to this mm -hmm. is insane they want your cell phone number yep to play the fucking game yep they require your your phone number you must have a phone number it, it gets is... worse that's oh, that's well, actually I... not that insane it it's gets not, worse it, though it gets i know worse. it's i know it sounds i know it sounds i know it doesn't sound as terrible but it's insane to play a video game that you you know but I've it, never it's, it's heard of one that needed so that basically what they're trying to do is they are trying to link the account to a person they're basically trying exactly. to verify you for yep. the sake of being able to stop you from getting banned and then just making a new account exactly now, the but, first game, the first game was paid. You had to pay like thirty bucks yes. to get the game, and that's the thing. Which... Again, if you bought the game and you physically own it, you cannot play it anymore. It's always been it a, a live service. Not exist. No, well, yes, it's always been a live service, but you had to pay for it. So initially, when you had to pay for it, if they banned you, at least they got thirty more dollars from you to. Play, to buy a new copy mm. to create a new account and all that shit yeah so that's the why they're is, is the new one free and it has yeah like the new one is completely micro free transactions play. yeah or some shit so yeah so that's why they're trying to link you to oh, a that phone number so because much worse. Yep. Th there is yes. no longer this 30 dollar barrier to creating new accounts so people can just go ham if they get banned they can just go yeah, to but... the friggin phone book and just grab stupid random numbers no because no, you, you have to confirm verify and respond you, okay. they send you like a text and whatnot yeah, yeah. it has so... to be a cell phone and the worst part is it can't be a pay-as-you-go phone yeah it, it has, has to be you, on like, yeah. plan you have to have like a cell phone plan this is the same thing they're doing to get to get uh, to age out the uh, the yakuza in Japan, where they're going after the cell phone providers uh, in huh. order to um, to age out their tech. So Blizzard Entertainment is going to record voice chats in Overwatch Two and require the players to provide their phone number to prevent disruptive behavior. So they're actually recording the voice chats uh, in in then they transcribe them. And then delete them. So that means if you're a Japanese player and you use the Japanese word for run, nigero, then they will they will transcribe it, think you said the N-word, and then delete the thing you could point to to say, I didn't say the N-word. I said run in Japanese. Have you noticed I'm Japanese? Right? And they are literally creating a system for which they're using an AI to transcribe the um, the conversations and then deleting the uh, the voice chats because they take up more space, and then they're banning players for um, for 
things that they have to read in a transcript versus the actual context of the conversation. Like fucking hell, you you better not be playing in the same room as somebody watching TV, like a Tarantino movie, right? <laughs> like, yeah. Or listening to rap music. Cause I've, I was in a, yeah. uh, I was in a chat playing with some friends of mine once and you know, I have voice to text and mm -hmm. it was coming through my speakers and it went on my phone and of course it caught it. It had to catch what we all know it caught. And all I could think was, is if this is a thing, I can only imagine what the bots at PlayStation are thinking. <laughs> so it gets even worse than this. Blizzard fixes Overwatch 2 auto purchase bug. Won't issue refunds. Yep. So Blizzard has continued to ruin its rep reputation as it was discovered there was quite the fatal bug in the newly launched Overwatch 2. One where interacting with the chat functionality would seemingly act as input for menu navigation leading to some players making accidental real-world money purchases, which Blizzard refuses to refund. An individual shared their story on the Overwatch subreddit with a leisurely chat with friends transitioning into them accidentally spending their real-world money. It says, quote, be, be careful, there's a chat bug that can cause unexpected purchases and Blizzard won't issue refunds for in-game currency. Blizzard has since fixed the issue... So it was apparently confirmed to be a rather disastrous bug. But Blizzard refused to return the players 300 legacy credits, explaining that, quote, all those unlocks are meant to be final. And, quote, if you believe there was a problem with the game which caused this to happen, please be sure to provide feedback via our forums. So a big metal finger. Gotcha. Well, obviously there was a problem since you fixed it. And openly right. admitting that there was a problem. Overwatch 2 players suffered numerous issues since its launch, such as absurdly long queue times waiting to play, being locked out of previously unlocked characters and items, or being locked out of the game due to the mobile phone login requirements, which has since been changed. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, they cool. changed it, and basically they said anyone who had an account before... Uh, basically... Xbox players and PC players or like console players and PC players used to be siloed, right? They used to be by themselves and then they eventually merged them. When they merged them, they made they made it so that everyone needed a Blizzard account or some shit, I don't know. Whenever that happened, it was like June of 2021, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh if you were if you had an account before then, you don't need to confirm your your cell phone number anymore. But anyone oh. after that still needs to. Okay. So if you're already signed up and playing, gotcha. Well, at least, I mean... I, that's, that's, at least that's, they've given you a bone. <laughs> yeah. that's That, that at least keeps the, the, the OG players... Uh, uh, Casher said, people. guess poor people can't play Overwatch now. Yeah. And the cool TT says, bring back third-party chat. Well, the other dumb thing that they added was they made it so that you have to unlock characters now. Because the original Overwatch, every character was unlocked from ev whenever they added it, right? For every okay. player. Now, specific characters are, it's going to be like, I think League of Legends does it mm -hmm. now. Um, and uh, what's the other one? The EA uh, League has one. always, well, they've for the most part always done that kind of where it's like they have. Every season or whatever, you get the free characters uh, for trials, uh, but then it swaps out. So then you have to buy it if you want permanently keep that character. Yeah. No, so man, it's, 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 just... Go ahead. Sorry. I was anyway. going to say, it's, it's it's dumb that like the game used to operate on a, like a rock, paper, scissors mode. And I get that the new Overwatch 2, they've, they're trying to make it not be so rock, paper, scissors. But like if you're opponent's team goes into a certain composition that your characters aren't good at and you need like oh i need a character that has this ability to combat this other team and now it oh i can't play the the character that our team needs because and you know it's you're locked. Just fighting, losing battles and you don't want to like that's it. so dumb uh so and now you have to fucking grind hours and hours or buy the character uh 
every every time they release a new character, which I think they're going to release one every other season, I think. Huh. So, I don't know. Uh, it's just They could always go the Genshin Impact and uh, like all the new mobile games just be like, hey, guess what? RNG, bitches! Really cut the players and make them spend. I, I, I liked Overwatch. <laughs> I'm sad they took it away from me. They should have just left it fucking running. It's so dumb. They like I paid for the game. I bought the fucking collector's edition. I yeah. bought skins, and they just shut it all down. Um, and uh, yeah, Overwatch Two good. has not enticed me to install. Yeah. All right. So, random eleven. Imagine people buying Overwatch to <laughs> today, and then they put it in. I was like, wait, what? So I don't know what has changed at StreamYard, but now your emojis are showing that way in your name as well. Uh, I changed the check mark to be that emoji. Oh, as okay. As, but the Santa one. The, the, the Santa, Santa one, one is the same as before. Okay. So well, it's, still, one... it's still going to look different on YouTube. Okay, whatever. If you look if you look at YouTube, it's it's... For everyone watching on YouTube... The emoji standard that StreamYard uses to process the video Perfect. is different than it uses to oh, you're right. You're right. show <laughs> us in the StreamYard studio. So yeah. it's slightly different. Okay. Anyway, so Square Enix says the Japanese market isn't enough for revenue after, after they sold their Western studio and IPs. So the revenue generated from Square Enix games in Japan is no longer enough to recoup development costs and investment. The publisher said as much in its financial report for the year 2022, arguing that it had to sell its Western studios to Embracer Group because they were only focused on the development of major games, which presented the risk of a series, which presented the risk of a serious cannibalization of Square Enix limited resources. However, the company recognizes the need for a global presence in order to remain profitable and wants to make games that enable it to succeed in the global market. So cringe. Also, Square Enix producer explains Harvestella's non-binary option as, quote, completely normal. Said, so, quote, I think it's completely normal these days for non-binary to be included in gender selection. The visibility of gender non-conforming people has become much more commonplace. So we thought it was important to reflect this within the game and show that all players are welcome to Harvestella. So I, I think it would be really cool if we came up with an equally unhinged thing and forced it on people. Um, if you guys have any ideas for something we could convince gaming companies to do, I'm all ears because I think it'd be really. I don't funny. know how you could emulate lowering your IQ to reach that level. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a barrier to entry. We'll all have to strive to reach her. Lance, I, mean, must... Lance, might be Lance, I, I believe in you. <laughs> 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 all right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to read this. Somebody believes in me. Time to get dumb. <laughs> I'm no, not going to read no, this. No, you can leave the get out of that. Part. You're already there, I think, since you can't even find a friggin' link when it's sent to you four oh, different times. Oh, called out. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I've decided not to read all of these, but just mention that they exist. Square Enix Star Ocean, the Divine Force, English translation was predictably altered. Uh, so, if you want to read this, it's, all it's fucking impossible to read anyway. Like, maybe if I open it in a new tab, I... I I can barely read it, so I'm not gonna bother. I don't want to read these anymore. But there you go. If you were if you were gonna buy the game, now you know it's been altered. Also, I saw this Goddess of Victory Nike. Censorship is quote not planned, but there will be slight changes. That's oh, a slight okay. Change. It's not censorship. Good. It's good that they didn't call it that. Yeah. You're mistaken. This is just a slight change. This, yeah, you can see a lot less skin. It's okay. That's yeah. a tragedy. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, it, wait it, till it, you. Wait, wait, no, no. They, they up, they lowered the the, the in-game degrees, so she has to dry, dress a little bit more covered up. 
She's got to dress warm. That's, that's not just a dress warm. That's not censorship. It's, yeah, it it's turns just... out turns out the slight changes is that it now takes place much further away from the equator. And therefore, realism. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so a small update has arrived in regards to the potential impending censorship of Goddess of Victory Nikkei. As an email, a concerned individual sent to the developer has been responded to and sure to confuse with its contradictory nature. Those who got to try out the closed beta test have claimed the breasts and butts of some of the female characters have been covered up in the Western version. And one concerned fan sent an email to the developer over this matter, and they <laughs> recently got a response. Where's my tits? God damn it. So it's they not said, even tits. It's, it's half tits. They said the skin Nik part. Nikkei says, quote, no plans for censorship but characters may become more conservative or revealing and may differ from their early artworks to suit their personality better. Duh. The artwork seen on release will be the final artwork. Duh. Sounds like potential censorship to me. Yeah, they had lie. to change her personality bags to match. <laughs> Uh, that reminds me of wasn't that a wasn't that a line in Outbreak Company company where he's like large breasts are a personality trait a man really appreciates someone one of the characters like that's not a personality trait you dumbass. So it says here the email is rather contradictory as the respondent yep. claims there is no censorship planned yet the character designs are going through iterative changes and they might have slight changes to make their appearances more conservative or more revealing. Goddess of Victory Nikkei is is slated to arrive in Western smartphones sometimes this year. Are you guys interested in playing this game? No. Uh, nah. How about now? <laughs> huh? Damn. I don't know if they're gonna censor it. Like... <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's already gotten. It's already on its way to ten million downloads. <laughs> I see yeah, why, why that might be. <laughs> I was gonna play it, but I don't know what the censorship. Like, if they're gonna censor it, I mean, I are you looking at the, the screen? I can see yes. the appeal. I guess. I'm talking through the green line. I feel like it's um. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's doing a like uh fucking the the She Hulk twerk thing. <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> Does right. every waifu that you roll have that? Uh, yeah that that's the feature that you get to <laughs> you get to do that. So um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's styles. Remember style one, style two for design. Are you character type one or character type two? Right. Is turns out to be pointless as players are given pronouns in the dialogue. No, <laughs> good for that. <laughs> oh god! Oh no, they microaggressioned. In yeah, the so game. they they tried to cater to non-binary <laughs> people, but they're still referred to as he or she, depending on which I think is actually kind of accurate because. Um, if you pick body type two, is like people will see you and be like, "Oh, that that like see." They're being careful to not misgender you, right? <laughs> Fucking hilarious. I don't know. I, I think I think the whole thing's stupid, but I do think it's the way they handled it. I think is fine enough. If you pick the female looking character at the beginning, they'll refer to you as she. Yes. Okay. You're not gonna say Kids, sir. The point is, though, that they didn't give you the option to be a they them. Yeah, I and guess that so. is unforgivable. Burn Nintendo to the ground in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> now, also, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet quite buggy, and NPC designs are truly nightmarish. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, I'm Thank you, sure Random Eleven. This guy Thank saved... you for being the reason we have horrible Pokemon games. Thank you. Thank you for. I'm pretty sure this guy saved women from Vic Mignogna signing <laughs> at, at a uh... milady. Oh. <laughs> they say they saved women from Gary. He saves women from Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Oak is the Vic Mignogna of Pokemon. <laughs> So yeah, uh, oh. these characters are something else. So the video footage um, for some parts of the game it seemingly drops down to like four frames per second. Uh, and then there's strange floating Pokemon. Yeah. 
I've, I've had that happen to me before. Although I was in a cave, so all I seen were the little feet. It's really cool. Like, <laughs> it's really cool that they um that they have what do you call it um Are you Siamese sure twins an representation. Oh shit. Um yeah, I was in a cave and I looked up and I'm like, is that a small little Pokemon? Because there's a ton of little tiny Pokemon in this game for some reason. I don't know why they decided to add a bunch a bunch of like tiny ones. Um. Lots but so I look up at the top of the Pokemon ceiling go. and uh and I'm like, is that a tiny Pokemon? So I I go to like hub like lock onto it to tell me like what Pokemon it is, and it's like Hound Dower, which is wow. a dog Pokemon. And so yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm looking Hard. at the little feet of the dog <laughs> through the ceiling of the cave. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta be the honest. Loading wasn't right. Monica the student here. Looks like she's been a student as long as she's been engaged to Ron Toy. <laughs> she do look a little aged. I don't know about you, but the po the Pokemon world looks so so much worse in these newer oh, oh, the new this. Hold on, Photom. Look, man, you got to understand they're body positive, okay? I said the world. No, the world, <laughs> idiot. Look the, at the, the world is body tree. positive. <laughs> so it, it looks so bland and horrible. And because of all the jank, it awful. makes it look that much worse. This yeah. geometry like back so here bad. looks like um it looks like you, you got ZBrush and it was your first second using it. Like yeah, it's, it's extrude. It's really bad. I was playing um and like when you go, come up to a cliff area, sometimes the cliff won't be loaded right. So as you're walking, like, literally two feet from it, this is not like a pop-in. Is this adult like... school? What the fuck? Mercedes <laughs> the student? Mercedes um, the student well, has I mean, male pattern baldness. <laughs> go, go up one. Xavier the student had a full beard. Like, um, or up two. Yeah, there you go. Um. That's a but, student? Uh, apparently the, the, the student. That's a student. Um, I thought that was like a mailman or some shit. Huh? Huh? At Pokemon school, you can be any age. Um, I, I would just like to oh, I, I was Pokemon say, at any age. I, I would just like to point out that this is a universe where Ash is still 10. He's a chainsaw um. man pretending to be little sister. Uh, Oh, um, but yeah, what, no. So what I, academy I, did these guys go to? <laughs> uh, there's a name for it. I don't remember what it is, but it's like Pokemon <laughs> it, Academy or whatever. Is it academy? an adult school? Oh, yeah. No, most of them are kids. I have not. <laughs> run, I've not paid Dude, attention enough. This but I've guy, adult he's wearing student. a hat to hide his fucking Carl oh. from Aqua Teen Hunger Force hair. <laughs> um, I think this might be art school. <laughs> okay, what I'm trying to say is, as you walk up to the cliff, the cliff, like, fucking moves. It, oh, like, really? jiggles. Um, Do you and think I think it's... The LODs think it's, are not um, calibrated right, so, like, the the level of detail change... Yeah, probably. Um, ...causes it to bump in a different distance? Yeah. Because it also happens with the shadow. Sometimes you'll be walking around and the shadow will just, like, derp out. Um, is this the guy's uniform? Uh, there is no guy or girl uniform. It's all the same. That's the sassiest oh, wow. thing I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah, the other thing that I've, Jorge I've across... the student. Oh boy! <laughs> what the, he looks eyes... like he's gonna look at those freaking forehead wrinkles. He looks like a titan, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's got nail polish on. I did on remember when I said remember when I said sassy? The <laughs> oldest school in the Paldea region. Age is not an issue in enrollment here, so a wide range of age groups from children to adults take the same classes. That oh, is the well, dumbest at least, thing I've ever at heard. At least there's that. At least the lore on the official wiki was altered to make this make sense. <laughs> you see, some people repeat grades for the rest of their life. Who's this VTuber? <laughs> That's a gym leader, I think. 
I don't yeah, know. Apart oh, from the carefully she... crafted gym leaders, everything looks like ass. And even the new Pokemon that I didn't, I didn't recognize. I'm like, this doesn't even look like Pokemon. This looks like some cringe AIDS game. Like I don't know how to say. It. At <laughs> least, uh, it at is definitely the ugliest gym Pokemon leader game has a made. real job on the side selling domain registrars. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's the colors. That's the colors. Trans flag. <laughs> it is it is not the best. I like game. how the Pokeballs just seem to just the scale that doesn't VTuber matter. VTuber is so <laughs> like, huge. Well, maybe it's the whole like how in the show they press the button and it gets bigger yeah, somehow. I get that. They, I don't think they've ever done that in the game. It's, Christina, swell, it's swelling up in your hand. Christina the student. Well, you can tell they have the Christina um pose arm. Um, so random eleven. Uh, okay, I'm, now oh, Jesus. explain this <laughs> one. <laughs> Is every yes. single character reversed? Uh, body type to uh to I I've come across a few macho female characters. Uh, none Ooh. of them in. In tank tops, they were all clothes, so I didn't get to see the ripped guns. But, <laughs> That's not uh, clothes. But I completely uh, lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, random eleven. I assume you got the double pack, right? Yeah, I did. You simp! You <laughs> utter simp! <laughs> you did the exact same thing my brother did with Diamond and Pearl, and as soon as he played the first one, he didn't want to play the second one because it was so ass. <laughs> oh, I I I get the double pack, but then. Uh, I just give the other one to my brother, so he plays the other one. Wow! I don't actually you're so play both. generous. Wow! Yeah, Dude. remember that thing I said like a couple minutes ago? How is the Game Boy one have better graphics? <laughs> <laughs> it 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 is annoying because, like, so Let's Go was the first Switch game, Switch Pokemon game to come out. It was a remake of, of Pokemon Yellow. Um, and I think the graphics look really good. Now, mind you, it was a smaller game. That's probably because they had a perfect reference to go off of. It, like this, they're just kind of. I'm pretty away. sure that this game is taking place on a Roblox server. <laughs> <laughs> then, the then Sword and Shield came out, and it looked noticeably worse. But it was noticeably a bigger game. And this too. Uh, and then Arceus came out actually, and it was a little bit smaller than Sword and Shield actually. <laughs> Yeah, but every place looked the goddamn same, so it was pretty easy. But everything also looked bland, so. But then this game came out, and it it's it looks it took worse the cake by far, by far. And the annoying thing is, it it takes a lot of features from those other games, but it does every time every feature it takes from the old game, it does it worse. So it's it's just uh, and the, and the sad thing is the they're aids. they're not going to fix it. That's the sad thing. Uh, like, is it a smash, Necovolt, before you go? <laughs> <laughs> Would you the... smash Monica the student? <laughs> no, no, no. Aww. It's the, the the big macho one. <laughs> they literally don't have time to sit there and fix it. They they're already they have to start moving on to the next to game. To the next game. So. I think it's what the, is going to happen is potentially the only good outcome I can see from this is they're going to pull a Ubisoft where they're like, "Okay, we got to stop putting out yearly Assassin's Creed. Take some time and make one that isn't broken." No, I I think that this is the the future of gaming. I mean, it has been for like 5 years, but I I'm saying even Assassin's Creed couldn't couldn't Do you want to know what's so awful about this? There's I already... more. There's <laughs> another article. Pokemon yeah, that's the best one. A complete disgrace littered with catastrophic bugs. <laughs> that's kind of weird. So at, some you know what? At least out. they at least they care about representation. Okay, my <laughs> neck is represented perfectly in that second <laughs> shot. <laughs> So I don't understand why is it that when you ride your bike, you're also on the Digimon. <laughs> no, the Digimon so, is the bike. Yeah, the Digimon is the bike. It has but wheels why? inside of it because the, the they, dumb they're thing like, let's is make the, the red... cringiest possible concept ever. Yeah, the the dumb thing though is the red Digimon has wheels but still gallops. Doesn't actually use the <laughs> wheels. <laughs> 
The blue one at least uses the wheels. <laughs> but the red one just runs around. Even Why though it has wheels. So also the camera glitches out when you interact with certain things. I can't believe people paid for this shit. Yeah, like uh, Random Eleven. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> uh, got me no, I literally, going. that's how they at least, at least like, AIDS. At least AIDS can be I was, gonna, I was gonna say, gotta catch them all. Every debilitating disease. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 fun the fun camera glitches are uh, at nighttime. Oh, does he get warped back to his house? This happened to me. Oh, that's one. Yeah, yeah. This wonderful. exact happened to me. It's it's on my Twitter. If anyone wants to see it. Oh no! So for me, for me, when I fell in twice without being able to land, it it teleported me back to my house. Hey, it at least it time. tried. At least it tried to uncuck you. Yeah. The other th the other thing is um, because of the way the the game handles encounters. It like tries to set up because the encounter happens in the overworld. It doesn't happen in its own like little battle world. Like in normal games, you you walk around in the overworld and then you run into a uh, Pokemon and then you go off into the battle screen and then you come back to the overworld when you're done, right? So in this game, the battle happens in the overworld, but in order to incorporate the battle properly. For some reason, because they didn't do this in uh, Arceus, which had the same mechanic, but for some reason in this game, they decided we need to teleport the player into a specific position away from the Pokemon on the bat on the in the overworld, so that we can set up like a battle, so that there's pr proper positioning between the two Pokemon and the trainer. So what ends up happening is if you throw your Pokeball at, s yeah, this oh that's this is me I, falling I in the I got it. yeah. Um, but then, so th um, then, the other thing that happens is you can throw your Pokeball at a Pokemon, yeah, and then you teleport <laughs> to the fucking island, <laughs> and, uh, so and I, I was able to leave. get. Well, you can I you do the same trick to get back, right? Um, but if there's, a <laughs> if there's a, uh, uh, well, if you run out of Pokemon, you get teleported back Pokemon. to the uh, Poco Center. This is, so, this is so bad. It looks so unimmersive to have a battle yeah. in this. It looks like your third-party spectator instead of like uh, the, the 2D games where you're just like, okay, I'm in the battle. Sweet. Yeah, but, it, it feels like Grand Theft Auto open world was a bad choice. <laughs> like, you know, I, I, had a, I, had a, I had an idea that would have been a way better idea than this game. Just let you play as the fucking Pokemon and go around like, the world and, and battle trainers every time they try and catch you. And just yeah. Okay. Them. I didn't come up with that part, but that sounds really <laughs> cool. But play as the Pokemon, and you can go around the world just you know be Charmander, and as you fight other Pokemon, you evolve into fucking Charizard eventually, and you know have the open world that way instead of having this fucking bullshit. But that, that sounds they so did. dumb that you only have one Pokemon. That you can, you can have different loads. It doesn't matter. That, that's different loads oh my they it'd be better it'd be already. better it would be better than having this trash it's called mystery dungeon um uh well i'm talking i'm talking about like a 3d fighter thing not 3d fighter but think like think like think uh um, poken tournament poken tournament no yeah. so no, why no. Did, why does the npc just disappear <laughs> the ai think in this game is Pokemon. stellar i just Sometimes you can still move during battles. <laughs> and one of the most annoying things is in right at the beginning of the game, there's this like part of the game where you have to like follow this Pokemon and the Pokemon is oh, walking no. so damn slow. But it doesn't it doesn't stop you from like walking uh, like ahead. the way it tries to stop you from walking ahead of it is it slows down your, your movement speed, okay? Mm -hmm. But then there's a point where you can walk under it in a like huh. a pot because you're in a cave and so there's a little path that goes into a little tunnel underneath where he's walking over and so i walk down there and i guess because you're still at walking speed but because you're on a slope you're technically hor your horizontal movement is different <laughs> or something anyway so it just 
glitched my character completely out and he and he does like this little start thing as he's walking because it doesn't it's not smart enough to say like you're far enough away from the guy you can walk at normal speed wow every part of this game is done shitty and and, so and people, when's the class action lawsuit i i've seen people on twitter say like oh or not on twitter sorry on tiktok say um uh well, this game has to keep track of so many people, like so many characters on the map and all this stuff. It's like that oh. doesn't explain like Wow, literally every game like this. <laughs> like Well, I mean, you could argue that for like that was, why there aren't the first high fidelity is graphics. You're looking to TikTok for any kind of legitimate source. Well, no, he's because... he's right in a in a one aspect. Like it would the fact explain he's on why TikTok is a question mark in my okay. mind. Okay. It would explain why there's like low poly models and all this stuff, but the like glitches in the menu doesn't make sense. Yes. Warping doesn't make sense. Like or, there's so or much this. wrong with this Watch game. This. In the middle of a battle, the the NPC player just decides to walk right through it and lose her body. <laughs> yeah. That's lovely. And then there's uh, not a bug. Many have criticized one of the game's rather cheaply animated eating sequences. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Man, quality oh control is so good. Remember the thousand times I've said that Game Freak just doesn't know how to do anything <laughs> besides the, what they've already the done? <laughs> most profitable. They probably got billions of dollars in funding for yeah. this trash. Well, not for the game specifically, but the franchise has the most profit <laughs> of all media franchises ever. It's like nine ninety two billion dollars a year or something. Um, and they let crazy. the untrained intern make a game, apparently. Well, that's how no, I it's their trained people. veterans that have never made anything besides Pokemon in their life. So then when they have to innovate, they don't know what to it's, do. They're like, it's great the to see. Are? That they coded in the ability to take selfies with filters. That's great. Oh. <laughs> also, watch this girl's arm. They did add a uh, multi <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that's that a hurts. body horror. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> Can you clap with your elbow? <laughs> For a second, I thought you heard her What's hand? the sound of uh, of one elbow <laughs> clapping? For a second, I thought her hand into one of early users, like handballs from uh, Main Dragon. But no, her elbow is up. To, okay, and I have to look closer. Oh, her elbow is inverted or something. Like, what the fuck? Oh, it's like targeting the wrong joint for the clapping animation. I like how you stopped it and where the girl's <laughs> eyes is. Look how her face where her eyes is closed. Are closed. Side decks. Look at these Pokemon. Look at all of these Pokemon. Yeah, that's stuck that's in basically the what animal. happened to me, but with the ceiling. Yeah. This is how they're born, like the Urukai <laughs> from Lord <laughs> of the Rings. No, it's, it's more like the, the 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 people from the oh, fuck the gems from the gem hold anime. On, hold on, God, go this back. looks oh, like one of the free games you get on the PlayStation yeah. Store. Go go back on this one real quick. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It looks so low budget. No, no. Uh, uh, do Pokemon like run? Can Pokemon walk around if they're free like that? What do you mean? Like Pokemon the, the, the do walk around. This, this, do, the side deck that aren't stuck in the wall, do they okay. walk around? Are they free? Yeah, roam? they'll walk. Yes. Yeah, they'll walk okay. around. So in when a I little saw area. That, so when I was, saw that question mark, I was just waiting for it to run in the wall and it just get stuck there forever. Sai, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? Sometimes obviously the world would randomly enlarge. Is that a, an olive or a football? What yeah, is that? A rugby olive. ball? It's Reamer or Run? No, it's it's an olive. Why does it have like a? It has like a. No, it's a football or something. It's got like. No, it's it's supposed to be an olive though. Dude, why does it have like a a, a logo the on the back of it? It didn't randomly enlarge though. Like That's it's supposed to be that big. It's it's um, it's a game. It's 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 not a real olive. It's, it's supposed to be like a, a game. big olive. Um and um. No, I don't mean that. I mean that that <laughs> that fucking 
clip was a clip of you playing a gym game where like you have to qualify for to play the gym and you have to take this large quote unquote olive and like get it into this large basket man like it's... i'm so glad that i would have bought a damn pokemon dude game. if i lived in the this. world of pokemon just nothing would make sense like all I right 10 year old boy in order to face me in the gym you must first complete my challenge get this giant olive into the basket <laughs> <laughs> at least every day would be new and exciting <laughs> What do you guys think of uh, <laughs> the customizable characters? It looks like is that a thing? Like every yeah. every protagonist seems to look different. What do you think of that? All right, the Exorcist uh, <laughs> DLC has come out. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch that again real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, and the NPCs have just come through the battles. Man. I mean, I'll give them this. I'll give them this. In that's games, why you uh, don't leave your cane at home, blind Larry. <laughs> in other games, or even some of the other Pokemon games, it's like you're in this static like stadium, so it looks the same every time. Okay. Yeah. But this actually gives you a dynamic new arena every time, right? A new right? arena where people, you know, I, mean? I would love this game if the Pokemon battles, like a person walks in the middle and gets hit by the attack, so your attack misses because the person gets knocked to the ground. <laughs> the body slam was ineffective. You missed. Body slam was extremely effective on the four-year-old girl who ran into the battle. <laughs> No, like, no, get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He was giving that thing head. Oh no. What the fuck? What? What just happened? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh I have to pee, but I don't want to leave. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one. That's the cave I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what all the hound tower happened to them. Well, if we Day hear it, well, cycle, Chad, if you hear a out. running water sound, you know what's yeah, up. So this that that happens often too. The the day night <laughs> gets fucked up. Sometimes while you're in a battle and it's like nighttime, if you go to the menu to do battle, it it like turns to daytime for as long as you're in the menu. And as soon as you get out of the menu and go back into like the <laughs> uh, battle, it goes back to night. Uh, there's so definitely there's definitely considering... issues. Considering that earlier that one clip looked like the stop motion art had just had a total stroke, I, just, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Day night, I just hope by. that uh, that the new advancements in AI will just write better code. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yes, did you I was just going to say regarding that uh, protagonist thing question, no one answered. Um, I I think it makes it look even more even less like a Pokemon game because you don't have that like, okay, we have the protagonists of this game to tie it together, you know, yeah. even in like Arceus and stuff, they have the outfit or whatever, but yeah, this so one, it's, it's like it's a different Saints, one every time. It's the Saints Row of Pokemon. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> <laughs> at, at least Saints Row is awesome. <laughs> Are you saying this isn't oh, awesome? Oh my god, this like the power, I just noticed this like those old Power Ranger toys with a button on the back where you can literally flip their torso? <laughs> no, this is Satan. Satan's Row. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't the clip Matt Walsh, Peter Matt Walsh was wrong. It was, it was all video games ago. that are the devil. All There's those years ago. anime video the games actually came against Pokemon. They should have used this. This should have been their backing point. All right. So all right, tactics next? ogre reborn word filter bans the default party name. What the fuck? 
<laughs> Censorship is yet again present in more newly released titles as Square Enix Tactics Ogre Remaster, Tactics Ogre Reborn, makes use of word filtering to stop players from inputting bad words, except an oversight has caused one of the default names to be unusable in the process. Word filtering is present in the game for when players enter their own custom names for their parties, but this has caused one of the default names, Flame Scale, to be a forbidden name that players cannot use. Text Why? contains banned words. Please change your entry. What could it possibly be? What what word could it possibly be? Scale. scale for scaly? Could it be ale? Hold on. I Flam? <laughs> lame. lame. It's got to be lame. It's got to be lame. Lame is a bad word. <laughs> okay, to all of you in the world who ha cannot walk, you are now discriminated against. That's got to be it. We've 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 solved the, the riddle. <laughs> so one website had a theory as to why flame scale was considered a bad word and not able to be used. Tactics will get reborn or a remastered version of Tactics will let us cling together itself. Is that the name of it? Let us cling together? Gross. Uh, a remake of strategy RPG classic assigns a default party name based on your character's date of birth. If your date of birth is between May 2nd and May 25th, that default name is Flame Scale. As Twitter user Chujermelon <laughs> points out, even though it's one of the names the game picks for you, trying to accept it results in the error message, text contains banned words, please change your entry. Oh, come on. So they suggested it could be because Flame Scale contains the word Mescal. Oh, an abbreviation of mescaline. No, I think it's lame. <laughs> I think it's definitely lame. <laughs> as, the as in the hallucinogenic drug. Others uh, theorized it might it might be thanks to containing lame instead. But, <laughs> but trying it myself, lame on its own is fine, while mescal is not. Ah, uh, also oh. banned cocaine, ecstasy, LSD, and heroin. Though Why can't you have the cocaines as your party name? Like, <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know, whatever. Despite the fact that censorship in all forms is considered grotesque by many, implementing word filtering for a single player game of all things is quite absurd. Oh, yeah. So you there can't a... use any of these things, but could you call the N word party? <laughs> <laughs> There was marijuana was okay. <laughs> there was a, I mean, Mary Jane. There was a Spider-Man game to where if you put anything "quote unquote" promiscuous or whatever as your name, Spider-Man would like Promiscu shoot it off the screen, and that okay. was pretty fucking cool. So, like, that was a thing. If I remember correctly, that was a single-player game. I'm trying to remember which Spider-Man game it then was. Then they just made a game out of it. Now you're like, what if I put the F word? <laughs> yeah, like, but that, that's fun though. <laughs> All right. So, Dungeon Fighter Online, China censorship, indescribably ridiculous. Forbid of display of any kind of religious symbol, even some of them are not even religious. So, they removed the oh, angel wing religious marks and priest hat from the female priest class. So this turns into this. They should have made that priest hat a top hat. Stunning and brave. <laughs> Dungeon Fighter Dungeon Fighter Online, a Korean MMORPG was hit with a slew of censorship in its Chinese variant, altering a humongous amount of artwork for all sorts of reasons, from the depiction of verboten religious symbols to bloody body parts, exposed female body parts, and even tattoos. According to a thread on the subject, this isn't the first time the game was censored in China, and the update implementing the censorship was said to be 7 gigabytes in scale in size. Damn, um, son. Screenshots wow. comparing the uncensored version of the game with the now censored version along with the short description of what was changed. So, they for they forbode the red/reddish bloody color on any character. So, just because his arm is red, gone. 
the fucking red moon was changed to light purple. God knows why. We already looked at that one. Removal of the Tai Chi symbol, the yin yang. The fucking, like, you could almost recognize it as a cross. And the cross for here and the cross of here, all gone. One of the most ridiculous ones, the cross on the floating robot is removed because the censorship department think that it's a religious symbol. Isn't it always fun when people don't know what they're talking about? Tattoos removed and also boobies covered. Where's the tattoo? Blasphemy. What? The one's on the legs, I guess. The hands? I don't know. Removal of monster teeth. What? The monster no longer. Now it's a dick sucking flower. <laughs> oh, God. Look at this. The now, monster. Is that how Bellsprout the, came about? They they turned all of the carnivore monsters into vegans. Look at the teeth on this. Animal characters must have clothes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they put pants on the shark. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Exposed skin on female characters is not allowed. Even tight, even tight knee high socks. I think they mean knee high. Knee wow. I don't even know what. Ghost supernatural characters must have a human leg. Must have a third leg. No, they human added leg. legs. I know. What? Mermaids <laughs> have to have legs now. I think this is like a will o wisp or something. This is this is this is floating getting... humans allowed, but not floating ghosts. So they also removed eyes from monsters they deemed scary for some reason. So the red eyes are now not red. <laughs> so no more red eyes, black dragon. Skill icon change a skill icon that resembles a a desperate yell is changed to a smiling face. <laughs> Boy, the Chinese sure are a strong people. <laughs> Daddy government doesn't let them have anything scary. <laughs> wow. That's unbelievable. Any thoughts? Nope. I'm disturbed, and I guess enough said. All right. Mofos, let's go into release news. Yes. Release it all over us. I've got right stuff. Fine. You can do right stuff. All right. So <laughs> um, ForbiddenPlanet.com has a uh, director's cut. Only 1,000 printed. Uh, Afro Samurai Volume 1 PX Foil Edition. The new director's cut edition of the out-of-print cult classic book, PX Edition, features an exclusive Copic variant cover by Takashi Okazaki with foil logo, limited to 1,000 copies. Now, as far as I can tell, the quote-unquote director's cut literally just has a different cover. That's it. <laughs> oh. We have fans in the uh, in the chat being very appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> IP too. <laughs> I will give you one comment there. <laughs> All right. So anyway, that's the thing. Uh, Blu-ray forum. You guys remember we talked about that um, that anime that was recently released by. Uh, ascendant animation that has the girl like sucking on the um gasoline gasoline girl yeah so this says here my copy of henke shoujo just came in and just like the vi i think this is the name of the other user on the site it's uh blu-ray uh recorded media so it's a it's a burnable you could DVD. have just burnable asked Reese for that source yeah seriously However, it is not MPEG-2, it's MPEG-4 AVC, so they got that right at least. I mean, it's what, 16 minutes long? <laughs> Five Six minutes long. long. <laughs> Though, like Media Blasters releases, the, the, the menus were, are MPEG-2. Like 
thinner than your thin, your fingernail. Yeah. Half they did finger. not get the audio right. It is indeed standard Dolby Digital, like it's a DVD. Also, the print quality of the cover sheet is quite low. It's like it was printed by an inkjet printer at home, despite being on very thin, glossy paper. Nearly every company's cover sheets are now on ridiculously thin paper these days in this age of cost cutting. Now on to the subtitle quality and uh, their closed captions only. You'll get peaceful music, wind blows, Tomoyo gasps, Tomoyo sighs. Haru, leave it to me. It's like this on the French and Spanish subtitles as well. Closed caption only when you're so close. God oh. damn. Fucking unbelievable, right? I mean, I can't for how little yeah. dialogue there actually Definitely is. Definitely unbelievable. I, I cannot imagine how different the show would be. If I mean, how different they could have changed the dub. I mean, it's probably a one-to-one -one accurate dub. <laughs> I'm just curious. They oh, I can't see them because why now? Why can't I see these? Did they actually block or is it just like a private account? Probably. Okay. Yeah, probably. Okay. Anyway, in other news, Reese would like to show you this. Dragon so, Ball Super yeah. Walmart exclusive parts one and two on Blu-ray. Parts three and four. Parts five and six. Parts seven and eight. Parts nine and ten. And if you go to the 3D, uh, just say the 3D view. There's a 3D view? Oh. Just to show the thicker spine. Yeah, thick as yeah. fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's and almost then, like that thing just, that we always predict. Word of warning to anyone collecting Dragon Ball. They are milking this series. Get wow. Thank you for saving me. That revelation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no, okay, no, Lance. Okay. They're not going to buy this if they already bought the original stuff. No but shit. If you, haven't brought, like if you haven't bought the original stuff, then this is a value pack. You can get two yep. in one. This yep. is. I think this is still more expensive than just buying the box set. The complete. Uh, no, no. If you get uh, the originals, were for, I paid I think forty dollars a piece from Walmart. He's not talking about the originals, wow. Lance. He's talking about the. I'm talking about the complete set. box set. <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe no. We know what he is now. <laughs> well, I'm not sure yeah, to argue. Oh, so. maybe I was talking about that. <laughs> So, uh, also, oh, Dabu oh, David. Oh, God damn it. You steal my thunder. I'm just meant the right stuff. So. Repackaged just to get rid of the Funimation branding, I guess. I was just saying, go back to that one tweet with the Dragon Ball Supers. You can literally say GT this is, down there. This is the old GT, though. This yeah, yeah. is the Digipack. No, yeah, the 10-page the ten, the ten Digipack, and now they're just doing a 10-disc. Ten, ten, uh, Fat pack DVD mm -hmm. case. You think it's a stack pack? <laughs> just a fat pack. Fat pack, not a stack pack. It's a fat pack. Action packed right to the end. Jentonline.com said. <laughs> How many websites did you have to go to before you found one that said good things about GT? <laughs> I, <laughs> if it were me, it would just say, quote, has Super Saiyan 4, I guess. <laughs> 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 anyway, oh yeah, so, but the point was show of showing this was that it's a just a the um the other the tweet with the supers was that's just a yeah uh, slip a sl new slipcase over the old releases. Correct. Wait, the, is For this super. gonna get? Oh wait, you're talking about we're talking yeah. about the Dragon Ball Supers. Is that it's literally just the original yeah, releases with a like, with a double wide slip cover? Well, well, yeah, that's why it says one and two yeah. instead of like yeah. season one. Oh no, no, something. it's not a slip cover. It's a it's like slip a slip case. Slip case. case. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because you, you can see this, this, you can see the two different yeah, you, spines in part spines. ones and yeah. two. Huh. Interesting. Well, that is a thing. And also, Fudnam replied. To be fair, it takes up less space than the old one, and it's no longer digipack, so you can replace the case if it gets damaged. 
So there you go. And then right. mourning the fact that they didn't take the opportunity to, uh, I don't know, have Blue Toei. Ray Master done on you know, Blu-ray, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So, Reese, would you like to take it away? Uh, yeah, sure. Present. Share screen. Google. Allow. Uh, bookmarks. Your releases. Please hold. <laughs> wow. I should have just done it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Now the there's gonna, of, you make fun the of amount me. of time oh, it would have oh, oh, oh. the amount of time it would have taken you to click everyone individually. It doesn't take that long. What do you Well, do? I'm already ready well, to Well, I go. guess I guess it has been like a hundred years since our last podcast. So. You know on Blu-ray and DVD coming out in January. So that's that one. And Tetrogen, this is just a tech sub Tetrogen 28 FX on Blu-ray. Coming in January. Tension Standard 28 edition. Fucks. <laughs> uh, Virtua Fighter standard on standard definition Blu-ray. Uh, Dino King Dino Mech Guy King standard on Blu-ray. Shaman King Japanese subtitled version on Blu-ray. Which has the six episodes that were dubbed uh, uncut. Huh. Uh, City Hunter classic movies and TV specials collection. So all the TVs... what? Hmm? I just realized, wasn't the original Shaman King uh, uh, dub collection SD on Blu-ray, but this one isn't? Or... Yeah. No. Oh, Shaman King? Yeah, Shaman King. I'm busy mm -hmm. trying to get Sword News 24 articles to load. Yep. Uh -huh. I have a feeling that uh, the banner is just not final for the Japanese one. Then it's actually no, I think they said specifically. Well, why would anyone get the dub one? Now? Reese, you no. got cracked <laughs> hardcore just now. Your audio yep. is not coming through anymore. Oh. Really? Now it is. Okay. Um, so what, what probably happened is um, the masters for the English one that are We're censored, in such bad shape. No, the censored one's probably only able to do standard def. But yeah. the Japanese one, they've got the uncut uh, one that because the, the English audio probably doesn't uh, uh, doesn't sync up. Well, they did that for Digimon. The dub version has HD Blu-ray. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I, I think Digimon was less censored. No, no. The whole point is that, uh, I mean, Shaman King's probably not worth it, especially with the new one coming out to do like a Astro Res of the old one. I'm saying that the English dub was probably not in great shape for remastering. It wasn't worth the effort. Whereas the Japanese masters were probably in great shape for that because they don't have to go through the NTSC filters and all that crap, mm -hmm. right? So it would be in 24 frames a second. It wouldn't be like 29 well, point whatever. J in Japan is NTSC, though. I, I, I'm, I'm just kind of... Uh, I'm using whatever placeholder terms. That's not actually like okay. you know how they had to put them through the <laughs> they, stupid filters for the broadcasters and all that. Okay. Yes, totally. Yes. One hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> right there with you. No, maybe not. No dub. Still. What is it titled? Girls. Girls Beyond the yeah. Wasteland. Something can you guys hear Reese or is he like completely silent for you? I don't two? hear Reese. I don't hear I hear some sm I feel like I hear some smacking, but I don't Reese. Yes, the don't. smacking <laughs> is the Reese sound we're looking Please for. Please make not sure people. that you that you're smacking properly. Smack twice <laughs> if you're if you can hear us. Dude, I do not understand what is going on with I mean he's muted now. Oh good. 
It's almost like I should have just done the right stuff. <laughs> oh, poor Reese. Reese, can you unmute yourself? He's not well, unless you're unless you're no, taking that leak you really yeah. needed. Then maybe we don't want you to unmute yourself until you're done. Hold on, okay. Reese, can you, you speak? Me. Yeah, I, I am there speaking. You go. There you go. We're good. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Stephen King Dime Out Blu-ray re-release. Finally, I've been waiting for a reprint of this. <laughs> right. Why went out for? I feel like it's been a while. Clan Ad Blu-ray re-release. Oh, nice. However, it's both. Did they season. change the <laughs> SD or both both seasons in a standard edition for the first time? I think. Or maybe I think not. They, I think that they had a, a complete series. Is the movie on edition. it? No, sadly, no. Then so there's no reason just... to actually buy it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Revisions on Blu-ray. English, Japanese. From the Code creator Geos. of Code Geass. Which they probably mean just Sunrise animated it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no, the director. Okay, yeah. Goro, Goro Tani Gucci. He, he did direct it. Code Geass. Says, this is the creator. I know, but it. Funimation said that about Shakugan no Shana Torador and uh, Familiar oh. Zero or whatever. Like in their uh, promos. It's like, for the creators of all those shows. And it's like, no, it's just uh, JC staff. Yeah, this the studio. Okay. QG Master Takagi san the movie. Once again, coming out before season two. <laughs> 72 minute long movie. I still need to get season three on Blu ray, honestly. Um, we got the Funimation February slate, Horror Mews no. Limited Edition. With a horrific cutout slip cover. Why even have oh. it? It looks so bad. Is there, I haven't watched the show. Is there a reason for this like prostate shaped cutout? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you're so intimately uh, familiar with the prostate shape. Oh, uh, is it half a heart to, on one side shape. and a full heart care to in share? together? Oh, Horror Mia? Horror Mia? That's not half hard. Yeah, is there a prostate shape, uh, you know, like relevance <laughs> later on? I only got like eight episodes. Well, in. That, the dude, the dude is covered prostate. in tattoos. Yeah, that's I mean, prostate. Well, that's surely that's it. <laughs> oh, <I> mean, <laughs> What's that got to do with the freaking shape? <laughs> maybe he's wearing. Maybe he's wearing a cup when they insinuate that they smash. I guess I don't know. Well, if you don't know, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Standard edition <laughs> on the <laughs> DVD. I don't I'm, see any tattoos in, in on my that defense, arm. I am very distracted, but okay. that's fine. Oh, like, that's, maybe a different, that's a different dude. Out down here? I don't know. No, that's a different guy. How a not to summon a demon movie. lord Omega? Oh, we're, we're continuing the trend of no season two LEs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Get cut. Well, I'm going to have to 3D print one if I eventually get a 3D printer. I right, want to make a goddamn perfect art box. <laughs> so you can put a cutout on it? A cutout? A cutout on your 3D printed art box. And then there's Dragon Ball GT. It has Green the same set. four, I guess. <laughs> Special feet remastered and digitally restored. That's probably the oh, old God. remastered. That literally restored. is probably on the other release already. More than English yep. voice track with original Japanese music is a special feature. That's now. also on the, on the orange it's brick special. set. <laughs> <and> the <lime laughs> Marathon play, which is also on the old ones, I know. Damn, these features are cutting edge. Look, I'll give them credit. Marathon <laughs> is a goddamn feature. It, it is a crap. great feature, except for the part where it goes to the next time on Dragon Ball GT. Previously on Dragon Ball GT. <laughs> uh, you know, actually, I'm pretty think sure the marathon out, skips that part. Uh, they, they cut I don't out, think but... so. They cut uh, out the oh, they, they cut out the credits and previews and and recap. Like segments. I I don't think on the orange brick sets it did. I'm pretty sure I remember it having the find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. I I still find that feature leer like leery in case because they might potentially skip. 
Right. Uh, like the post credit scenes. The cool two G don't says, have those goddamn. You need a three D printer for a slip cover? <laughs> no, no, no. To make the box. So yeah. I, I, I want. He doesn't. He doesn't want to have to cut the chipboard himself anymore. Well, I figure that it's easier because I was looking at my failed print of an art box on the resin printer and I'm like, man, because it, it was literally like <laughs> millimeters. It was millimeters too short. And I'm just like, kill me, please. But um, <laughs> but I thought that res resin is really bad for printing out things that are like uh, polygonal, if you will, like just squares and stuff. So I'm like, if yeah. I got a re a, a Filament, it's also right? really bad for printing stuff uh, to scale. Like it shrinks. So yeah, yeah well, yeah. I figured because <laughs> I saw all these people on YouTube printing things so precise that fit like you know, uh, like lock right in. And I'm like, you know mm -hmm. what? If I got a filament printer at some point, I can the print things that out are a box so accurate perfectly. that when they when they put it into the hole, it looks like it just becomes a solid piece. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> not that, that accurate, but. Um... <laughs> Those those aren't printed. Those are machined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One hundred and eighty minutes for only for for twelve episodes. What are these half length episodes? It's got to be ninety minutes. Maybe that's hours, Reese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, a regular twelve one to twelve is three hundred. So yeah, it's got to be. All right. Next. Unkono says, I wish they would bring back the Dragon Ball. Love After World Domination on Blu rays. Oh. No oh, limited edition. <laughs> yeah, they, they gave the. I'm kind of. Hold on. Hold on. Go, go up a little bit. Go up. 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 No, Not I don't give the a shit about the boobs. The up direction. Up. Damn. What is that? Okay, she's holding. Oh, it's her bow. Oh my god. I thought that it was. It looks her like ass. a pillow. I thought that was her ass. <laughs> it looks like she's having a pillow. That's fight her secret right weapon. That is her. Secret oh, weapon. all the Anaplex titles are on sale. Yes, don't remind me. Wow. March, uh, March comes in like a lion. Volume four is are? no longer available. Fuck. I guess I missed out. Oh, that that gray thing you got your mouse hand over right there looks like a baldo. <laughs> this thing. <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> she's she's in an Iron Maiden suit. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> this was this was a fun series. I'll be real. Yeah, I yeah I'll be picking watch. it up. It's pretty good. I'll have to three D print a box for that now. No. <laughs> the Slime Diaries the on Blu-ray. Oh, finally! Hell yeah, motherfuckers! I can't yeah, wait to it. put it next to the limited editions. Right, I can't uh, wait. Yeah. I can't yeah. wait to put next to my line of standard edition. <laughs> These well, you're really uh, you got a weird kink there, bud. No. <laughs> but they did cuck me on the DVD because they made this Blu-ray only. Oh, good choice. Here. That's another weird kink that I don't get. I yeah. I just bought the Cat's Eye season two. I hated that I had to do that. But I bought season one, and I was like, "Fuck!" I didn't realize there was a season two of this shit. I wish it, and I wouldn't be so upset about buying it, but it's not dub, and I don't hmm. want to watch seventy-two episodes of however long it is of subtitle. What is what series? Cat's Eye. Cat's Eye. Oh, okay. He can't have his dictation software read it out live. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'll get it to to it later, but it's not that I that. <laughs> It's dictation. It's that I like doing stuff in the background. <laughs> Why would you want to listen to a dictation thing read the subtitles for all the characters without changing the voice? <laughs> yes, Rima Rusama, Bin Laden. I am here for you. <laughs> okay. Okay. You went where? I went there. What? You went. All right. Who, all right. who said that? You know how we always make that? fun of spines and stuff? Uh huh. Wow. Soap. Soap. No, it's soap. <laughs> soap. I guess Render Lola is dyslexic. Just like now. <laughs> okay, so not only is this backwards, is that that's, what's going on? Here? That's 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 normal reflex. Don't worry about that. Fucking hell. So so line the progressive artist, artist. Hey, remember how yeah. we were talking about anticucks? Aniplex, how they just cuck you on everything like that 
El Malloy, whatever. Malloy. And then, uh, oh, hey, March comes like a lion. Uh, yeah, we're going to put that on sale and then release a season box. Well, here you go. Here's more. Here's a movie. I'm going to get Saup from the UK. Thank you very much. Yeah. The first movie of three, apparently. Of three Saups? Speaking of Speaking Saup. Of Saup. <laughs> I would like you, to share you with wash you with Saup? <laughs> the Oculus founder Palmer Lucky engineered a functional sort of online inspired VR headset. So dumb. The one that <laughs> kills you if you die in the game. <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't even make it. It's like he, he hasn't actually tested it. Thing. He hasn't even built it. It doesn't work. He, just, he made how a cosplay know, thing. How do you know it doesn't work? He hasn't built it. You just said. <laughs> No, he means he didn't build a functioning one. It's just a prop replica or something. Yeah. Would you put something on, on your head that looked like this? No. 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 Not especially. Well, let me just put it like this. No. <laughs> I said you put it the on. <laughs> you put it on. I the VR comes up, and in VR chat, Jigsaw on the tricycle. I want to play a game. game. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, dude, I swear I was in a chat with some people and one of someone was telling me that they swear there's like you load the bullets into the fucking protruding round protruding oh, the, barrels the, above the, the, the head. Th the three the three things hold the syringes of uh, the poison. poison. <laughs> is that why well, I've not watched this show? <laughs> oh, no. this is so well in sort of in sort of online it inject it it hits you with like a super strong electrical so, pulse or something. Uh, just apparently out he's a huge fan. And he even had like custom figures of him and his wife made for their wedding. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's how much of a cuck the Oculus. He understands is. what happens to the main character at the end, right? I, I can't imagine. Not. Maybe they get hit with microwaves, by the way. He, it's a, yeah. a microwave that hits you. Yeah. So uh, I, I just kind of realized something about the recordings. Brad. Yes. Well, how comes when you ha will have to leave early and it asks that you? Yeah, just ask I'm a, that you So I think um, I am running out of storage space on this device. Mm -hmm. uh, fuck that. Okay. Random Eleven oh. Unverified has not completed their upload. Share the link below for them to continue <laughs> their upload. Oh, because he, he left. FDM. But then where the fuck are you? <laughs> when did that happen? Just now. Dude, get back here. Yeah, <laughs> see, this is going to be the problem. If anybody wants to leave to go to bed, they're fucked out of recording their audio. I wonder if they can come back after the stream, like, fully ends. Oh, like, maybe. Tomorrow. It has to stay after. Or... Yeah. No, if he just goes to the uh, to the link I just sent him. Um, I think you can you can get around it because you go to a different you don't go into the stream you go into the upload page and it, and it just pulls off of your cache. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right. Anyway, this, did so he leave? Like, is he done? I I, I think he died. <laughs> I think you need to rewatch. The, <laughs> I think uh, the he I think he died earlier. in the game and therefore also died in real life. Also, if you would like to uh, support this oh. podcast. Which I hope you are all willing to do, considering everything that I have gone through for you. Ungrate. I mean, uh, you guys can buy uh, shirts. You can buy the shirt that's in the slime diaries with while well, you watch oh, the slime yeah. diaries. You sure can. Where's that shirt? It's, it's under S page? for slime, I think. It's on the next page. Mother. Open. There it is. There it is. <laughs> You oh, can buy so your uh, communist symbol shirt. Okay. <laughs> have you considered um, putting power it's sweatshirt the... on stuff? Have I considered putting <laughs> power sweatshirt? He didn't sweatshirt. watch the first four episodes of Chainsaw for nothing. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, Green Lion. Who do you think I am? <laughs> Sorry. You can, Sorry. You can also... <laughs> You can also shop on ocapodcast.com slash store. There will be an only feet shirt coming soon. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> 
And so if you're apparently that, Lance, that's, we that's, expect that's for you, one buddy. order from Canada at least. Oh man, thank you so much. <laughs> Yes. I will forward it to your address the moment I receive it. Oh, All right. It, so, internet, it, it, uh, says internet died. The internet was playing the game. Well, tell him to get it back and just <laughs> go to the link to finish uploading. Just join this call again. Yeah, just come in, just, just join this call. Don't even have to I, I think he has work tomorrow. The Rings Sadako is now a frightfully adorable Nendroid. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So cute. So the girl from the, the ring, York smash or pass. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I the like how the there's a glory art. hole in the TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's for her to come through. Oh. She has Why to is it now? the bottom of the TV. Oh, dear God. I don't know. Is she coming out of the VCR deck? Oh, God. I mean, it, I guess it doesn't really—it's got to be low enough for the to put the on the ground in front of her. All right. Anyway, okay. Idol Master Chiyoko Sonoda figure prepared for Halloween. <sighs> prepared for Halloween. It's already passed. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not passing on this. <laughs> Man, if I didn't care about having like a thousand like anime girl figures, I just Do you like have a there's thousand? something about there's something about Halloween. Like I'm just a sucker for Halloween shit. Do you think it lowers your sexual market value to have too many anime girl figures, <laughs> Um <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. But uh, it's, it's let me let me, let me make a legitimate self, response to that. Self, uh, I think word. it depends Considering on how Considering what I've seen, girls, have. that is like smallest thing you can do. <laughs> All right, what about what about the Kurisu uh, Kurisu My, Maki say figure oh, from shit. Shinsuke? This one, I legitimately. Hey, uh, Green to, Line, like, turn your eyes, bro. No. I've seen it. I you're, you're announcing stuff. I've already been like, damn, it's yeah. The base looks nice. Everybody's jizzing all over the base. I mean, I this that. is cool as shit. But how much is it? Uh, not for three hundred fifty bucks. At yeah, least. it's probably it's pretty high up there. It's like it's like two fifty to three hundred dollars. I think. Yeah. New Chainsaw Man figure recreates powers a dominant. Toilet sitting stance. <laughs> yep. This figure looks like it came out of a uh, what are those called? The gachapon machines. It looks like it's twenty five cents max. Yep. Oh, he's back. It started uploading as soon as he got here. It was before the he, we heard the. Hey, you guys were desperate for me. I'm back. Yes. So when you leave. Uh. Um, it doesn't finish uploading your your um, your stream. So if anybody has to leave, you need to go to the the link I sent you, which is like streamyard.com slash upload or whatever, and then it'll finish uploading your your portion of the stream, and then you can go to that. Oh. Okay, just a heads up. Uh, so I have to leave and use that link. Well, if you're gonna leave before the show ends. Oh. Then you're gonna want to go to that link to let it finish uploading the rest of your your call because it's taking the cache um, for for your internet browser and uploading it. But, but could it get it as to, like the last moments of your on stream as you leave? Is it just me or is, does this look like a very low quality figure? It looks pretty low quality. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it um, looks like so I wouldn't. Or after pet, I even got a meowy figure. <laughs> I wouldn't pay more than ten bucks for this thing. Yeah, it's like a buck fifty. I think. I think they're yeah. gonna be selling it for like. How, how, how it's bucks. like seventy bucks or something. No, I think it's like a one hundred and fifty dollar like figure. A so green line. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, ready to suck that right dick area. for for some spending money. <sighs> that sounds like too easy. As you oh, lay, yeah, and Takao push uh, their breasts together for a dual figure. They're mid. They're, they're <laughs> mid. <laughs> He's like, nah. 
I don't need to start. No, I mean, they this. look good. It's just not on my alley in terms of like, you know, you got to pick and the, choose what the you lack want. of bunny ears. I you see. mean it's not up your lane. Come on, <laughs> Greenway. Oh, yeah, no, it's not up my lane. So no, it's so. actually a triple figure because there's this little fucker in the middle of their. Face. Yeah, that lucky <laughs> bastard getting finished between. Oh, one second ago, they're mid. It'd be better if Green Line was in between them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> then he might consider. Hey, Reese, I think if you were like color. standing straight up, you'd be right there. <laughs> it wouldn't be off the table. No, there's a uh, you're an Anya figure that I want to get that they just announced that it's coming out next year. Look, I'm sorry to. I'm Wait, sorry you're to gonna turn to down that, that for the mom and baby. But if yes. Reese were here, he would not be right there. He would be like knee height. <laughs> No, maybe crotch height. <laughs> the ideal oh, height. You know, you lucky piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then, and then, <laughs> track of all freeze a pod <laughs> cushion chair. That I need a so new cool. chair. I, I do that. need a new chair. So if anybody is interested in getting me a Christmas <laughs> present, God damn it, I allowed ads. You suck. <laughs> Pause protection on the site. How do I just straight up tell it not to protect for this site? Manually add or remove websites. Okay. Sora News 24.com. Dot com. And then... Huzzah! It didn't load. There we go. <laughs> Isn't it nice when they show you what the right and left side look like, just in case you're an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> it's symmetrical. Then you find the one person that's like super like autistic wow, about it. A, a phone folder. I'll be honest. I don't think my phone will fit in there. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> this could be me on podcast. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> But that means you'd have to sit at a coffee table instead of your standing That last desk. picture, that's going to be you. <laughs> <laughs> With the pizza or whatever the fuck yeah. you got there. I think that's a waffle. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh Is God. that a Belgium waffle? <laughs> How are you supposed to sit in this thing? Right? Don't, don't you have like a Freeze zoom function? like fucking there four foot tall. Well, I it's mean, a I, burrito. Do, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Chicken and waffles. It looks, it looks like a look yeah, at, look at the freaking uh, look at the pretty, guy. The guy on the left died. Look at his, his face. <laughs> look at his freaking dead. face. He's he's pleasuring himself. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Your legs would literally go to sleep. It's, in that it's no longer called like Freezer's it's, it's, no, it's no longer called Freezer's Pod. It's Freezer's <laughs> Pleasure Pod. <laughs> if you had this, how hard do you think you'd have to work to convince your girlfriend to smash in it? <laughs> that would be very uncomfortable. I mean, I think. Number, number three looks like he's about in a decent position. <laughs> That's about the only position that you can be in that I can see working. I'm just wondering, are those sides like plastic oh. or made of like wood and fabric? <laughs> um, says, I mean, I, gu I guess you the... could, I guess. Unkono um, says, have you seen those memes where the anime world is inside of a noose? No. <laughs> yeah, that's why, uh, that's why anime is banned in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> The boy can wear lipstick too. However, that might be based on Kabuki actor. I hold on. I am all for custom balance for both the male and female player characters, but they need to do it right. As a boy, you can actually make him wear twin tails because the hairstyles are the same. The boy can wear lipstick too. However, that might be based on Kabuki actors, but it is still weird. Or oh, okay, are you telling me these are the things that you can do in Pokemon or that you should be able to do? You can do you can. it. Makes sense what you can. Wow. The, any any uh, aesthetic uh, customization that you do is is 
re- irregardless. Wow. Regardless of your gender, whatever. Wow. So that that explains the NPCs with the buff bods. All right. Also, Japan's gigantic Kit Kat futon looks like a sweet place to catch some Z's. That's not really. Though. No. It looks like a good <laughs> place to Nick break it up with your girlfriend. I mean, what? Cat. <laughs> break me up against that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's right in front of the TV looks, for the Netflix and chilling. Yeah, that, that looks that looks like, <laughs> like that looks like what you throw it down at like. Some how come there's only like... two? There should be four. Oh, it, it'd be it's, like, the, it's the it's Halloween the size. size. Yeah, it, it's a, let's make love on the Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, right. covering her in chocolate will never be the same. I do not remember why. We Lance, I don't think that's one. how it's supposed to work. I don't think you're supposed to cover in chocolate, but <laughs> you do you, buddy. <laughs> oh, God. Just make sure it's milk chocolate. <laughs> What's extra milk? Hey, look, man, you do what you do. You mean white chocolate? My cream white chocolate. Stuff, white chocolate. White chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> we find a vending machine selling oh, great my. Buddha flavored drinkable whipped cream. What the hell? Uh, what? <laughs> what kind of whipped cream? Do you ask? I don't remember why we clicked on this. <laughs> so wait a minute. Whipped do you cream get pies or nice fresh cream that's a drink. <laughs> I don't know about We should make our own drinkable cream, cream pies <laughs> for our store. <laughs> OCA podcast. I just I, I love the the the, 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 the effects frame. They, yeah. that they put on like, look at this one! <laughs> it's just a freaking can. The great Buddha flavor was completely sold out. Oh, he had to go for the Hawaii coffee flavor. <laughs> Cost again. <laughs> All right, I don't know why we shared I forgot. That's I, it was funny at the time. Cream to me. <laughs> Microsoft's <laughs> Halo Warthog ride ride on it has already won christmas i mean it's pretty fucking cool i don't even like halo but it even has the gun in the back i'm sure it doesn't do anything but it's still yeah, pretty yeah. cool how big is can it they make that like uh full size adult piece? size it's like one of those... <laughs> can i 3d print that... a bigger one <laughs> so you think... that's what Do they she make said that in a <laughs> okay. how, how much does it cost uh, probably more than called, well, that's Reese, called Reese could actually fit in it. Four hundred ninety-eight dollars. <laughs> that's a little bit more than I want to pay for a joke. <laughs> Comes with a I mean, I've, I feel like I've paid my pride, which is worth more. Uh, right. Unless we get a five hundred dollars super chat tonight, I might consider it. Hear that, Joe? <laughs> and and YouTube Scott. I'm glad we'll be spending the five hundred dollars that we never make uh, on <laughs> on something like this. I Instead said maybe in it. you forgot that part. So I just oh, wanted true. to point out that uh, we don't have to worry too much because apparently Ben Shapiro is currently at an izakaya in Tokyo <laughs> as a golden Japanese toilet <laughs> <laughs> appears oh, at a multi-millionaire in izakaya. Oh God! All right. Well, flush it too. I gotta go piss. <laughs> wow, thank you. There's golden the, urinals. The, you the, saved the, some the, for the exactly. Urinals. The golden urinal tempted me, and now I'm just oh, right over that threshold. Like I, I can't like really hold you it. can clearly see the guy taking the photo in the reflection. Stop. Like, <laughs> In the name of love. He's trying to angle himself in such a way where, where you can't see the actual like camera. Or his face. Or his face. Oh I'll man, you got the sink too. This is such a this is such an extravagant waste of currency. Of Ben Shapiro scene. <laughs> All right. Uh Mandarake used bookstore branches are banned. From selling adult entertainment items for 180 days. That is a good question, Unkona. Where is the golden shower? 
So, uh, ruling by Public Safety Commission targets Tokyo shops that sold pornography with, quote, obscene material. Let me ask you this. When it comes to porn, where do you draw the line at its at obscene? <laughs> do they need to have penetration? I mean, anything can technically be porn, depending on the viewer. No, 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 no. You've misunderstood. Okay. When it, it says, ruling by Public Safety Commission targets Tokyo shops that sold pornography with, quote, obscene material. Okay. What pornography can you buy that does not contain obscene material? And what constitutes it being obscene when you're talking about buying pornography? <laughs> God, I'm not sure what they're talking about now. Because Japanese porn some of the most out there in the world. I don't know. I could think of some porn that I think shouldn't exist, but we won't go there. <laughs> uh, Mirage Leonardo, I'll have to catch this uh, next podcast. I don't have time for it. Um, so anyway, Mandarake is best known for its used manga and anime art books. But really, the chain has a massive selection of secondhand pop culture merchandise and entertainment media, including CDs, board games, toys, and magazines. They sell just about anything, and that all-encompassing inventory policy has landed Mandarake in trouble with the law. Mandarake also deals in back issues of Beanie Bone, <laughs> pornographic magazines wrapped in obscuring vinyl covers. <laughs> So fucking love how they have a like a kawaii name for their porno. Beanie bones. <laughs> the beanie bones. See, in it's America we had the hat. beanie babies. <laughs> in Japan, they've got the beanie bone. In 2021 oh, and 2022, Mandarake was found to have sold six books containing obscene material. The Six? sale of which is prohibited by law. Oh my God. And in May, the Tokyo Metropolitan Police filed indictments against the president of Mandarake as well as four other employees. I just like how in America right now, we can't even get schools to, sh to stop allowing pornographic content in their libraries. <laughs> like <laughs> in Japan, they're like finding the, the, what was it the president? president is getting fined over this the exact nature of the material isn't being disclosed in public reports but at the time of the indictments manda Rake put out a statement of apology adding that quote at the time of their original publication these beanie bone were not illegal <laughs> the six books were sold for a total of approximately seventy four thousand yen or 532 us dollars at two tokyo Damn. manda Rake branches one in Shibuya Ward and the other in Nakano Ward. After deliberating on the matter, the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Safety Commission has handed down bans to both stores that prohibit them from selling adult entertainment items for 180 days. Starting on November 18th and continuing until May 16th, Mandarake's president and the other indicted employees will not be individually... Wait, no, hold on. I, 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 there was a stop in that sentence I didn't, I didn't observe. For 180 days, starting Roll on November 18th and continuing until May 16th, Mandarake's president and the other indicted employees will not be individually charged with any crimes, though, and the company says it does not plan to appeal the Public Safety Commission's decision. But what was the obscene... What? It had to be you uncensored. Left, you left out the most important things. That's the, that's the point, though. They leave out facts like that so people can't be concerned. You know? It's very possible that this is an oversight. Was there like on an underage character in it? <laughs> if anybody, I'm I'd be one of the better. Any was, audience uh, members, if you find the answer to what the obscene thing was, you're going to need to post it. Not the actual obscene thing, but the, the answer in the I Discord just, article submission. What's I up? just want to say that uh, Mandarake, however you pronounce it. Is a great store, um, and I don't want to see it go away. It's a great keep store, on, but I don't know on. how to say its name. Reese, I, I, isn't it? I called it Mandrake for the longest time. 
Yeah. Uh, it says here a ruling by Public Safety Commission targets Tokyo shops that sold pornography with quote obscene material. I want to know when it comes to pornography, what constitute it be being obscene? Scat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, if if we're going to get technical, right, uh, there is the little black bars, so potentially... Like they, don't they, they don't censor the shit. They don't censor the shit. Okay, yes, but I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not talking about the scat shit. Um, I'm talking about normal... But you repeat yourself. Normal porn, right? Uh-huh. If you're gonna sell normal porn, okay, that's fine. But if you sell uncensored porn, that's obscene. Right? I wonder. I wonder if they had like like American porn, like Playboy or something that they sold. Maybe. Does Playboy show the vag? I don't know. Not not. I mean, they. Sh I know they showed like the the bush, but I don't. I don't remember ever yeah, then, seeing. Then they probably don't count. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, it anyway. is Playboy, not Play Man. <laughs> that would be oh, obscene God. if it were play man. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, no, it's called let's, play girl. Let's that's the now. the one that shows guys, is it not? Well, I yeah. thought that's yep. what you meant by play man. No, by play no, man, was, I meant was thinking you have to be older to see more explicit things in oh. a magazine or whatever. So the play man magazine would be more explicit. So Playboy is for children. Okay. I didn't <laughs> play I didn't, baby. I didn't say that, but it's up to the readers' oh. interpretation. Oh. oh, speaking okay. of play baby, <laughs> uh, I won't go there. Never mind. Just speaking of play baby, what? <laughs> I don't remember. Dude, you should have last... done this before the golden toilets thing. <laughs> well, we're we're getting dangerously close to referencing a certain D Day. <laughs> I don't remember what the last podcast was, but did we talk about the CNN weather people that liked that stupid um, trans no. baby? <laughs> no, that would be too on the nose the for for the history of the podcast that has scarred us all. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> A teacher in Japan politely asks to use a convenience store bathroom to jerk off. Gets arrested. <laughs> See, you could have said that was Ben Shapiro, then gone to the toilet. You're right. I fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> sure. When you gotta go, you gotta go. But that doesn't mean you gotta come. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna come. <laughs> in Japan... There's a bit of a manners debate about using convenience store restrooms. Some people think it's proper to ask permission from the staff first. And many stores have signs asking customers to do so. On the other hand, the bathrooms don't require a key to access. Uh, oh, shit, hold on. On the other hand, the bathrooms don't require a key to access. Permission is pretty much always granted. And some customers feel embarrassed announcing to a stranger they need to go to the bathroom cowards <laughs> i'm sure this is so much less embarrassing 28 year old atsushi iwao appears to be in the you should ask first camp which ordinarily would be a sign of courteousness on his part however the specific question he posed to a female convenience store clerk in fukuoka city <laughs> was far from an example of elegant etiquette as he asked quote i want to masturbate so would it be all right if i use the bathroom <laughs> pardon the restroom <laughs> In a further example of Iwao's odd mix of thoughtfulness and classlessness, he asked the question while purchasing a pack of condoms, <laughs> suggesting that he was planning to keep the mess to a minimum. <laughs> uh, I think he, it, should, he should have played the he should have played the cop route. Shoot first, ask questions later. Oh god. But it'd likely be giving him too much credit to assume he was also planning to take the used prophylactic with him when he was done. <laughs> <laughs> the request was, of course, denied. I'd like to see the, uh, <laughs> the security. Wait, so we, we don't even know if he did? 
No, he Gosh. was denied. He asked, and the girl said, absolutely not, Baca. <laughs> and that <laughs> is when he jizzed in his pants because it was actually what he wanted from this. Well, that was hold on, tank, hold on. To be <laughs> chastised by a female. <laughs> hold Damn. on. Damn. Okay, yeah. I, you know, I just wanted to make sure he specifically asked to whack off in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The request was, of course, denied. As was an identical one Ewao made on a separate date within the same month. Both incidents took place in October of 2021, but this week police officers were finally able to identify him and place him under arrest for obscene conduct. I'm sorry. Asking is that question, what's in the porn? <laughs> asking Man's a just question asking is questions. now obscene. I, what I, is that happening? Okay, there, Luigi the answer, Metal. Is she, Luigi Answer the Metal 64. Hold on. Uh, Luigi the Metal 64. I need you to give me <laughs> the proper Japanese way to say masturbate. <laughs> what is it? Jack off, oh kudasai. <laughs> we, we now have the definition of what obscene is. Yes. Asking, a, asking a question. Politely asking if it's okay to excuse yourself to the bathroom. To rub to relieve one yourself. <laughs> that is obscene. <laughs> You'll be arrested for that shit. <laughs> so, so the Iwao had been placed under arrest for obscene conduct, likely long after he'd he'd assumed he'd gotten away with it for good. Iwao, a middle school social studies teacher. I mean, you study the social you study the social long enough and you really feel like you can get away with a lot out in public. <laughs> was he was also suspected of obscene conduct of an unannounced nature in a Fukuoka drugstore in December of 2021 <laughs> and has admitted to all three incidents saying, quote, there is no mistake. Question. There's no mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it like on the yeah, floor? <laughs> That's the dead to rights um uh admission of guilt. <laughs> Dude, just watch it. Japan, the whole though. time it was Sora News 24 just specifically <laughs> phrasing it that way. And literally, that's not even a thing in Japan. <laughs> Odds are his arrest won't do anything to sway the convenience store owners elsewhere in Japan who are being asked to let their store restrooms be used as public toilets for non-customers as well. Wow, that's an old article you just rubbed in there. Okay. All right. Now, hold on, hold on, yes. hold on, hold on. Would, I, would you ever whack off in a public bathroom? What what do I get out of this? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you get? I mean, out of it? I mean, if it's a, yeah, it's on, a one on. if it's a one toilet lock room bathroom, maybe. <laughs> Why are we zooming it up, people? <laughs> so, like, am I alone? Is there a glory hole? <laughs> oh, no, there's no yeah. glory hole. You're by, you're by yourself. Still no, but, but have just, you seen, have you seen, to paint a mental image? How long have I been without getting off? <laughs> like, am like I at the we asked us all. AC, have you seen Sex Drive? It's the end of No Nut November. Like. <laughs> AC, ha <laughs> have you seen Sex Drive? I, everyone I on this podcast has so. failed No Nut November. <laughs> all right. Are you Wait, making a I... point? Reason? Would I ever? Go ahead. Okay, I guess I am. Can, Can you have... uh, masturbate for us briefly? <laughs> I didn't know if I was muted. Nobody was answering my no, question. He answered I your question. I well, everybody was talking. I couldn't hear it then. It's been a very long time, and I probably only saw bits and pieces of it while somebody else was watching. I think my. Did you um, see the glory hole scene? I don't. I don't recall it uh, at all. It was in a men's room. The only glory hole scene I remember is the one from from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh my god! <laughs> so, All right, so no, I don't remember it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so, so yeah, yes. So people use bathrooms, right, uh -huh. to go shit, right? That's what they use them for. And but if you're in your house, <laughs> one you, use, you could use them to to you know jack off or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so why is it that Hold on. public restrooms, that's a no-no? 
Okay. Right? Hold on. I think on it's now. a no-no. It's all no. I would, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I would never do it, okay? And I would be disgusted that other people did it. But I don't know why. I can't find, like, like the idea is gross. But, like, on a... On a that um, just makes it harder. Right? <laughs> no. no. It's, it's the that. excitement of me of potentially getting found out. I, I, I just don't know where the, like, the custom, the like, the customary thing says, no, that was, we okay. all agree, that's the line, right? So, I would say, if I had to make a random guess here. I'm going to come. At some point in your childhood, you went to a public bathroom. And you flipped the lock, but the lock did not actually engage or, or it was broken. And you, you assumed at one point that you were perfectly safe to sit on that little toilet in the corner without a, Hold on. Without a Fuck. stall. Before and you even somebody finish. opened the door on you. <laughs> and that's Before when you, you nut and it hits the wall in front. No, <laughs> I, I have never done it in a bathroom, all right? Never. Okay, um, I'm talking about taking a dump or something. And thinking the door is locked because when you flip the lock, oh yeah, and you hear the click. You I think, mean that's happened. That's before. it. And then somebody <laughs> just Everyone. walks right in, and you're like, "How? I mean, who- <laughs> apparition? How did you come in here?" <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's happened to be a few times. Um, <laughs> Usually, so what, though, so to answer the stalls, your question, usually this hold on, you just qu- quickly. Usually, the stalls are s- small enough you can like hold the door okay. shut. You, no, 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 no. You've missed the this. Point. Is a one room, right. I'm big, big about ass a bathroom room. in a restaurant or someplace. All right, you know, some gas stations. You open the door, there's a toilet in the corner, there's a sink. That's it. There's no urinal, and, oh, there's no nothing urinal. like you're at the mercy of that lock. Right. The point is, you get traumatized in such a way <laughs> right. that yes. makes you think. That's he got point. massively so, big so when I as a child, like because I don't know about you guys, but from the the time I was a child, every time I went to a public bathroom, I would open the door, and while the door was open, I would reach both sides of of the doorknob, and I would flip the lock <laughs> to see if it actually stopped the lock on the other side. <laughs> right. So, so, so this was your nightmare. No, I'm just saying, like this is this is always something because because I, when I was so paranoid as a kid that when you would lock the door, but it was the type of lock where when you turn the knob from the inside, it disengages the lock. I wasn't yeah. sure yeah. if it was. I I was always so paranoid. Actually, I wasn't sure it was actually yeah. going to work on the other side. I, I too have yeah. had the like <laughs> double check, but yeah. I, so so I'm suggesting because you asked what is it that makes it taboo or or a no no. And I'm suggesting that the sheer possibility that the person who runs the Starbucks brings the fucking key over (laughs) while you're in the middle of it is reason enough to not engage in the forbidden activity. Okay, okay, fair enough. I was gonna I was gonna say like the the only thing I could think of was the noise that you'd make, right? Because (laughs) I've been in a bathroom before at, at my work. Where oh, I God, swear you to you told us like the story. As soon as you story. start breathing, it starts echoing. <laughs> you told us the I... story a little bit about the time you walked in on somebody jerking off at your work bathroom or whatever. Well, I was in a stall and they were in the other stall. <laughs> and uh, I swear wow. the, there was a gap. So it wasn't like the next stall. But I, I would anyway. never do it in a multi stall bathroom. That was a dominance ploy. <laughs> like, so... <laughs> He was showing you. <laughs> he was the alpha, and you were the beta. <laughs> I I don't. He never even saw me. He stayed in the stall the whole time. Um, but uh, so yeah, the, the the only thing I could have thought was the, the noise. And then my next question would have been, if you can do it without making any noise, guaranteed, would you? But I guess the the, so here's the, the opening the door thing changed. Okay, it. here's I figured it out. Is there anybody at your work that's deaf? Because that's the guy who was whacking <laughs> <in> the <store. laughs> 
Uh, I don't think they were. And, and, then you, and then you watch or something, and you watch something with the closed captions on, and it says fapping noise, just like, and just like goes wide eyed. We were, we were in a shared office, so it was someone from the floor. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't I, someone I How many with, times yeah. have you seen the story of a, of a deaf person? Who whose coming of age moment when they learned that farts make was a noise. when they were coming? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen so many times in like on Reddit threads and stuff, people talking about like uh like what was your most embarrassing moment or whatever? Uh the time I realized farts make a noise, I'm deaf by the way. <laughs> like <laughs> and so yeah, I think uh, I think that's definitely we've we've solved the uh that's gotta be what it is. <laughs> yeah, but I have I have a I have a short little add on to that because, uh, of course, you know, we've all kind of told my story, but in the situation I grew up in, uh, there would always be like, you know, kids up to no good in some capacity. So I grew up and I got very paranoid at a young age. I will always check the shower and everything to make sure <laughs> there's no one in there. There's door I open because i oh. went in there i it was it was some kind of fourth of july it was a like a fourth of july thing oh, no. and the door behind me like you walk into this restroom and uh the door behind me like it didn't lock right apparently and i will never forget this and i and from that day forward i was kind of like i was like okay time to check everything uh, uh i went in and uh I'm, 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 there's there's I'm, i've got two stories going on in my head there was there was one where there was actually someone in the fucking bathroom hiding behind the curtain. And then at a <laughs> so later I just want to say I went in that that <laughs> so the, what that I described the hold on, yeah, what I described previously about I wasn't beating you know, off. just the sheer fear that somebody yeah. would unlock the door at at the Starbucks or whatever and walk in on you taking a shit. Lance for the rest of his life should have the fear that he can't go to a bathroom, even in his own home, because there could be <laughs> someone hiding in there. I, I Blacking it off for taking a shit. <laughs> See, the, um, the question okay. is, though, well, is it weird when you pull the curtain back and the guy on the other side is also jerking off? <laughs> it does kind of cancel it fair, out, right? It was an, it was an older whoever girl finishes that was in the first shower. wins. I oh no! If it's two guys, it's oh. whoever finishes first oh. loses. Would you rather be the guy to receive? <laughs> like as soon as he pulls across the curtain, no, this is how he lost his his sight in his one eye. He pulled his his. This is why you're the beta at work. He pulled across. The, he pulled open the curtain and got shot in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> so here's another question okay so we've oh. we've handled like uh oh, in public Jesus. what about Hi. on an airplane <laughs> it's, it's frowned upon <laughs> wait well no 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 just airplane do it that one guy really from tiny. japan did who asked or no it wasn't japan who just asked yeah, beat the off. lady next to him and she said yeah uh, okay <laughs> yeah the, the guy who asked uh do you mind if I masturbate? <laughs> I forgot we covered that article. He didn't even do it in the bathroom, though. He just did it right there in the seat. <laughs> it just shows his fun. Oh. I, just, I still think about that article and wonder, like, man, she must have really enjoyed the view because she sat there for the whole thing. From what I read, from what I remember, well, like, she, she had took she, along with it. Uh, might I as well have given her thought. consent. I so, think she probably just like it was a Karen who's like, oh, fuck. she was just mentally getting off. I'm going to cancel you so hard, mister. I dare you to come she again. <laughs> while well, 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 looking at his <laughs> throbbing bulge. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> so now we've come to uh, we've come to the we've all become enlightened as to why it is impolite to jerk it in a in a masturbation. I, 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 no, I, I think you're on to something. But like she was getting off on him getting he was getting off on her putting get like showing being dominant over him. Like I can't wait for the follow up follow up uh, follow up article where they get married. 
I think I got we got I our don't first think you can audit. have double dominant people. It's like they you need to no, have no. one he, sadist she's and one getting off being she's getting off being a dominant one and he's getting off being submissive to her. Did, did we learn yeah, that the story dominate. was it Louis C.K. in the story? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So I've got this other article here that I, I guess I can't full screen lay out. StreamYard, you have cucked me again. Looks it's full screen, it's full screen for uh, Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> I think it's the, yeah, the this recording thing is probably really fucking up everybody. Yeah, I like, again I I would imagine it's just the new features I've okayed that introduced twice. bugs. I'm like it, Greenlight's audio is recording, but Lance's is isn't recording. Is that just because of his browser or yeah, Lance I'm is using Firefox up. just like you. Yeah, I've okayed the prompt twice. There we go. God I wonder it. if it's my uh, mixer that's doing it. I don't know. What I love how it says dominant masturbator has low storage space. <laughs> 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 That's a sign you should run. <laughs> I am reaching maximum, maximum uh, fluid. Oh, it doesn't change your name on the upload details. It still tells the artist collector. That's fine. Um, uh, why does it that does it not have mine? Oh, it's because I joined as random eleven unverified. <laughs> yeah. Man arrested for trying to kill a convenience store owner over a cup of coffee. Latte triggers a series of events that results in attempted murder. So a 60-year-old man from Oda City in Gunma Prefecture was arrested by police for trying to kill a convenience store owner on the morning of the 25th of October. According to the police report, the man paid for a black coffee at the store in Oda City, but when he went over to the coffee machine to pour the coffee for himself, as is the way when making this type of purchase at a convenience store, the owner found that the customer had pushed the latte button instead of black coffee button, effectively pouring himself a more expensive cup of coffee than what he paid for. When confronted by the owner, the customer said he needed to use the restroom, <laughs> but instead started <laughs> masturbating. <laughs> but we all know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Show he, dominance. He needs to have a little tea in his coffee. T pose in front of him. But instead, he tried to escape in his car, which was which was parked in the parking lot outside the store. The owner followed the man into the parking lot where he clung onto the windscreen wipers of the vehicle in an attempt to stop the man from leaving. Okay. For like 20 cents. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> what, what could possibly be the price difference between a black coffee and a latte? <laughs> this guy is like, I must show dominance! <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, why are there uh, holes? Like, we understand he jumped on your windshield, but why is there a hole in the hood? If I what, let this what caused slide... the car to stop? Well, actually, <laughs> there's a penis <laughs> dent in the engine <laughs> if i let this slide today he'll be back for more tomorrow <laughs> oh, the man however drove off with the owner still clinging to the windscreen wipers dragging him down a road for several hundred meters until the Good owner God. fell away from the car the owner hit his head hard during the fall and was taken to hospital with serious injuries Damn, the scene of the crime and the road where the owner fell. <laughs> I hope they cleaned up the blood first. <laughs> While the customer fled the scene in his vehicle, he was later arrested based on security camera footage. The suspect has been arrested on suspicion of theft and attempted murder. However, he denies the charges. Can you fucking imagine having to go to court? <laughs> like, I thought he was trying to kill me because I just got my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> With the owner seriously injured and the customer facing serious charges, these are grave consequences for what are essentially 
for what essentially amounts to stealing less than a hundred yen. <laughs> Commenters online agreed, saying, quote, a criminal record for attempted murder for just 80 yen, 54 U.S. cents. What was he thinking? Unsupervised sales systems like these are, are likely to encourage crime. Yes, definitely. Change everything in Japan. Not a single person can be allowed to pour their own fucking coffee. The, the, the risk is too great. <laughs> You know how you know how it works here in uh, in America. Um, you pour the coffee and you bring it to the cashier, and then you check out. Surely the customer would have been forgiven if it was just a one time thing, and he said it was a mistake. I can't. No, help but, but he he didn't say there was no mistake this time. Oh, he denied charges. Remember? Mm, that's right. So they're saying that oh, that's the thing in Japan. As long as you say it was <laughs> that it was a mistake, you can't be charged. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not. It was a mistake. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. It was a mistake. I was just trying to get to work. He just came <laughs> after me. I can't help but wonder if the customer had been cheating the owner over coffee for a long time. Yeah. For the situation to escalate like this, there was probably a long history of it happening. While police haven't released any further details regarding the case, it is possible that this may not have been a one-off incident. After all, it's not the first time a customer has been arrested for pouring themselves a latte instead of a drip coffee at a convenience store. You do not have click on that. Got to be kidding. Do not me. click on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It, you know I, I, why even read this one? It's not going to end in somebody um, almost dying, <laughs> or will it? Also, a man survived a deadly fall into 720 degrees Celsius molten aluminum, and oh. Sankaku Complex picked the only appropriate image possible. <laughs> <laughs> the ending to Terminator 2. <laughs> so I, I'm just curious. When I read this headline, I will be back. what do you picture? Yeah, 720 degrees Celsius. That is over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm imagining the ending of Terminator 2. 1,328 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the ending of Terminator 2, but if you rewound it. So he's coming out of the lava. <laughs> <laughs> how do you? How would you even live after something like that? Like, would you Jesus want to live? Christ. Well, I mean, it's how much of his skin. It's no, probably it, he's, literally he's, a he's, bucket worth. He's like, fucking incinerated, dude. Okay, no, here's no, no, the question. No, no. How much fell in, and does That's his dick saying. still work? <laughs> when they say it just as falls into molten aluminum, it could be a puddle, like yeah. it could be a, okay. a bucket. Stepped into uh, it, I fell no. into. Uh, I'll, I'll well, read it. Into a pool, it's coming. I, I mean, deadly means at least fifty percent of his body. A rather astonishing feat occurred in Switzerland. As a man who had been working with an aluminum furnace somehow fell inside it, which contained aluminum boiling at 720 degrees Celsius, yet somehow managed to pull himself out of the fiery hell alive. The 25-year-old electrician was working with a furnace in Switzerland's St. Gallen when he ended up falling into the pool of aluminum inside of it which was 720 degrees in temperature, 1,328 degrees Fahrenheit for primitive barbarians. How dare you? And despite being up to his knees in the molten liquid, the what? man somehow oh. managed to pull himself out. Do you think that the skin would just fall off? Like every he must have been of... wearing one hell of a fire suit then. Dude. Air rescue doctors tended to the man after he was aided by paramedics, and the man was flown out to a hospital, surviving the incident with extensive burns. Police in the area are conducting an investigation to figure out how exactly the incident happened. If he wasn't wearing like protective clothing, protection, his legs are gone. Yeah, I well, can imagine. Okay. There's like, a uh, there's this thing. I'm trying to remember if it was mercury or whatever it was, but they will cover their. Some of the testers would prefer to actually use their bare hands because the gloves and everything. If they were ever damaged or get it in it, it would actually stick to their skin. So, uh, like, if they would cover their hands in water or something, and then, like, the quick entering and release of their hand being in it 
would actually, you know, it would melt the water and actually wouldn't damage the flesh. Gotcha. You're huh? talking about liquid vaporize nitrogen. the water. Yeah. Liquid nitrogen. Okay. Okay. Well, like I don't know about this other than the fact that there's probably no way that that would be the case considering he pulled himself out, which would take more time. Well, so is there he even knee deep into it? They made it sound yeah. like I don't know. He, he fell all the way in. Yeah, the, like de face deadly is deadly okay. is a stretch. No, it's not. Think about because this. your legs no, are no, gone. Picture oh. this: if you're standing, okay, and mm -hmm. you land in something up to your knees that is over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah, there is an extremely strong likelihood. That your legs will immediately collapse and you will fall into it and yeah. be completely submerged. Also, probably well, I mean, just the pain and the shock because you. Yeah, I was, saying, I was just going to say that, like, the shock probably might stop your heart too. I guess. Well, there, there's also like, okay, so a couple of things to consider. One, how far was the fall, right? Because if it's any more than like thirty centimeters, there's going to be splashing, right? Secondly, True. how is he oriented when he falls? Is he falling feet first and then? I'm sure. Oh, that's what or it makes is it he sound falling like. shoulder first, like you know, head first, if and then getting was, up quickly? If he was falling head first and did a fucking flip into molten aluminum, can you imagine the splash up under your nuts? Dear God! <laughs> because because of then, how big it was, they are, mine. are hanging. <laughs> and then also, um, like people die from sunburns. Like if you get too extensive as a yeah. sunburn, like you and and um. Uh, like your skin is an organ and it mm -hmm. will like start to you, you, your immune system starts failing because it has to deal with healing your entire fucking body so um, at a certain point even if it's surface level burns you know it is quote unquote deadly if he so. gets Anakin in there like he's got <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. Anyway. <laughs> so. Um, you were I the have... chosen one. <laughs> Keep reading you were article. supposed to bring balance to the force. He did. The force was I was the good. chosen one. <laughs> yeah. It was too good. It had to bring some evil into the world. <laughs> Regarding the masturbation. E. Castro says, I think we all learned a lesson from these stories. Ask forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> I like to think that's a... <laughs> yeah. Deaf guy couldn't even conceive of getting caught. <laughs> Please go back to talking about anime and video games. <laughs> well, I don't think we succeeded. Nope. <laughs> In other news, a group who who brought sex dolls to Myanmar holy sites facing prosecution. Are you so Ronan Jaw, I'm gonna need you yeah. to give me some details on on how you guys managed to do this. <laughs> so a group of people who tried to bring sex dolls into a holy site located in Myanmar so they could perform ritual incantations <laughs> might be prosecuted for defaming Buddhism, certain yeah. to have many curious of the purpose of these incantations. According to Myanmar's the sex religious affairs people? ministry, oh, fuck. the group consisted of eight people, and they tried to escort the dolls into the Shui <laughs> Dagon Pagoda in Yangon. I'm sure I pronounced those correctly. I the dolls were said to have... <laughs> <laughs> the dolls were said to have been imported from China for about two thousand four hundred dollars. The dolls Thank weren't able to make it inside. Pills ASMR. <laughs> the, the dolls weren't. <laughs> that's a Viagra. We're reaching six hours here. <laughs> He's like, oh no. I'll be I, taking. I a, must maintain dominance. We'll be taking a shot in a little bit. Don't worry about it. Uh, the dolls weren't able to make it inside due to security, however. So the group left the two dolls outside and meandered around the building before returning and performing the incantations. It wasn't disclosed what incantations were performed. The ministry was quoted as saying, quote, while performing their ritual incantations, pagoda security personnel called them for interrogation and rid the pagoda precinct of the dolls. Be gone, the dolls thoughts. 
What if you bring fuck dolls to Akihabara? What if you just bought your fuck dolls in Akihabara? <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. You mean, like, what if you bring them out of Akihabara? <laughs> The dolls are dressed as spirit guardians who are commonly worshipped for protection and good luck. And photos show that show they were, quote, wearing tiaras and traditional dresses, their palms pressed together in traditional greeting and with offerings of fruit and flowers laid out before them. It's only a sex doll if you actually have sex with it. Otherwise, it's just an anatomically appropriate doll. <laughs> I don't think that good luck worked out on this, these kids. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, okay, this is the invoice. I thought, I thought this was like the the police <laughs> report for a minute. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm going to go take that shot right now. I'll be right back in a minute or two. All right. Enjoy yourself. Anybody have any thoughts? I mean, there's two fake thoughts right there. <laughs> do you think Leave it's the, the sex dolls? Well, we, we got we got you. Hey, Lance, smash your pass. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> he actually has to think about it. <laughs> I, I don't know how to answer this because wait, yeah, hold on. Regardless. Smash your pass huh? in a public bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> It I'm was saying pass mistake. on both. <laughs> I'm saying pass on both, even if they were real people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyway. Oh, this. Oh, this is a legitimate question. I'm. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> Motherfucking. <crazy. laughs> so uh, it wouldn't be the OCA podcast without a Japanese man this time. Maybe it's a Chinese that image guy. also <laughs> like yeah. the fuck. A Japanese man wedges a jump rope up his urethra and into his bladder. Can it f me? Oh. Penis insertion disasters persist as an older Japanese man managed to get yet another unconventional object lodged in his bladder. This time, the object in question being a jump rope. And sure oh, to leave fuck? many confused as I, to I how such to, impossible insertions happen I have every to imagine time. He, I have to imagine he took the handle off. Yes, like, I, it's just that the has, rope, right? It's got to just be the, the rope. He, I hope you left the other handle on so you can pull it out. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> the 79-year-old man visited a doctor due to 70, having problems. 79 years old. <laughs> 79. <laughs> <laughs> visited a doctor due to having problems voiding his bladder and not long into his visit the source of his agony was discovered a 90 inch jump rope that was uncomfortably balled up within his bladder which was shoved up there through the penis by the old man himself thank, thank you <laughs> no for mistake. that dramatically that slow me. reading <laughs> The obstruction was found after doctors discovered a large object accompanied by acoustic shadows in his bladder. <laughs> you think he'd know? So how, do, how did that get I, there? I, I, think, I think the all time Alzheimer's kicked in right there. Right. I, now, I went to go take a shower. I walk in on 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 urethra insertion yet again. And so like, for <laughs> life. <laughs> You've missed the, quite a few amazing, unforgettable articles. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I heard briefly of the man who survived molten aluminum. So, oh, I, we're not even talking about that. Yeah. Uh, no, so, no, no. <laughs> the the obstruction was found after the doctors discovered a large object accompanied by acoustic shadows in his bladder, and the old man, who has remained anonymous, eventually confessed to his penis-based <sighs> insertion, albeit without explaining his reason for doing it. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> how do you go to the doctor and expect them not to find out that's right. the problem like what i mean you're almost you're almost 80 you're gonna die anyway just take it to your grave listen <laughs> i'm not victorian find it i'm t i'm too embarrassed to do anything about it i just want the pain to stop give the me some i think the he pain. The i'll live with the is... rope the question is, I think he just uh, mixed up how to want, hang himself. I, 
No, no, the reason he went to doctors, I want that rope so I could hang myself with it. <laughs> He's trying to hang from his balls. <laughs> the question is, how long has it been in there? <laughs> Was he a young man when this started? <laughs> That's the secret to a long life. A long string in your bladder. <laughs> <laughs> rope has a handle attached. <laughs> what? Are Jump sure? rope ropes are not that thin at all. Oh, they're and you they're can't just all. say it's only the rope because they're not that thin. <laughs> I don't know. They got What's thin. the worst urethra insertion's been so far? I think Can the worst think... one is the oh. the electric, like the charging cable. What? Oh. No, the eel. Wasn't there an eel? Oh, I think no, that, was that was anal. Yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This this might be the most like insane because of how a jump it's rope pretty long. is generally ninety foot or well, ninety inch. I mean, no, I, I, think, I, I think you've got a point with the charging cable because of the head on it. Right. I mean, there was also the padlock. But that, that seems all right. Can we not relive our nightmares right now? <laughs> just, just wait how until else, we. How else do you think I'm supposed to get myself to sleep tonight? <laughs> oh well, wait God, till we get to the last paragraph. We're gonna reread them all. During so. lunch, Green, we are both experiencing a similar situation. Also, it is okay, Random. What is okay? I'm missing that. I don't know. Please explain what is okay. Not being dominant. Nothing's okay right now, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> so the x-rays had doctors describing the jump rope as, quote, a wire-like coiled foreign body. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, jump ropes can be pretty thin. And the item was impossible to extract from the same entrance. It was no shit. <laughs> <laughs> he got so, that fucker all the way up so there. surgery had to be performed a statement from professor Toshiki Kijima who co-authored the study what study this poor motherfucker I'm coming is out as a uh, <laughs> transurethral the, the study of the idiocy of man <laughs> transurethral extraction was difficult considering the length of the rope and its entanglement in the bladder traditionally grasping forceps are you listening, future urethral inserting individuals who are watching the podcast? We hope actually aren't. What are not our audience? Grasping forceps and retrieval baskets are used to remove foreign bodies. However, wires inserted into the bladder usually curl up as the bladder contracts. Therefore, Special oh consideration God. is required for wire-like form bodies. So we must use a chainsaw. Right? Good God. <laughs> and no! Oh, we, just, show, oh. I, 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 we just had to amputate, guys. <laughs> Why'd you show the picture? An Fuck. incision made in the male's abdomen was used to retrieve the jump rope, and the old man was able to recover fine with no additional complications. I like how they got okay. this, like, what is this, like a six inch ruler just sitting? <laughs> what the? Is that a 12 inch ruler? That's a 12 inch ruler. Oh. I, I, the I, thing I, that makes the pee pee biggest. <laughs> perspective. I just, I just want to know. Disasters. Good. I just uh, no, the know, worst like, one is the needles. House? The needles is definitely the worst. Oh, God damn. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> How did they always know? <laughs> Speaking of needles, I'm about to insert one right now. Oh, gross. Kinky. <laughs> you know, I know that the, the boner from the bovine uh, testosterone is fun and all, but please... <laughs> That's exactly what don't, I'm injecting. Don't <laughs> inject it directly into the penile oh. vein. So urethral insertion disaster seemed to be common as curious men have shoved any and everything up there and gotten it stuck. From padlocks, magnetic beads, to needles, electrical cables, USB cables, 
thermometers, more magnetic beads, chopsticks, more needles, and headphone wires. PP got massively big when I read this. Did not feel so, uh, all, guys. all other articles will be sh- saved uh, for future podcasts as we still have to discuss Popo the, the, Popo the Molester. Popo the Rapist. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like Oof. Popo the Molester better. E. Castro says, I, I, I will be sure to take this anatomical advice into account when producing the next installment for the podcast. <laughs> what? <laughs> e. Castro responsible for the urethral cleansing? <laughs> the next installment for... Is he referring to the next roast? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one planned. Reach was found with his considering, glasses in considering his bladder. The con- <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Considering the content you got out of this one, man. I was you're, just you're, thinking, like, loaded if bear. you had to roast us based on what would be found in our urethras, an entire foot. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, break, break, break your meat! I'll stick my foot up your ass. Uh, oh, all right. Now that I've ruined everybody's night. Uh, well, so dude, when watched, it comes to foot porn, you're a shoe in. Who watched <laughs> Pongo? I did. I did. I did. I did. I, I did, did as well. Oh, was there a dub? So, uh, was was there a dub? Mind, Yes. Yes. Yeah. Very, I saw it in very good dub. If you um, don't mind, I would just say uh, there were parts of it that I adored. I thought that they did a really good job explaining the feeling of being a creator, right? Yeah. Uh, and some of the um, some of the stuff about editing, I thought was really insightful and conveyed in a good way. Like when they show him. Um, cutting together the concert and he decides he can just cut an entire portion and go straight to the reaction after the show. Uh, Stuff like that. I thought was really well, but I fucking despised the on your first try, you win an Academy award. Yeah. I mean, that That was cringe to be fair. To be frank, I was not compelled by the main, like I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't compelled to watch the main character do anything. He he walked through what he it felt like he walked through everything that was Well, yeah, like, think about from our perspective as normies, like, you know, how do I get into a Hollywood studio and all that stuff? This guy started there. So you don't have this like underdog like, "Oh yeah, I want to root for this guy." It's like he's already there and then a uh, girl who has the privilege of somehow being like a producer from inheritance of her living yeah. grandfather uh comes in and is like uh yeah here i'll give you a movie and it's like okay uh th- that felt earned <laughs> and then girl so, who's aspiring well, that, to be an actress that was after she read through his notebook well I'll just i know say that- but the fact that she's even a thing a, a mechanic is kind of odd on its own yeah, and that's just weird. like uh here um yeah here we let's give you a movie like <laughs> i i guess you can just give i don't know anyone can just give her a pitch and that's like and yeah you got me i love and the, and the I, girl the actress that, who oh, go uh, the, the, the girl actress also the seemed to not have any back. have any problems like she it, it like she had five minutes of issues and then it was all resolved within like a, a five thought, minute montage of i of was surprised being. they actually made her more attractive with a haircut yeah I mean, she wasn't oh, like the short, she wasn't the like good looking before necessarily. She had a great but... ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like that one scene where she jumps in the bed or she in the bed. Okay. Her so, so, <laughs> so one Reese part. With the important parts. <laughs> so, I'd be real. I was really on board with the with the movie. The part where it took a bad turn for me, though, was when they're um, when they're doing the part with the goats. Or sheep? It was sheep, right? Goats. Goats. Is it goats? Yeah. yeah. So they're doing the goats. part with the goats. Oh, and the and, goats. Uh, a um, yeah. <laughs> Full spread. A suggestion gets made by was it the actor? 
Which it, one? So th they, uh, they where do he the falls scene. Off the, where he falls off the roof or something? No, somebody makes a suggestion. They, and the director okays the suggestion. And then the, the actor says, hey, everybody, this director yeah, was... is open to your suggestions. And I'm thinking to myself, this is setting up him learning a very valuable lesson that you do not need a thousand people in the director's chair. Right. But instead, everything goes great. And we yeah. have a great time yeah. working together. Yeah. And nobody's was... ideas clash with my vision. That well, was the no, whole thing. That's... It, it... Go ahead, Randall. I, I disagree with that take. So first of all, uh, he gets there and in Switzerland or wherever they are mm -hmm. in the mountains, and the the big actor guy says something along the lines of like, oh, it's amazing. And then he's like, no, you would arrive and you'd be like somber and whatever. And then you he's like, oh. the beauty of the Alps. Uh, he's like, oh, I okay, I see. And he's like, oh no, I didn't mean to like suggest anything. Like you, you put, you have your input. And then he's like, no, no, you're the director. It's your thing. And he says something along the lines of like, we're here to make suggestions, but it's your movie. You're take it or leave it. You're the yeah. You're the one who says yes or no. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think the other director also gave him advice at the party where he's like, don't. Everyone's gonna try and. Like Don't you make can't it please for everyone. Every yeah, make yeah, it for so one make person. it for one person. And so yeah, he might be open to suggestions, but so for instance, when I forget exactly when that line happened where he's like, Oh, this director's open to suggestions. But the scene there was a little cringe for me was after the goat scene, there's like rain, and he's like, mm -hmm. Oh, what do we do? And he's like, Oh, I think we could film a scene in the rain. And then he's like, Okay, we'll do this improv like ad hoc scene. Yes. Um, and so they have him on the roof and then he's like, Oh, I want to fall off the roof. And he's like, yeah. okay, let's do that. And, and not then a he's like, single studio would let the actor, the gr <laughs> world's greatest actor, by the way, fall, fall off, off the roof. The roof. It, it would be the yeah, last yeah. shot. And, and then immediately yeah. They'd allow the, it, rain, but it'd be the, last the shot. rain goes away. And then they're like, Oh, we have the perfect shot. Oh, let's get like everything well, falls. In let's the have, so let's throw mud in his face. Ah. But, yeah. So th the, the rain clearing was later, but so this, so he's like, Oh, I'll fall off the roof. And then they're like, okay, that's good. And then, there's no like, prep. They just pull a lot of these things out of nowhere. And yeah. it's like, well, I mean, yep, that was, that's how it works. that was the whole point, right? Like it was an improv thing. So yeah. she, then she says, and then I throw mud in his, or then he <laughs> throws mud in my face and they're like, Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then one of the studio guys says like, Oh, and then a goat licks his face. And yeah, then, and yeah, then they have the whole scene. But so, yeah, I agree. That's like, okay, you know, have all this input, but he cuts that scene. Right. It ended up getting cut. So at the end of the day, uh, he did accept people's input, but he cut that scene. Um, well, so they talked about how much... cutting a scene, but I don't know that it was specifically that scene. No, he spe yeah, it specifically uh, I remember shows him cutting that scene. I remember during the editing montage, uh, he cuts a part and the girl's watching and she's like, oh, that's yeah. mine and... Interperson's like first that's scene. My, no, no, no. She said that's my first scene where I do X and Y because she's this is her first acting gig. So yeah. every scene sentimental but, to her. Yeah, that was something. It, else. It, that was the joke. <laughs> no, no, that's I'm just I'm just okay. Um it that was at a different part in the movie. But yeah. Um so so I, I do agree that there are um a little bit too many like you know, everything falling in place, like the, the rain clearing um at the perfect time it had very um, anime vibe to it the fucking but, uh, bank <laughs> yeah the bank and oh, that was like, so dumb. High they, school, they just like manufactured friend. some sort of conflict for them to resolve in the final act and it's like yeah okay like if if anyone did that they'd be instantly fired like there, yeah. there's no saving that i just um, got your images ready to show all right um so Okay, we'll just the, go. The moments when he cooms himself. <laughs> so, so uh, the reason I saved this screenshot was because I had this. Hold on, go back. I want to. I want to in, intro to this. So, first of all, when I started watching this movie, right, uh, Reese was like, "Oh, let's let's watch it," and, I, and then we didn't end up watching it. But 
was like, okay, well, I'll put it on in the background while I'm playing Pokemon Scarlet or Violet, whatever the fuck. And because, as I said earlier in the podcast, I like having stuff on in the background. So I had it on at like 1.25 or 1.5 speed. Um, and I'm watching the English dub, so I'm not actually fully paying attention to it. And then, and I'm playing the game, and then I start noticing, like, this anime is fucking amazing looking. The the art design, the character design looks amazing. I think the fact that you were playing Pokemon Scarlet while watching this <laughs> made your bar very low. Probably. So probably the yeah. show probably. looks great, I, yes. It, yeah, it does. But I, it I, looks I, good. But it, I, I it think looks it looks good. good. So, so then I start uh, I start paying a little bit more attention to it, a little bit more attention to it, and then I'm like, oh fuck it, okay, I'm just gonna watch it. And I turn the game off, and I start watching it. So then I start watching it, and I, and um, I I start like connecting with the character, you know, and um, while I was watching it, so now bring up the screenshot. I had this exact thing happen to me. In uh, you ejaculated when you were at work. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. It was not at work. It was it was in my com- com tech class in high school. We were tasked with um, uh, animating a, a small short, uh, like a two minute little short. And what I did was I animated one of the school teachers. Uh, well, actually, multiple. Uh, but I had them record different sections. Uh, you, do you remember? Uh, in the Simpsons, where that like actor guy comes on and he's like, "Oh, I'm this guy, and you may I'm remember me from blur. such, yeah, from such movies as whatever." And he's always like walking in a line, uh, like <laughs> walking from uh, the left of the screen to the right of the screen while looking at the camera while introducing whatever. And so I, I basically did a parody of that with the school teachers. And so like one of them was like, "I'm Mr. Smith" or whatever, and uh, you know, you may know me from math class or whatever. And then, you know, I'm Mr. What I'm Mrs. Whatever. And I, you may know me from drama class. And so I, I, I got my, the, the com tech teacher, the main guy, Mr. Smith, let's say, uh, to record the line first. He's not a voice actor. He has no practice in this. And he comes on, he doesn't like, I'm expecting at least like understand, like, I'm Troy McBlur or whatever. Like, get the cadence a little bit and try. He's like, hi, I'm Mr. Smith, and uh, you may know me from math class. And it was, like, completely, like, off. I was like, whatever. Dry I'm not even... Yeah. Yeah. Can was you like, remind me what's happening in the scene that we're looking so at? This is, this is him it Comes up watching... with a great idea. Coombs himself. No, no. He doesn't come up with an idea. This is him watching the first section of the, fir- the first time he says action to the to the big actor guy mm-hmm. so he, the actor oh, like, and then the no, actor he, he's like, being surprised of how how like the snap changes yeah. his personality i, I should have yeah. screenshotted i should have screenshotted like just a second before this too so he basically just starts he goes from like normal like i'm a guy to i'm acting now and like he turns to the camera and like his eyes go blue for a second like with the blue streak and he like he's got like a very serious look and then the cut to this scene where he's like overwhelmed with the acting like amazing so you're saying right? as a teacher b came in and nailed the troy mcclure sound and you yeah come? so i had a the drama teacher come in and i was like Coming, All right, i'm gonna yep. re- i'm gonna record your line so can you say this line and she went from like normal talking to like act, voice acting talking and i was like Oh my god, like and I started laughing. I was like, Milk I completely me. forgot you were a, like she's a professional voice actress. I like it's I spaced on it and I had this reaction of like wow, just when you go from like normal person to acting mode and with a professional, it's like yeah, uh it's a shock. So it, uh, it's um uh, and it changed a little random forever. Um, no, it's just a have shock. you guys have you guys seen the the footage of like Leonardo DiCaprio uh, going like turning it on like as an actor? Oh God. All of a sudden, it just like he becomes somebody else, right? Like he'll go from uh, from having a conversation with somebody uh, on set, and then um, they're like, "Okay, quiet on the set," and everybody just sort of gets into position, and he'll do this thing where like literally he'll be like almost in mid sentence, able to just pick it up. You know, it's crazy. 
Yeah, I haven't seen that, but that sounds like about what happened to me. So the th- I don't uh, remember where if it's, it might be in the movie or it's uh, or it's um, I seen it from the movie of uh, Wolf of Wall Street wait. specifically. Oh, you said I seen it. Oh. Oh. Roll the tape. I think I said I might have seen it in the movie. No, there was no no mic in front of that. Uh, well, okay. the, the key word well, in there the is have. It doesn't matter yeah. about might, but anyway. So, uh, uh, yeah. Moment. So what? Uh, I was no, just continue. gonna say when I seen. No, go ahead. When I seen, uh, there you go. I, I used it properly. Uh, <laughs> yes, properly. Um, <laughs> when I seen that scene, um, it, that reminded me of that experience. So what? So what you're saying is. Uh, <laughs> You yeah. saw yourself in the piece as well, <laughs> just like it was that. hashtag relatable, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then just quickly, the other image that I uh, the other amazing moment. <laughs> yes, not amazing. Uh, this was one of the first the first sign of cringe. Um, it's not there. You go. <laughs> uh, this was in, during the uh, first like get look the, at like, oh, look at the normal people. Of... Look at the rest of the people in here are normal. Yeah. And then so, you've got like this Jake anime. anime girl. <laughs> yeah. So they're at the meet and greet thing before they start the movie. And is she's a, like. Is that a specific she, dance? It, yeah. It's from. Well, I, it's from Fortnite. I, I'm sure it's from other things, but it's a Fortnite huh. dance. Is it really? And, yeah. And, and because it was on Fortnite, it was all over TikTok. And oh. I'm looking at it and I'm like, why is this TikTok dance slash Fortnite dance? In an anime, and she randomly busts it out. She's like, "I'm nervous," and then she does this fucking like pumping <laughs> dance. Like, what the fuck is that? I was so confused. Uh, I so thought it was funny and that. cute at the same time. Not gonna lie. I, I I've there got was a moment. Oh, go ahead. Hold on, I'm opening it in a new image. Okay, uh, there was a moment near the near closer to the beginning where. Uh, that girl we were just talking about, the one who breaks down and dances, uh, director Lolly is and like, you're it. stopping your entire life. You're going to stop, drop your job and you're going to get rid of your apartment. You're going to move in with this person. And I was just like, damn, well, that's fast. How'd you get like, that? I was so really like... awesome. And it's like almost the exact same, like cropping. cropping like, yeah. Upload the gif <laughs> like... <laughs> that's amazing. We need the gif on discord. Upload it. Uh, but uh, <laughs> that moment, that moment with me was just like, damn. That that smile AC had on not like five seconds ago was basically me throughout the entire time while sitting in the movie theaters, mm. watching Pompo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this this movie was fun as hell. I didn't even watch the dub. I got to watch the dub now. The dub was great. By the movie. Oh, I bet. Um, I bet it was a lot. Yeah, I bet it was been a lot more. Use the affiliate link. <laughs> I might, I might legitimately buy the movie now. Um, I because wow. the there's a reason I bought FDM and AC copies. The the latter <laughs> half, I was bored of the, of the film. I oh, the climax is this, of it is this didn't make the amazing climax. ass we were just talking about. Oh, is it f- in bed? No. It's the, well, it's the one where it well, is then a, no. That's not that's not the shot. No, that's not no, the shot she's, either. She's in, she's in the room. Maybe that's not and, a good answer. Well, just, it, before she's after, she's wearing like her yellow pajamas and getting the what bed the, on the amazing seat. the amazing ass is right at the beginning where with the I'm blonde. looking. And they Look, like she pulls. We can it, they right can all be winners, okay? They can all. <laughs> When. Okay, she pulls Pumpo her bikini the bottom. Amazing ass. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Wait, she pulls a bikini uh, bottom. Are you talking about the other? You're talking about the other girl. It is. That's what I mean. No, no not Mister Natalie. I know Brock. lots of people were talking, but I did say the blonde. Oh, I wasn't talking. I was talking about the blonde. I was talking about Natalie. I know, and I okay. said that's not the amazing ass though. The, uh, AC said, "Oh, this is this the amazing ass?" Oh, and the, if we're the, going the, by. Just Missed you pulling your ass. swimsuit out of a crack. Yeah, yeah, that, no, that was the that best. was the best shot. <laughs> yeah, that was the best <laughs> shot in the film. Um, I don't. I was bored. I the the climax of the film. I I could not care less. He's oh, yeah. editing the film. He's trying to get this down. It's like, oh, is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? And instead of being glued to the TV, 
like I've always been with 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 other films and and such. I'm looking at my computer screen doing other things and looking off to the mm-hmm. side. Mm-hmm. And it, and seeing when it, the it felt came. like this, like you just saw like a, a five second loop repeating of like, oh, I need to cram this editing. Oh, I need to cram this editing. Oh, I need. And then he has the hospital like, oh, I passed out because I was editing so hard. And that goes back. The damn bookcase like, fell on him. And it, I it just expected... kind of felt it felt like you weren't getting much of anywhere. You're like, OK, on to the next part. But when um, he... more than anything for me, and I think. Maybe Brad thought this too. Was I'm just reminded of the pain and suffering of real editing, so I don't want to think <laughs> yeah. about this. When, when he, he kicked out, the hard drive. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> hard drive. Yeah, just quickly. Sorry, Greenlight. <laughs> when he kicked the hard drive, I thought, "Oh my lord, are they gonna do a plot where like the, the movie? We have to reshoot the, the movie. movie." Yeah. I love All it right, when he's like, "Yeah." So I I started over in the edit yesterday. Like started from scratch. <laughs> like. Well, yeah, so, I mean, this whole movie, I thought of you, like, right. fucking let, autistically, let, like, redoing everything. Let me tell you a story. Uh, when I was in college. Oh. Uh, go, ahead. go ahead. I was going to say, Greenline was trying to say something. Oh, sorry. About that, I was going to say, when he scene. collapsed and was hospitalized, right? This this happens a lot in Japanese culture, Ol- particularly. Yeah, only in Japan. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's bedridden. I thought the old man was going to step up to the plate and, edit, and help yeah, him. Yeah, I thought film. so as too. Um, I you know because I, I was hey, like, why else would they show the scene where he's like manually cutting the film? Um, like if not to say like, oh, he's gonna help him cut the film, but yeah, I, I that, feel that like was, that, was that was just weird. show you the old way of doing it, like right, yeah. Like but how hard uh, that that scene was confusing to me. Like the old man, did he just find a bunch of tapes in the archive and he's like, I'm just gonna split this all up. Like, well, uh, I think the so archive because um they he just found like footage. I'm finished of, work. Well, no, like um so the, the you assume the reels in there are movies, but the reels in there could be scenes that were later cut into movies. So there might be a bunch of random reels existing on one of the shelves that is just up for grabs. Look at that sexfind.xyz. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. We are getting so many hits tonight. They love that us. one. Even has a different <clears throat> emoji. Wow! Thanks for the views. That just, get... that just seems so random to me. That it, well, from my perspective, it seemed like he just went into an archive and was like, "Let's cut something up. Why don't we?" <laughs> well, it, I, we to me, it seemed like it was in. like a pastime that he did was just randomly try and. Make just it, uh, like to, a... just to butcher, you know, archival film work. Like no, no, no. no. He said it was like extra film. It was like copies. So he's making, um, yeah. he was making a new film out of old movie copies. Yeah. So he was juxtaposing like basically B roll to make new stories. Yeah. Hmm. And keep in mind when you're doing edits like that, you're not keeping audio. It's just visuals. So you're telling the story just with the video. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds kind of aidsy. I'm glad we have our uh, non-linear well, editing. That's why he called it a hobby. Well, his masochism, his hobby, sure, go for it. Um, So the, the one moment that I thought was the most, like, uh, how do I put it, like, immersion breaking was the, the, the goats thing again, but a different part of the goats, where they're like, Oh no! The big bad wolf ate all our sh- our our, our uh, goats, <laughs> yeah. and then and that and then right so immediately they had after they're cutouts. like, oh. and then after that the fog comes in and they're like, oh this this will make up for our goat problem or whatever, and then, and then you see all the goats and then loved, they're like, I would have loved, thing. I would have loved to see the wolves coming and just start slaughtering on the wall and <laughs> the camera. Yeah, you found it. The one that Reese was talking about. (laughs) But, uh, so, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, and look at the color in this shot. Like, fucking Christ. This looks amazing. Is she, is there like the northern lights happening in her room? I don't give a shit where the, where the light's coming from. It looks good. This This looks fantastic. They also have Shin Kai level artwork in case you haven't noticed all of those keen viewers. Oh, Shin, also all those the Kai rim lights Kai. on the line art, like I don't know if you've noticed that. The, the subsurface scattering, you mean? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, I think when nerds the studio collide. was made just for this the time on the RCA podcast. What, what was that, Reese? I think this. Oh, no, I guess it wasn't made just for this movie. Retraction. I, first, I mean, yeah, retraction. So I want to tell. Anyway, a story. I didn't finish my goddamn goats thing. So <laughs> the, the fog rolls in. Like, okay, okay, <laughs> this can compensate for our goat problem. And then uh, they go right into shooting, and they're like, "Good thing we, yeah, all those cutouts worked great." It's like, what cutouts? Did you right. just print them all out on the spot? Right. That then, was what? that was the thing for me too. It's like, look, I know it's anime. Have you but ever the power had? Anime, a, have you ever had an idea and then went to go do it, and you're like, "Wow." That took four and a half hours, you know? It's like, well, we the fog's rolling in. Quick, go to Kinko's and print life size, you know, and then cut them out. With... I mean, no, that's not how this works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah there's like a number of those things that I just couldn't oversee with the power of anime yeah. as far as I try. <laughs> no, well, I mean, to be fair, to be fair... Uh, they could have had more time because he says, get me a fog machine. So he's inspired by the fog, but maybe not using the fog. That and also confused just me because I'm like, why would you fog? get a I, I fog machine I think you wanted to the increase the fog just to make yeah, it I, heavier. I, I, that's how I read it. Yeah, but you could be right. So well, um, well that that actually leads into another thing is that there's such a breakneck pacing at times that you can't tell if like, is this the next day? Is this the same day like just two minutes later like well all the uh, unnecessary stuff was cut of course <laughs> gotta keep well, it that was the funny minutes. thing I, as soon as they said a perfect movie or whatever should only be an hour and a half which disagree but um okay let's say yes that that makes sense i was like okay i got it this movie is it an hour and a half is this movie an hour and a half and i feel like they must have padded yeah. some parts and cut way too fast with some parts to reach that uh, for example, when they're doing the montage of like the backstories, um, like or not even the backstories, even just the training of uh, what's her name? <laughs> Cyberbully. That's great. <laughs> also, I love how he does editing exclusively with We're his typing. keyboard somehow. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't this like the same thing happened with the dude playing the piano. Yeah, I I so, like can... the. I can Dark do my editing with, with uh, mostly just the keyboard, but you and still I, need... I mean, it's, not the be, it's certainly not the best way to do it, you know? And I also... Well, he, his 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 fingers are all over the keyboard when it's like, yeah. come on, your right hand would be on the D-pad. I'm titling this marker. You know? <laughs> and, and, and what is it? The, the mouse? They recycled the same goddamn mouse motion each time in that one scene that drove me crazy. I'm like, oh! He he had a zero point key, man. It's a hot key for zero point. That was a great shot, not gonna lie. I I, Go I don't know. Well, hot, him hot editing is good. Was that's like one of the things of that my... didn't like uh do do weird things is the cinematography. Well, they did weird things but in a in a neat way. Hold on, go to... Look at the neck veins. <laughs> go to the center gif uh, in the re related content. The uh, uh, second second row. See? see uh, yeah, see see the lines? Like, the, the rim light? The, this is what I was talking about with the... Yeah, the uh, subsurface scattering? <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> You're talking about on her cheek? No, on yeah, and on her hair, oh, okay. it's a little bit on the cheek too, and on her yeah. Clothing. So what you're what you're saying is that at the rim, the the highlight on the rim, that the line art is also being lightened, the way sometimes that the highlight was, of the shading is. Well, yeah, but it's also sometimes it's literally just the the line, like mm -hmm. like on her like shirt on her shoulders. There. Yeah, uh, on her shoulders. Yeah. Um, they they, they have they use cell it, shading enabled. Line. Yeah, Which, as good. much as I, as much as I, uh, I, I don't know what this says, but that see, probably uh, was my favorite moment in the movie where she's like, you see her working the different jobs. She doesn't get what she wants and she, she has her whole little girl. breakdown in front of everyone. 
And then all of a sudden she just picks herself up. I'm like, for that right I, I there thought, was my favorite, pretty much my favorite moment. Because I was like, damn, that's awesome. I thought the breakdown in front of everyone was really cliche. I'm like, you can't like hold, like contain yourself till you get to a secluded spot. Okay. <laughs> so now uh, I wanted to talk about, is it this one? Did you make all these? No. Does that not look like Google to you? <laughs> FD, or... well, I'm zoomed in so far. I'm not seeing anything but the little image in the top right of his screen. Okay, is this one. So, the kicking the hard drive. Oh. So, when I was in college, um, I, I'm a year older than my wife. So, I went to college a year before she did. Put she you in went, jail, man. <laughs> she went to um, she went to the same college that I did, right? And my um one so i went to a, a year round school so we had quarters instead of semesters right and i had god i want to say it was for storyboarding class i don't remember though um i had it just an absurd final i was it, it was way too ambitious right and my wife, um, when we were still, you know, we weren't married at the time, but um, the woman who is now my wife, uh, she was staying up because um, it was finals week and I was working like just nonstop. I don't, I don't remember. I think it was for storyboarding, but I can't remember. And at some point she got up and the Oh no no no! I remember what it was now. She had her ho she had her phone plugged in, and she she grabbed and tried to pull up on the phone so that it would unplug. But it was the old iPhones that had the the ones that like lock in a little bit more securely. And as she pulled it up, it lifted up the power strip underneath the couch, and the power strip to button to turn off the power strip hit the oh. like the couch it went up into the couch and turned it off and my whole computer's off right and it's like it's literally like i am staying up all night to go to a class at 7 30 in the morning to present my final and uh i lost absolutely everything i was working <laughs> on f's in chat and I was my like, girlfriend destroyed my homework. I was like, oh, "Woman, I swear to God, if you're not my future wife, I will kill you right I, now." I, I, like, so, so she, did she marry you as an apology? She was so apologetic, and I was like, "Oh, it's all right. I've been saving. Don't worry." I'm like, oh my fucking god, it wasn't all right though. <laughs> I had to start over, and it's literally like two hours before I have to leave. <laughs> Like I've been up for like three days <laughs> I had to start over and I, I literally like um, I took the way I ended up getting through it was I had to take the the work I had done before that night um, and retrofit it to tell a complete story with just the images I had already drawn <laughs> I was like oh my how did that turn out I mean, I passed, but I, I didn't feel good as an artist. <laughs> you know? That sounds like when I had to shoot my chase scene and someone canceled, so I had to make my one actor chase himself. <laughs> you mean you're totally doxing a uh, college film? We, uh, yeah, yeah. That when one. I was when I was in editing class, um, we had to record like a short film, um, and. And so <laughs> we filmed a drug deal gone wrong oh my God. At, <laughs> in the school parking lot with very realistic looking airsoft guns. And I was like, Jesus Christ, we are going to actually get killed for, for doing that. <laughs> like the, I mean, these things, like one of the guys was a huge airsoft buff and he had stuff that looked like I, I'm not even sure they weren't actual AK-47s. Like, that's how <laughs> authentic it looked, right? <laughs> so we filmed this thing. And at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the short where um, 
where the drug deal, you know, happens, he throws the bag across the parking lot to the other guy. And when he unzips it and opens it up, it's the, it's the uh, textbook for the class. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got shot in the head. <laughs> anyway. They should uh, make the orange tips green so you can key them out. <laughs> <laughs> no, there were no orange tips on these. They were I know. Not I'm, not just every, they sh- yeah, I'm just saying they The way saying, they should have done I'm... it to save your asses is have an orange <laughs> tip and then make it green. They were extremely authentic looking and like they sounded like metallic. Like they sounded real. It's like <laughs> we had to we had to we did it on a on a day when they didn't have school, you know, but then it was <laughs> even worse because I was like, fuck, like I can't go to the office and tell them we're filming <laughs> because nobody's fucking here. <laughs> So you call the cops and say, "Hey, we're shooting a thing yeah, at school. Like, Just ignore any shooting shootings. Just school. ignore any school shootings today, please." <laughs> That's not us. Uh, oh. just can you ignore. imagine? Can you imagine if the cops, like, literally, honestly, didn't go to a school shooting because the school shooter called ahead of time to let them know that he was making a movie at the school? <laughs> I'm shooting a movie there. Please ignore all calls about school shootings to that no, you're location. About gunfire and kids falling to the ground covered in red liquid. <laughs> like literally, somebody's on the phone, like calling nine one one, and they're like, "Please, he's killing all of us!" Like, cut. Oh, <laughs> oh that, that's just an actor. Okay, you can ignore the person calling. We just want to make it Did authentic. Did you actually call nine one one? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, Jesus. that's reason number like 157 to get us canceled over just this episode. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, that reminds me that I don't know why, but that reminds me of I went I was in an ambulance and one of the EMTs, uh, she was telling me that she worked as a police officer. Prior to, I don't know what it is. People like to talk to me for some reason. They'll just tell me stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, and she, she was just telling me how she was an EMT, not an EMT. She was a, uh, she worked at the police office before she became an EMT, and she was going on about how she always remembered everyone she ever booked. And she said something, and I was like, "Well, I've never been arrested." She's like, "Don't worry, I would have remembered you." And all I could think is, "What was that supposed to mean?" I don't think so it's a compliment. Call. Probably not. So you get a cop. So you get a cop show up to a school with a bunch of teenagers <laughs> with fucking real ass looking guns. I'm assuming you were a teenager, nineteen. You know, uh, college. I'm just like, just imagine what's going through their mind of, oh shit, they're loaded. <laughs> they're never gonna forget you. That's why so, don't you take non orange tip things outside of your private property. I mean, uh, private property. We were doing maintenance at a church. And got, I said outside. Like, it of yours. Pri- church is private. Church is mm. kind of private. It's not property. your property, though. The point True. is, the public will access it and see that you have something that looks like a threat. So, um, coming back to Pompo, uh, okay. yeah, blonde bully guy hated that character. Oh, I never liked him. Yeah. Like, not because it's order. like, because it's like, not only, not only did I win an Academy Award on my first try, but the bully, I showed that guy and befriended him. You know? Well, he wasn't really a bully. Yeah, I don't, yeah, he just, I don't uh, think he was a bully. He was just a punk. He was pompous. He, he I just, he, he, I'm he, pretty sure he bullied him. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, that wasn't shown in the, hey, it might have been. Slightly it was in one of the many montages that came up for two seconds. Yeah, it, he just he was he, all he, that he happened. Accidentally bumped him. Well, yeah, he all. accidentally bumped him, and then when he picked up the thing, he looked at the paper, he looked at the notebook, and was disgusted. That was like by but then the he was amount like, of in of in depth of autism. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and then he really bully him. I wouldn't call him bully. But then he, all, but all then he, he did, talked about it. if it's so important, don't drop it next time. Yeah, yeah, all he did was he was he wasn't like mean to him afterwards. He was like he was, he yeah. was mostly neutral. 
Yeah. He's like, sorry about that. I just didn't enjoy his character at all. He looks down his nose at him. Well, it, it, it just seems so weird. He's like, oh, I look down at you, and then it's like, tech. it's not really time skip because it's current day, but then, then he's like, oh, you're a dude that I know from school. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, man. And then it's like, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to simp for your movie so hard and pull this <laughs> elaborate skit. It just seems like it came out of nowhere. It. He was in. He was in that that shot where Natalie's crossing the crosswalk. He was in that shot, and he was in the airplane too. But I mean, yeah, in the airplane too. But okay, it, it just seems to have nowhere though. Like, like, uh, oh, I'm gonna put my neck out on the line. Ugh. I saw his book had a love notes in it. Ugh. <laughs> we gotta clip that audio. <laughs> 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 it's a good thing the audio is recorded separate now. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Um, we're gonna have to all sign waivers eventually. It at this point, saves up for a com- com- completion sounds folder. <laughs> the completion tab brand. So, so, oh yeah, there was like, there was like frequent small moments of exp. What? Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I just think it's funny that this came up <laughs> given the context. It's I like it's the, the podcast came full circle here. Shooter, look at me. No, Jerry school shooter jokes. <laughs> Hold on. What was this? Oh yeah, I get that, but where's where the fuck is the is that it? Anyways, yeah, uh, gentlemen, I have work tomorrow the... or today, so I'm yeah, going to uh... head out. Oh, there it is. Th- this is it. School shooter yeah, happens. Really <laughs> <actually. laughs> all, all right. Uh, eject all right, your light yourself let's wrap from the it up. call, my boy. Uh, when you, boy. Yeah, let's, let's finish this up. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Uh, Green line, don't if leave if you yet. need to leave, okay. I can send you the link to let your thing finish up. <clears throat> no, if we're wrapping it up, then I can stay. But... Yeah, let's, uh, let's wrap it up. Um, Give me two seconds. Um, One, two, okay. Okay, there. a little We're bit done. more than two seconds. My hair is an amazing right angle right now. It was that way the entire show. I know. <laughs> I know. Isn't that great? <laughs> well, if I had to sum it up, it's like, it, for some reason, that like when I was watching this, I felt emotionally at a, like such a flat line because... Like I said, he was he already oh, kind of okay. made it. He got his foot in the door already. And it felt like there wasn't much of an arc to like go up to. It just kind of felt like you expected everything to happen. And then there were just some weird things that were like felt like, look at me. Like uh the 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 biggest actor guy literally twice said introduced himself as like, I'm the most famous actor, her <laughs> her. And then he was like the leader uh of the film briefly yeah, even though like, he's like, not the director it, it's just like, like literally it's like by the way also world's greatest actor uh right never, here like he's <laughs> all yours come out you know? retirement just for this yeah um but uh yeah like you know there's that um he he felt like he was almost not even a director of his own thing which i i guess is the idea of it but <clears throat> like well, like once again it didn't feel like oh he totally earned this um, but once again, like flat line for me. And Don't then you think the, the, movie the conflict, been better? the conflicts that came at the end felt so manufactured and like unnecessary. Yeah. And, uh, like they had so many other potential conflicts that could come up. Like yeah. you were saying with the creative differences and, uh, all that. It seemed um, to I, me like the movie could have been way better. He didn't need to win an Academy Award. The, the, the thing about him working on a movie is that he gets to make his first movie. It doesn't need to be an award-winning first movie with the world's greatest actor. It could have been better to to just have, you know, him get a chance to do it and use people who maybe weren't the greatest actor, but he was able to use their strengths or something. Like he could have they could have framed the movie in a way where he made it work. Like for example, um is it I forget if it was Robert Rodriguez or whatever the movie was um, where the movie had a weird quirk with the camera they were using where the audio would desync after around 30 seconds. So every cut of the film is less than 30 seconds and it gave it like a weird quirky um, vibe. You know what I'm talking about that story? 
Uh, when I heard of the name of this and saw the poster, I thought I it was about like Pompo was going to be mm -hmm. a girl who's really into watching movies, like just normal girl who loves mm -hmm. watching movies, and maybe I, they I had was in this it for indie the film club, like the parody, the 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 spoofs or whatever. That's what I wanted to see. And and, and I was expecting it to be like a, a like oh we're going to make our own indie film or whatever because we love movies so much. That's what I thought was going to be complete mm -hmm. opposite. It's like we yeah. are the big wigs. We are at the top of the chain. Everything's like, whoa, different experience than like that. It's not that I'm saying like, oh, I defy my expectations. So, ugh. Uh, no, like I'm just saying that that sounded like that would have. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> hey, that, that's, <laughs> that's the picture right there. Okay, uh, I, but I feel I like can, that idea would have had more a potential and like, I guess, a more humble aspect to it. Um, but once again, uh, yeah, like that, that conflict at the end, it's like, what, what was that? It, uh, and then it's as, as Brad said, like you, you get rewarded, but to me, it didn't even, it didn't feel like a payoff. It just felt like either a, you expected it from 7,000 kilometers away or B it's like, <laughs> Oh, he, he did win the, the award. Okay. And you then know, it kind of just ends, you know, it would have like, been the okay. absolute best ending uh completion damn it hold on. <laughs> I, I clicked on the wrong thing hold on. It would be this is the one. this is yeah. the gif of of that scene that i was talking about yeah where, where he, he goes turns, to completion mid movie go, goes into actor mode anyway okay this would have been the best ending <laughs> 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 i got the academy award. <laughs> yes. yes meanwhile yeah. he's, <laughs> turns he's out, in the hospital <laughs> from yeah. the from falling over <laughs> yeah from the scene with the hard drive in the bookcase and then yeah. he wins all the awards <laughs> <laughs> they're all, they're all just... posthumous <laughs> turns out the movie flopped because you didn't edit it properly your friend that bankrolled it went out of business <laughs> also also the ti the title character pompo seems like i i don't know like Okay, she's super successful, and it's like, oh look, she's she's like so young. Okay, I totally believe that, and it's like, oh look how quirky she is. She's she's totally. <laughs> I believe she's a producer after all this, <laughs> but um, I think the characters as a whole, because there's so much like frequent expositions that felt kind of like, I don't know, not necessarily organic, and then there was just so many little montages, and you know the training montage of a uh, girl and the actor thing. It's like you could have cut that out and just been like okay, we'll work on it as we do in the movie and then maybe she got, could have gotten tips or whatever. But every character like fell flat in their development besides maybe the main character because uh, everything was just kind of breakneck pace uh, in between the really long like editing montages and stuff. And once again, the montages felt kind of like, I get it, you're cutting. I get it, you're cutting. Mm -hmm. you you're too negative. It was a good movie. Yeah, yeah I, thought it, I thought it was... Uh, like I only kind of half paid attention to it because I was... I was six out of ten. It was I was I working it. on on stuff at the time. I think I was getting the super chats from Greenline at the time, oh. um, but uh, but I enjoyed it. Like I legitimately really enjoyed it. So anyway, um, without actually answering this beyond a yes or a no, E Casher wants to know if any of us have seen Azakin. I have not yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, I love that'll it be a lot. watch club in the future. I'm sure. I can't Has wait it... for Stepton to finally freaking release right? it. Anyway, are we uh, are we good to call it here? What's the next yeah, watch club? The next watch club is Berserk 2016. Oh. <laughs> I might have a guest who could join for that. Oh, cool. Uh -oh. Can they stay up until 5 in the morning? Oh, we could have had he's Jordan from Joe Star for this one. It's a Sunday night. <laughs> we could have. Um, I thought you were going to get a different guest. Um, yes. What is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, no, no, the the guy I'm talking about is from South Africa, so who knows? Uh oh, no, not Danny. Danny? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, I hope you guys appreciated us coming back because uh, legitimately, it won't happen again. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, no, legitimately, <laughs> honestly, truthfully, almost last podcast could have been the end of the of the show. Um, so I en I encourage you guys if you enjoy the series that we put together here, uh, share it with your friends or fund us in some way. Use our affiliate links, whatever whatever you can do. 
that brings value uh, back to us. It benefits the show. So with that, uh, I'll thank you again for checking it out. And cue the ye outro, because we haven't done it in a while. <laughs>